All right, so today we're going to be doing an unranked GM, obviously, on Junker Queen. We're on an account named Ben 10. It's going to be a good time. So before I really get started, I really just want to talk to people about like little mechanics with Junker Queen. By like pulling knife and like what you should be doing on pulling a knife, typically. A lot of people think that they should knife and then go for axe swing, but it's actually a lot slower than going for a shot into a melee quite often. So if you are in a position that... If Sometimes with the forward momentum, it'll be hard to hit the shot on someone. And if you're seeing them fly over your head and you're not comfortable hitting that shot, go for that carnage swing with your E. If they are flying straight at you because it's someone like saying so, like Ana was scoped in that you flanked, usually shooting into your melee will be more effective for killing them before they can get any abilities off. Try to save your carnage a lot of the time for hitting multiple enemies because it is an AoE cleave. It does swing from the right side of your screen to the left side of your screen, so you can actually turn swing and then hit more people than you think you'd be able to hit with your carnage so that's always a good thing to know it, it works just like reinhardt swing but reinhardt swing it goes from right to the left to the left to the right unless you are adding a delay in between your swings a little bit because you can purposely make it that you're only swinging right to left like i am right now but if you were to hold it down it's going to go swap and that's why you see reinhardt players play like this and turn their camera with their swings very often another thing that is really important for junker queen is a lot of players waste their shout very aggressively a lot of the time i'd say in ranked is if you don't need to use your shout don't use it save it for when you're really in a pickle or when you see the freest kill of your life that you need the sh shout to be able to chase that kill that's where you're supposed to use it like you try to bait cooldowns like bait out that sleep dart from the onda bait out that nade then you want to push aggressively with your shout if you are able to sometimes it's more optimal to play slow and just kind of go fishing with knives to see if you can pull someone out of position for you to maybe kill or for your hit scan players or someone else to potentially kill and punish so don't think that you always have to super hard w key on this character that is usually what kind of kills a lot of bad junker queen players especially in lower ranks is they always feel like they need to do something if you're missing your shout on this character you typically have to play pretty slow overall on the character because you won't have that shout to kind of bail you out with that extra movement speed to be able to kite out the enemy or get yourself to a corner to LOS the enemies to be able to get healed up. And the most important thing is always trying to proc bleeds. Applying bleeds at the end of the day heals you. Even if you miss your knife, if you retract this knife and it hits the spot, it still applies a bleed. It's only half the amount of the bleed that you would get if you were to actually hit the target with the knife though. So it is way more optimal to actually hit someone with the knife, but it's better than nothing. So I always like to let people know that that does apply a bleed. Some people don't know that. Also hitting them with a melee when your knife is in your hand will apply a bleed as well. But if I were to throw my knife and punch, this will not apply a bleed. All applying another bleed will do is refresh the cooldown. So bleeds usually last for three seconds. So if you're applying another bleed from your melee, you're just, well, if you have your knife, you are just refreshing that three second bleed that you'll be healing from. So don't feel like you have to knife every second because that is usually a DPS loss because meleeing in between each single shot is making your next shot come out slower. It's going to add a little bit of a delay for me just shooting like this. If I shoot a melee, look how much slower I'm shooting. That will overall be less damage a lot of the time when you are fighting a tank you need to value the dps over applying a bleed so sometimes melee when it's a full hp tank isn't very good the only time i really apply a bleed to a tank if i'm pretty healthy is if i really need that health if i'm very one hp and i really just need to get a little bit of a cushion because maybe that extra hp is what helps my support stabilize me then i might apply the bleed or if i couldn't damage them otherwise like let's say a diva's matrixing me and i don't have my carnage which is my e if i can't carnage the diva it's better for me to melee the diva than not shoot the diva at all if i'm gonna be in her face anyway so might as well melee her same thing for a sigma using grass so you can be able to you can melee him through his grasp and it's just really good to know we'll also have to get into how we're going to bake cooldowns whenever we are looking for our ult because every time we ult who can deny our ult typically uh well cast the grenade right now uh with the hindered effect and denies your ult so that, that's pretty fun outside of that obviously getting hacked out of it sucks sometimes like a may wall can mess you up sometimes it's your own may wall and that really sucks but overall if we are unsure if our team will be able to follow up in the back line we can technically flank and bait out the cooldowns on the supports and actually get them weak before we ult and then the bleed from our ult will be able to finish the back line and then we'll be in a safe position after our ult because now we will be back in our front line if we are ulting correctly so a lot of the time we will be flanking whenever we do have ult if possible and if we need to due to the team composition like if they have a kirika i'm more likely to flank and try to bait out that suzu before our ult but if people are really split technically when they have suzu they can't suzu everyone if their team's kind of all over the place they can try their best 
best, but they might not get everyone. So sometimes can it be good to just ult even though they have Suzu up? Sure. The big thing is don't ult at the very start of the fight, usually, whenever you are playing into things that can deny your ult, because they'll have all of those resources available. Try to poke, try to bait out cooldowns, because especially in the lower ranks, people waste their cooldowns very early in the fight. Like Anish just throw sleeps for no reason, throw nades for no reason. Punish them for wasting their cooldowns early and not saving it to punish maybe your ultimate. And uh yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. So let's get into the first game, honestly. All right, so we're starting in plat one. So I just want to give everyone a heads up. Junker Queen is not good on every single map, if I am being completely honest with you. So Junker Queen is really good on brawly maps, maps that don't have a lot of high ground, maps that don't have a lot of long LOS, because the things that punish Junker Queen is usually snipers. And Fair is not like the best thing in the world for Junker Queen. She's pretty decent to everything else. Like if they have a Mei, or a Sombra, I can play around it pretty comfortably. I'm just going to save my shouts for whenever I get walled off, for example. I could be waiting for my supports right now and shouting them out to spawn. But honestly, some people just take a really long time to pick and I don't really want to wait on them. So I'm just going to kind of go get ready and go get in position and start the round. So I'm just kind of looking at my comp to kind of see what we'll be working with here. So, okay, I'm going to have it on us. I'll have a, like overall the support comp really enables tanks. Uh, it's a lot of healing. We're going to have nades. I'll have cleanse in case I get anti potentially. I have a Sombra that'll be harassing their backline, which is good, because maybe that would make their tank not get a lot of healing. And I have a Hanzu who could be getting, you know, one-shot kills, which is really good for me. So this map's usually really good for, like, Sigma and uh, Ramatra. Those are the two tanks I'd usually play on this map, if I'm being honest, at a top 500 level. But we are going to have to be playing Junker Queen as some suboptimal composition today. So they have a Mora. I'm kind of just looking to see if they push me circus oh they're mirroring me on queen okay we went for a knife didn't get it I, there's no reason for me to push her yet, right now but we are up one just because we are up one shot i'm gonna push so i saw that we were up one so might as well take advantage of having a number advantage and just force the fight early my support comp helps me a lot more than theirs does when with the munchunker queen okay they swapped to arissa so the trick against arissa chat so it's a brig, so when there's the brig, I like to carnage because I'll just go through their shield. Junker Queen is really good against brig. When they have Arissa, you don't really want to play into the Arissa very much, Shaz. So I'm going to just shoot the Arissa when I have nothing else to shoot at. Especially if she's close to me because I have a shotgun. Blah, blah, blah. Especially if she isn't using Fortify, I can do a lot of damage to her. But for the most part, like I'm not going to shoot at the, her unless I have to. So I usually would default up here in between every fight, but my team is kind of playing here close. So... I always tell people, you just have to make it work with what your team's doing. If my team's going to play this close, I just have to play off of it. So I'm just going to shoot into doing my carnage. She's going to poke her shield. Okay, they swapped the Reinhardt. So I can kind of just walk into... Oh, they went May. So I'm saving my shot. I saw the pin coming, so then I went for my shot. Kind of make it a little bit safer for me. And you notice I'm going to do this combo quite often that I'm going to knife them, then shoot into meleeing them. Especially on squishy targets. Think of it as a, that's like a Roadhog hook combo that we'd be playing with back in overwatch one or if you still were to play hog today so whenever you hook swiss she's just very often you left click then you melee so i'm kind of just looking to see if i can kind of go fishing a brick should not try to fight me as junker queen so see if i can kill her i'm not gonna push that just isn't really the safest thing to push technically it's a little too deep and i don't want to get too far from my team because i don't want their tank to walk on my back line for free right now so I, see how I'm just holding my shout and I'm really like adamant about not using it because I don't want to just die from getting May walled off and I really don't need to push faster right now. I'm purposely getting on top of the May so she can't wall me off from chasing her there so I can get that free stagger there. So we still have a minute 40 on the clock. So we're two minutes in so this is usually where everyone has their first set of ultimates if they haven't been swapping characters every two seconds. So I don't really think they might have shatter. They could be close. They might be like 70%. So right now, there's not really much to do because I haven't really walked in yet. So we're kind of just AFK and having a good time. Okay, they're actually going top right. So I'm going to try to mirror them top right. Wait, no, he's coming bottom. So I can kind of just stay here. We'll be okay. I can start looking for an ultimate. They don't really have anything to deny it besides a Maywall potentially. Oh, we got Nando. So let's just walk on this run. That's close. We don't need our ult here. We are used to support ult. So I'm just kind of going to save it more passively. I thought the A was straight to the left. That's a lot of my knife throws at long range especially i'm kind of predicting how they're gonna strafe by the way shot that's what it's gonna be like i can shout here just so i can back up a little bit quicker because i won't need it for a second so might as well 
just to help me be able to keep my somber maybe in a little bit longer to finish that kill okay wait there's a brig up there okay let's force out this brig, right, brig. actually we're good so she ult she can technically stun me out of my ult i'm gonna get walled here at the show probably yep okay so i'm gonna look for my ult here oh i think we live here we'll be okay Uh, my entire team was kiting from that rally so i need a spec oh we are getting flank cold okay the dps more got us so usually old team when they rally is really good because they're trying to take really aggressive space with that rally and we can like shut it down and potentially kill her i did get stunned out of my uh carnage there by the way that's why i wasn't able to clean up very easily on my own but it's okay. They're going to have mail here, so I'm probably going to need a shot right before I get mail ulted. Because I believe they still have it. So I'm trying to just save my shot. Like, very admin about not using it, if you haven't noticed. If I don't need it, I'm not going to use it. It's a very long cooldown. I have to use it at this point. So both our supports were already dead there, so there's really no way I win that fight. Because I most supports are dead i'm getting solo mail so there's really not much to do there it's typically as the tank you're gonna anchor point so i anchor point we got uh so mail so we go next fight and this is typically what will happen they usually will pick may whenever you you're doing like okay on tank or you're well on tank i wouldn't really say i'm carrying right now if i'm being honest like if everyone on my team's doing really well i'm kind of just existing and they just built ults and one off ults. It's okay. So, thought she'd try to kite to the corner. I'm kind of whipping right now. So, I'm trying to respect that she could wall me right now, saving my shout. Okay, that Ryan is in Narnia. So, I got weak there. That's why I shout. Where I feel like I could get killed. So, I'm trying to. I was trying to get greedy and go for a knife on both. I mean, my carnage on both of them. That's why I swung the way I did. And we're just getting booped off. But in general, we're baiting cooldowns by trying to get for that carnage, which is still okay. This man is here, so I might as well try to get the stagger with my team. So we do have ult here. No, I will not be joining you in platinum. <laughs> I am good. I do this completely solo for a reason. Um, so obviously, let's just let them in here. We can get, look for an ult early. Ult. Hopefully our team can follow up on it. We don't really need a bait cooldown. We're actually up one, so... That was a good nano by my teammate. I did get pinned. I did shout to try to save myself and stabilize, but overall, good nano. Really appreciated that. My team's playing very aggressive, and the big thing to do is like, this isn't where I normally hold, right? Like, I'd be holding up there and letting my team just kind of poke, but if my team wants to play up here, I'm going to play with them. And that's an adjustment you will have to make at lower ranks. And that's why I see me in like a little bit of a lower rank can be helpful. Because, like, this probably feels more at home. You probably have teammates that push up here. Like, we don't have EMP yet, so maybe we win this fight. But oh, they do have Shatter. That's awkward. I did that as they went for beat. I need to try to play to live in their back line. So, I'm trying to juke them a little bit. I'm more of a so one. I mean, the May. Wait. What is going on here? I'm kind of getting staggered, dude. Look at you. We got that kill, but we're not probably going to get out of this. I could go run for a Mega, but I don't think it'd be worth it. I'm just ask for healing from Ana. Oh, Ana, no, please! Ana, no! They're saying question mark. I, bro, I just, Please! I just wanted to be healed. At. So we did a little bit of trolling there. We are in that situation, though, because we were playing off our team there, but... Oh, well. I'm not really, like, too stripped. I, I, I want to play off my team and not just, like, hold where I normally hold. Okay. Got the solo shatter. We kind of just had to hope that we had something to bail us out against solo shatter there potentially, but they're getting all that payload push I had to try to make a push towards payload and actually contest it. Like our team's just all like over the place. We do have EMP, so hopefully we just actually take a real fight for once here and actually just go for EMP. 
so Ryan doesn't have shatter now so I'm not really scared of him so he's kind of really far forward right now they do have Lucio more he's probably gonna sh shield me I'm just gonna pull him forward they try to sell a mail to me so oh we still have our EMP I can't get to cart oh we held our EMP the entire fight oh no okay this is actually really awkward because we almost first point held them and then i got nano there and i also so i'm not gonna be on payload we have other people that can touch payload and we had also we kind of needed to use but uh it's kind of like one of those things that people are gonna probably blame me for not touching payload and like i'll take it whatever not really too tripped out on it if we lose this first game in plot I, 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 oh well uh we're gonna try our best to play a little bit less off our team i think going into this round because we kind of tried playing off of where they would play very overextended if i had to be like honest and then they kind of just walked past us and stole the payload and i wasn't able to really ever get back into position most of the time if i was playing off them so i'm gonna kind of just default a little bit more to what i would normally do in these lobbies because like on paper we, we're getting a lot more kills right I think our team is playing overall probably better than their team, but we didn't really play the objective as well. <laughs> so, uh, uh, don't worry about what my teammates could have done there. I was just saying, oh, this is like we held EMP. Well, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I'm just like, I was just like, oh, like I thought we were gonna take a fight there. Blah, blah, blah. And I like, I went for Junker Queen also to shift the momentum of them using Coalescence. I could shut down the healing, kill the Reinhardt, maybe kill the Lucia, blah, blah, blah. I got boob, didn't get the uh, more because of it, whatever. But that's okay. So typically, you want to fight them on left side right off the rip, and you don't really want to push cart chat. But I'm going to push cart just a little bit and then try to get my team to follow me left side. I'm not going to, I'm just saying, going to say group up. I'm not going to talk and voice chat too much. I want people to follow me, essentially. Oh. Uh, our support player left the game. Unlucky. So on the first game, just like our past couple of unranked GMs, we have had a lever in our first game in quite a few now. So maybe the 100% win rate dream is already dead on the first game, guys. And it's the support, which is uh, arguably the most important role out in Overwatch 2. So, oh well. Hopefully they rejoin. I'm going to try to win with one support. Obviously, my value as a tank is way lower with only one support, but we will do our best with it. So they do have a risk, so I need to play more for their back line. Just need to apply bleed just to help me walk potentially here. Oh, we got a pick. Cool. Maybe we can win this. Oh, they rejoin. Cool. Only a minute 20. We still don't have the other support player. Uh, I'm looking for our Kiriko. Because <laughs> I'm weak and our other support isn't here yet. So, Just have to play very, very slow. We have our other support now. Oops, I whipped that. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, I need to get my aim in together today. My ass cannot aim, and I, I I lost where that mercy was. If I'm being honest with you, so let's just kind of walk and get these staggers. I know more has fade, that's why it's less likely to go for the knife on her. The torque's gonna try to come out in that tunnel. I can't really push this alone right now. It's just be kind of overextending at that point. So those are not staggers I can go for. So let's just play slow. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have shatter. I thought he'd play off the corner. That's why I went for the swing on corner. I'm gonna try to create an off angle by playing here. And kind of maybe I can look for a pick on their back line. I am whipping right now. Mercy probably wants to rest something, so I'm gonna try to mark her so she can't rest for free. Hopefully. Well, that's awkward. I need a shot to be able to live there. I got off at 3 HP. Why is someone saying JQ? I, I killed I killed two there. I killed their backline. 
You just beat out whoever's contesting, please? Okay. My team apparently just wants me to play instead of Reinhardt, and I'm telling you, that's a very, like, usually thing in, like, lower ranks that people think tanks only few tanks, and that's all you need to do. And that's very incorrect on how you play the game. So, overall, another Slumber will get pressured up by Torbster quite often, no one's breaking it for her, which is, like, kind of, like, on the Hansa to do. And if our team's into to a Reinhardt, they're just not really distancing themselves really well, if I'm being honest, for the most part. Like... I didn't need heal in there. Our supports just worry about living from the right arm. We can win the fight. But it's okay. We'll keep play we'll play into the Reinhardt and try to make this work for a second, but uh, someone has to touch payload. Hopefully our someone on my team can because I can't get there in time. Okay, I need to just LOS that. I tried shouting as that shatter went off so then I could then look for my ult, but we weren't able to get it off in time. We lost the first game in plat. We did go 33 and 3 and tried our best. We were kind of getting flamed by our Sombra, so unlucky. I will take the blame on that one. I should have played more into their tank. That's not really getting um, too much value from what it looked like from my end, but... Apparently it was enough to uh, win them the game. So, oh well, we uh, <laughs> we lost the first game in the unranked to GM in plot. Uh, you know, we tried our best, to try to brush it off. Uh, now we're down to plat three. Okay, all right. At least we got like the true plot experience that we got blamed in the first game. You know, and we got told that we shouldn't try to kill supports or squishies, which is like kind of what Junker Queen excels at a lot of the time, is walking past the tank and actually being able to kill people by knifing them in especially when we ult i'm gonna be in the back line after my ult if i am not able to flank that map is usually good for snipers and stuff which i said at the beginning junker queen isn't great on that map if i'm being completely honest so would i normally force it there no did i did i feel like i ma was making it work for the most part yes did i feel like i was out of position on our defense trying to play off where my sombra and everyone was trying to engage like my hansu was playing yes because i did play further back and then if my team was forward then i played forward with them because I did default to where I normally would, but like I said, if your team's playing forward, they're going to feed if you don't try to fight with them initially, so I'm going to play with them. So when I don't have a Sim or a Lucio on Koth, I like to shout out a side out of spawn because it gives everyone movement speed for three seconds and for me for five seconds. So it helps us kind of take more forward space and getting control of the point early is very helpful. And see, like by the time that we're like kind of fighting, I almost have shout anyway, so it's not like a huge deal. Okay, they are playing queen themselves. I can kind of just pull her, try to pull her out of position. Quite often, this elephant area, there's an elephant here, so we call it elephant, is where his skins want to play. And this is like usually kind of how you will go about contesting the off angle and using the off angle to be able to kind of find value on this, this character. If I'm being honest with you guys right now, my aim's kind of ass. I should have warmed up a little bit before I got on today, but. It's okay, I, and I'm emoting. I was trying to say hi, <laughs> whatever. But overall, thought process was use this to kind of catch people off guard, walk behind them, see if I can get on that Mercy or the Life Weaver for free, or maybe a DPS. I made that DPS player swap to Reaper already, but they have a really weak backline. Mercy, Life Weaver is really bad, technically, against flankers. So the big thing against this comp would be like pressuring that backline really er early and playing more flank. Okay. Oh, he got trapped, so I'm gonna just try to blast him in the face. Okay, I'm using shout to bail myself out because I was getting really low. So, I'm, if you notice, I'm, I'm okay giving up space temporarily. I'm looking so easy, nice. I don't want to give up too much space, or they get that rest for free at this point, by the way. So, right now, I'm near this JQ because I was kind of scared because I don't have shouts to commit to their back line. So, while I don't have shout, I'm playing very peely for my team, if you haven't noticed. I'm shouting to keep them alive and higher just, just in case. Because if we kill that queen, we'll win the fight, and I won't have to play super aggressively. So I won't really need that shout to make a play. So might as well use the defensively there. Make sure he lives. We're chillaxing. All right. So going into this fight, they can pull someone that I, I ult. Uh, that's really it. Reaper has race. They don't really have too much to deny my ult, so I can kind of just try to like wrap like this maybe on the flank a little bit. Okay, Reaper has no race. Let me see if I can bully this. 
I'm just shouting to get movement speed to make it harder for him to get his dash reset there. Because if people can kite that, we just win the fight. From him overextending. So I hear Queen behind me, so I'm kind of looking to just mirror right now. Okay, that Mercy's Valking, so... The Queen made a play earlier than me. I should have looked for my ult sooner in the fight. I got beefed, that's awkward. I, I think that might have been our own tree. I don't really know what beefed me fully, but... I was trying to go towards their back line that I saw in a straight line for me. And it just didn't work out that way. So, oh well. Okay, I kind of had to get a little bit of space here due to their point into their tree. I, I believe they play second. So, with the knife, thought she'd kite. So remember, elephant's the power position, chat. So I'm going elephant, trying to hold, hold here. So then when, when I'm using my carnage, cleave it on two people, I'll get it a little bit sooner than there, Jakey, then. She only hit one. We tried punishing that Reaper. I'll try to kill him. I was okay. Oh, he was tired. I pulled her for her, her, her carnage, but it's okay. I, 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 we knew we had the advantage on her, so I was trying to just get on top of her. All right, you're juking me. Thought he had challenged because we were about to cap. You can obviously hold him, but in case they touch, like other people touch, I wanted to save it for him. So like, for example, this would hit the support and put me on the other support, then I'd just bully this, for example, if they were to get that touch. It'd help us kill that Lucio when that's gonna try to stall with that Reaper. If I wait maybe a second longer, the race will end and maybe I get another player. But overall, I held my ult quite a bit there because a lot of the time our fight was won earlier. And like when I wanted an ult, the Mercy Valked and I knew I wouldn't get the Mercy. And I was like, I could get the Life Weaver, but then I'm going to probably get pushed out of their backline. And the Mercy is going to get the res on the Life Weaver. And then this ult will have done nothing but force res. And I'm not happy with that for results. Yeah, don't waste your ult at the very last second of a round. A lot of people think the game's over and they just press Q and that's really bad. It's a very valuable thing to learn. So this map, usually spam is really good. Like poke composition. So Sigma, snipers is very often. Like what is going to be played here. So I'm just going to play here. I'm going to be looking to knife this Bastion quite often because he's very stationary. Very easy usually to hit with your abilities. I thought Mora might still be in that corner, but she faded out. The queen is kind of overextended on point alone, so maybe I should just turn to help my team with the queen. So that's what we're going to do. I more just faded off the map, I think, so... You know, shout out Mora. And they said easy. <laughs> that means you, Mora. So, I only have a life weaver for healing, so I need to play a little bit more passively because I don't have my Mora right now. So I'm asked for healing because our life weaver isn't really looking at us right now. So I kind of have to get more space than I want. And I don't really have a good corner to play. Usually you want to play that right side, but I, I didn't want... Okay, Mora jumped off the map again. Um... We might... We might have a thrower on our second game on. So, that's unlucky, but... First game lever and kind of a weird game. Second game maybe a thrower, but whatever. We'll try our best to win it still. But... Yeah. You do, you do what you can in these videos. So, overall, they're all playing this corner, so I'm gonna try to cleave it. Oh, I'm so dead if I don't get the shout off. I pulled this Bastion out of position, so maybe I can kill him now. So we got the kill. I don't want them to get the rest, so I'm going to play here. Okay, Mercy, you got the kill. I'm trying to play close to the wall so they can pull me. Like, I saw that they could get that knife. That's why you saw me back up and hug the wall. So I knew that they could maybe get a pull play on me there if I played too close to the ledge. So it's just kind of recognizing when people can do plays like that to you on, on Junker Queen. And could I punish her by going for the same knife on her when she's extending like close enough to the ledge to be able to go for that pull? Sure. So I could wait and make them walk into my team on right, then ult onto them if I want to make a play here. So I'm kind of going to just wait a little bit and let them kind of push in to find an easier ult because they're going to funnel through that door trying to push my team most likely. That's my thought process. We have her pick on Mercy though, so they probably should be waiting at this point. So we're kind of just waiting. Let them walk in. Typically, you want to hold this side instead of that side chat because this high ground here is the power position for your DPS, especially his scans. So, more flank cult. Uh, oh, there's, there's multiple in. I guess they didn't go main. They went left and I got bodied, I guess, by waiting for the main. Oh, 
was trying to pull them off the res and the Genji walked into it. So I was play thinking more people would chase me. That's why I went for that ult. I thought the Genji and the Mercy would chase me and that's why I went for that. Overall, it guarantees that I'll live and I'll get another pick. So it's not the worst play in the world. It's better for me to go for the support than the Junker Queen. It's just easier to kill. Makes killing the Queen easier. Oh, we blocked them in. <laughs> that, that's true. I need a reload. So creative tree. That ult probably looks weird to you guys. You're like, oh, it's a solo kill. What? It's a solo kill that enables me to live. So it's actually really good. I got whipped there. Uh, oh, my more challenge the Bastion in turret form. Typically when a Bastion in turret form shot, you kind of want to ignore him. Try to break LS while you can. So I know the Mercy's not with him. So I think I can bully him. So that's why I'm going to extend for him. I need to try to play to live for a second. So if I need to give them point for a second, that's okay with me. Oh wait, come the queen. Kiriko. Nice. Oh, weapon right now. Sheesh. I'm trying to LS that Bastion while he's in turret form, like I talked about just a second ago, by the way, chat. I really want to play into that, like I said. Akirika might have cleanse, that's what, why I'm not going for. Now that I force cleanse, and now I can make this play. I'm not having a good time in here. Oh, my life weaver is here. Cool, we, I think we should win this fight at this point. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, cool. Sorry for my bad aim so far, by the way, chat. I'm kind of whipping easy shots if I'm being real with you, but I hope that the education is like worth it. Because I was trying to force myself on the Kirika to force her. Uh, I could have played forward and pulled them off point if I was paying attention, if I'm being honest. I know she has no CP, so I want to punish her while I can. Oh, we could die to that. Oh, that's huge. Always trying to melee whenever we can chat. They might have Reaper ult soon. More worried about Reaper ult than a Genji ult personally, so I'm gonna focus the Reaper instead of the Genji. Plus it's easier to hit. Genji's gonna be back flipping. And I'm, honestly, my aim's pretty bad right now, so I need to hit easier to hit targets, okay? Alright. By the way, chat, if there's anything I could be doing better, because I haven't done one of these in a while, let me know. I'm obviously trying to explain my thought process as much as I can. Sometimes in my human I kind of brain turns off for a little bit like I'm explaining why I'm making the decision and usually what my win condition is like a lot of the time I wasn't playing into their queen unless their queen was ever extended a lot of the time I'm gonna ignore their tank unless they are very killable from them being out of position missing cooldown stuff like that otherwise a lot of the time I'm gonna look to bully DPS and supports but these supports don't really enable tanks very much so uh, overall I'm gonna be looking to play more alone like I'm not really thinking if if they play a Junker Queen into me, do I think I win the Brawl with this? Not really, because they could just play for anti. I could get pulled out, but that doesn't cleanse anti and I would still die. So overall, I, I'm thinking I'm going to play a little bit more for myself. Okay, they have Echo as well. That's kind of annoying for me. They have a Genji. Okay, so they have a lot of dive characters. Let me see what their support are. Okay, they have Ana. So I shot into using Axe there, mostly because I want to apply a bleed there for me to get a little bit of healing just to enable me to keep playing aggressively so when this ball tries to run away is when i'm gonna pull this knife so oh he tried i thought he was gonna try to run away when he started breaking ls so that's when i'm gonna pull the knife it obviously expires after a little bit but a lot of the time it's when the ball tries to disengage after pile driving that you want to pull your knife when he starts rolling the opposite direction from you okay a lot of the time, I could take more aggressive positioning in that window if I feel like I have the time to take that aggressive position on this character. But sometimes you won't, so then I just try to go fishing. So I'm trying to pull someone out the window from my team. They have a Sigma now. So have a ball, so... This map is usually a dive map, by the way, chat. I'd usually play Winston or Diva on this map for the people that want to know what I normally play on each map. If you guys want me to do a series where I pick the more optimal character for each comp or each map, always and explain why i think they're more optimal and how to play it on each map let me know and i'll get that going for you guys 
It seems like my team needs some more care right now in the back. Oh, we are going for a res out in the open. Um, so we're down two right now. We're down three. We're down both supports. So I'm just going to give space right now. Try not to get staggered. That's the best thing you can do all the time. Like I said, try not, not to get staggered. So I'm going to just try to peek my mercy here to get healed up a little bit. Hopefully they help. We did get one pick on our way out. I could have got the soldier maybe if I played it a little bit better. But they're down one right now. So I think I should take a fight early. Okay, they use rock. They use nade. So look, I baited some cooldowns. Oh, they use sleep. So after I get healed up here, I could look for a really aggressive ult. Oh, well. They still have cleanse. Chat. I'm done. I'm a doofus. Oh, I'm getting pulled out. So let's just kind of kite for a second. Yeah, I thought I could drop so I could actually be doing something because I need to get close to things. I have a shotgun, okay? Um, and I need to pull people. So like playing like 10 meters away is like pretty optimal a lot of the time. Obviously, we're, we're kind of getting bladed. Our life we didn't say it. They say sorry. It's whatever. They're playing fine. My team is doing good. I obviously kind of forgot that they still had Suzu, if I'm being honest. I just saw that they're on a wasted every cooldown. And it made me want to go for a play. And it was a terrible time to go for a play. I'm being completely honest with myself. So I'm going to see if I can bait out the cooldowns from the Kirka. Okay. Bait out both cooldowns. Makes it a free kill. I'm whipping these shots on the soldier. That's why I'm going to use that ability. Okay, the soldier is still one. My game just froze. That was weird. Okay, everyone died to the Genji. So overall, it seems like the Genji's having a really good time with my backline. And we need to be a little bit more careful about... So typically, if the Genji's having a good time, you want to play a less diveable backline, right? We, we talk about Life Weaver Mercy being more diveable, and then we go Zen, which is probably the most diveable sport in the game. So overall, if we have a Zen, I probably need to protect my Zen a little bit more. That's my thought process going into this, but... It's kind of hard to balance like they only have one flanker, so it's usually not really worth your time to just be peeling for one flanker Okay, I just want the sig to not walk on my team So I'm gonna try to pressure him just so he doesn't walk for free Try to knife this on it on slope and I miss it Try to force cooldowns force cleanse force deflect overall makes it easier for me to potentially get a kill now we knife her when she doesn't have cleanse. Free kill. So I could use this to help my Reaper chase a little bit. I don't think it's worth though with how far away they are at this point. So I'm just going to back up now. He has Wraith to get out. He's a big boy. He can do it himself. Okay. So this Genshi's looking to flank. I'm looking to bait cooldowns out of him so it's harder for him to engage. I'm using deflect. He's a little bit more scared to engage. I'm anti. I'm going to shout. I got both DPS with that, and they're kind of split, and he's blading, so it'll help us shut down the blade, so that's why I went for the ult there. It wasn't nanoed. I knew it could help us get the kill. I'm whipping a lot of easy shots, but doesn't matter, okay? Aim doesn't matter. Positioning, good ability use is just what's going to matter. Aim does help. Don't get me wrong. This may aim kind of bad right now for a top 500 player, 100%. Need to watch for the Ana with sleep there, so I'm trying to play off a corner and try to bait cooldowns a little bit. Trying to do the same thing so that I'm 70 HP. So since I'm 70 HP, I use my shot. I got bold. Obviously, not too much to do here. This is kind of that joke that not being on a dive tank, I really need to be able to take that upper space, but I really had to respect Ana and all the characters being pushed up so early for me not taking that space sooner, potentially. So that's where... Yeah, they just have high ground advantage. We didn't really have do a good job of contesting that high ground as a team. They won the fight. But we did have four spawns, so then we get a fight more in the middle of the map instead of like on the tail end, which is good for us. So overall, let my DPS play this window off angle. I don't really need to play there. I could be looking for nice for a second there, but personally, they're going to probably shield it. I'm going to play main to create another angle. So I'm so playing off angle works for right now. I need to play a little slow for a second, get healed up. Try not to shoot. Okay, we got anti, let's chill. We don't need to use our shot if we chill for a second. Hopefully we get healed up a little bit. Obviously, Life Weaver, not really the best character for healing a tank. That's why we talked about we're gonna have to play this very slow, because if you notice, we're kinda, kinda weak all the time. 
spot. I'm gonna grab the minis to help myself stabilize a little bit. So shoot the shield and enable our team to maybe kill the Sigma. Pull him out into the open now that he has no shield. Oh, it secures the kill. Cool. So now let's try to walk, see if we can chase and sire these supports with my team. Someone else has a payload, not usually your job as a tank. I'll shout to help my Reaper get closer to kill these people maybe faster. I'm gonna try to knife, pull that guy from the window. Didn't hit it. Oh well. So we will have ult this fight. They do have Kirika cleanse. So knowing that, I'm gonna try to flank early, okay? They have a Reinhardt now, no Sigma. So in general. Okay, force cleanse. Okay, we got slept, but we already killed the support. Maybe I can ult and make a play here for my team. I was pulling her away from the window so she couldn't help her team. That was my thought process. With thought he was gonna go for uh, like the flick for the Reaper for a second. I don't know why, but whatever. So she slept me, but she kind of ignored me. She had a reposition. So after she slept me, she should run and push into her team instead of staying up here, essentially. So we still don't have our support. So I should give it space currently, okay? Just for one second. Oh, our Reaper went for an ult. Um, they saw they have lamp and they also have I don't really care about them having lamp. I care about them having Suzu. Okay, both of my supports died just to this with solo Genji again. So obviously the solo Genji is getting a lot of value on our back line. So that's okay. We had support ults there, but if they want to save it, that's cool with me. So let's go into this next fight. Try to flank pressure this Kirika to use her Suzu again, and then we can look for our ult, okay? Otherwise, let's see. Hopefully, maybe our Echo or Reaper can maybe force it out for me. I'm really paying attention to audio for hearing that Susie get used. I'm going to try to fish from here for a second. Oh, look, I forced Susie. That's a good trans. I re that soldier was overextended from trying to flank there, so we can try to punish that. Again, she has no dash, so I know he's kind of punishable. Boom, boom, boom. Ryan ran out of shield. So the Ryan has to win fights quick, or we just break his shield with our Zen and like shotguns and stuff. So the, if they take a slow fight, it's in our advantage. Like, it's good for us. It's advantageous for us. Was the shatter pretty good? Yeah, like it denied me making a play. Like I would have killed their BAP. Like I was going to break in mortality field and kill him, blah, blah, blah. And maybe we kill Reinhardt. Probably not. We'd at least kill Bap and that'd be a, a pick. Like a pick's all you need for Molt. Couldn't take really forward position that well. I'm gonna push the cards just so my support can play in maybe a little bit of a safer spot. How do you go for cards? Oh. So, that was fight so far. Obviously, if you've noticed, usually again, she's just finding value on one of the supports early. This fight's still turnable though for us. If you create an offing on this Reinhardt, Okay, we force Lamp. Force Suzu. Okay. I don't want to play into that window though, so I'm gonna play play a little bit more off this corner. Wait, yeah, they all peeked the window and they got window fire strike. It's kinda how it goes. I know the Genji is the problem, so that's why I'm paying more attention to them there. I got my ult as I died. I, would I ult that anyway? Probably not. It's better just to save it for the next fight because we probably have two fights before we lose this game and we're gonna have reaper ult in my ult they still have cleanse so maybe if my reaper ults early he'll force cleanse for me okay so i'm kind of like gonna let my reaper maybe go for the play first and then i'll look for my ult or can i flank and try to pressure this character early sure my life reaver's doing really good pulls by the way so we almost have trans too so if we play a little bit slow we, we can get trans so I'm just gonna poke just for a second here. I think I should force cards soon though. My Reaper is kind of out in the open with no Wraith, I think. Saw them kind of all stacked and I knew they're gonna make an aggressive push. So I was like, okay, if they're going to make an aggressive push, I'm going to force out all their abilities, blah, blah, blah. They're going to be really grouped. Maybe they don't Suzu everything. Maybe it'll at least make cooldowns for my Reaper to maybe make a good ult afterwards. So that will make this a really good play for our team. Let's just go for it there. 
that was the thought process going on there because so i was like i can't really wait on my reaper to use this old at this point we will lose this fight potentially if other people don't take the initiative here i'm gonna take the initiative and try to make something happen did you talk about the axe wing like you can 180 yeah talk about you can do it from the right to the left and do like a 180 mm-hmm Made sure to cover all that. Made sure to let people know that if you melee with your knife, it would proc the bleed and all that stuff. I made a little thing at the very start of this uh, recording so everyone gets all that information right off the rip. So I don't have to explain it every two seconds. And then I just talked about like my general combo. When will I use carnage over shooting off a knife? Can you do little cheeky knife plays that you duck and you can pull them over your head off the map? There's little stuff like that. And I'll try to incorporate that tech whenever possible, but yeah. Who would then be the JQ guy? You know, it, it, it's at least I don't have the pressure because I lost the first game to make it on like a 100% win rate, if I'm being honest, because there is a little bit of that pressure behind it. Every single time I make one of these, I, like people expect them to be 100% win rate. And like sometimes, you know, you get the short end of the stick or like maybe just how you wanted to play the game doesn't correlate with how your team wants to play the game. Like my Sombra thought she could do solo kill their backline and they're like, you need to focus more on killing a Reinhardt that's getting double pocketed by supports, blah, 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 that I was not going to win the brawl because I wasn't getting enough really help. So if I'm not getting enough help, I'm going to just kill the backline. And that's how it comes from my end. And that's usually how you win the fight is you kill squishies first, especially on JQ. But you know that didn't correlate with what they thought and that's okay we just go next game and yeah so right now uh i'm kind of just giving them space and looking to see okay they have a widow so i need to kind of i can't i'm gonna play more for this doomfist initially here by the way axing him when he's blocking it doesn't charge the punch so like that with how the interaction is so i typically will always just carnage whenever i see a doom block just so they don't have to heal me, I'm gonna grab the self back so the Mercy can focus on pocketing my DPS, which is what a Mercy should be doing, chat. Oh, what is the window? I should have knifed that if I heard her there earlier. So, trying to just block off the Doom. I'm trying to back up. She has a TP escape at this point. Like, her teammates are back, so it's not really something that should be killable. But she TP'd to someone in the LOS of my DPS, so it worked out. You still always want to pressure out the Kiriko, even if she will be able to get out because otherwise she'll just off angle, get a lot of DPS value, maybe double headshot your support so you lose the game off that. So we're currently up too, so might as well play with my DPS that are a little, a little far forward, but I thought I could maybe kill that Ana, but she grabbed the health back, blah, blah, blah. That's why I kind of chase for a second. They have Fair Mercy, they got off Widow. Wait, no, they don't even have a Mercy. So I can pressure this Fair quite a bit if they have Ana Kiriko with it. So I could play up here and then kind of drop on their backline, like sliding like this a little bit. Just kind of playing the Sim Shield a little bit here. Just kind of playing safe, making sure I don't die. One of the best things you can do as a tank is like you want to look for aggressive plays, but you need to recognize when you're playing a little too aggressive and you could get punished. So the worst thing you can do as a tank is a lot of the time it's just dying, like simple as that. So whenever you feel like your play is a little bit too aggressive, Probably is. So I'm kind of just going to show like, if my team is playing well, do I need to carry every single game? No, I just need to exist. I'm going to just exist if I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to try to like make a play every single fight unless I have to. Okay. <laughs> so obviously my team is playing a little bit more forward, right? So I tried to play a little bit more forward, got fair conked into the open, blah, blah, blah. I tried using my shift to this, like live there we weren't able to live so I, i'm getting punished for trying to play a little bit f further forward with my hanzos which ha has happened in both games that we've had hanzos that they're looking for more aggressive things i have a lot of hp so i usually can play more aggressive than my hanzo but oh well we got we got punished you, you go next plus they have an echo so whenever they have an echo i really have to watch my hp if i go to half hp pretty much they, they'll just beat me and just shred through me Try to pull him when he went for a slam, so then we would be, you'd like fuck it up maybe. It's usually, how you go about it, it's just like wrecking ball when he's trying to get back up. I just try shouting to keep them alive. Because it's somber, they'll have a recall. I really want to make a play here with my ult, but I'm just really weak. 
I'm so dumb, chat. I thought he didn't have punch. I thought he just came in. I'm actually trolling. But we pulled the on into the open. That's a free pick. Whatever. I'm actually a bot on Junker Queen today. I have no business doing on ranked GM Loki right now. I don't know why it, today I'm playing so bad compared to the other day, but kind of am. Try to shut that down. Try to jump so she's not getting the, as much damage from shooting the floor that I'm standing on technically. I like jumping a lot when I'm getting barrage. So usually brings down the d damage that's happening to you. She has no sleep because she just slept my teammate. So seeing if I can punish her here. Yeah, we got the kill. Cool. Overall, I'm going to play this corner pretty hard. Uh, usually your team plays more off of this upper here. So then I'd be just playing off of this as well and letting them kind of push the cart under. But it seems like our team wants to play a little bit more far forward due to my Ana playing here, right? So if my Ana's playing here, I can't be behind my Ana. So I'm playing in like usually positions I do not want to be in, if I'm being honest in this rank. I'll say I was a witch. Could have made it more of a play there. I think just the big thing that's happening with our team's position from playing so far forward, we don't really have anywhere to kite because we're playing in very open space. And that's every time they ult, our team's able to get punished. And I don't really want to communicate and make people play in a higher, like, ELO's positioning. Because I feel like that's just, like, kind of goes against the spirit of showing you guys, like, you're not always going to get a team that, like, listens. And I want you guys to see, like, how you deal with it. I know I could ult this, technically. They have magnetic grenade, and I'm kind of scared of getting naded out of my ult. You know, another one canceled after the first one. They have immortality field. I'm going to shout and try to make a play I'm actually so mad right now I was like oh I, they don't have sleep bro I am getting bullied I'm actually getting bullied in plot guys I am a plot player I am one with chat right now holy crap I'm assuming the doom is like not just sitting on me the entire game right now and I'm not really paying attention to them because like I, sh I really shouldn't be when I have old especially like I'm not looking to old a doom fist and he's uh outplaying me right now they are playing a echo which is something that's usually for the most part something that I'm not going to be marking too much on this character like it's better for me to just look to pull it, boy the soldier in their back line and let my soldier and somber deal with echo for the most part that's why I'm like I'm going to look for the knife on the soldier over that go, but since the soldier isn't peeking, I'm going to now look for it on that go. I shouted because I wanted to peek that aggressively, safely. I'm going to play more into this team because it seems like the game that is being played. Okay, they copied me, I think. Oh. Uh, Kind of awkward. Let's get healed up here. Just play slow for a second. Beam is trying to get a kill. We knife him on the corner. Nope. Yeah, no reason to really shout this. I'll shout my backline here to try to save him from this Beam multo. I should be able to just live sitting here. Oh, uh, you got nanoed. Never mind. I'm scared of it now that it's nanoed, if I'm being honest. Look for an off angle to look for a knife there. Wasn't able to find it. Now I'm going to default more main just because I have no off angling and potential to get a kill because I don't have my knife up. It's the main thing that makes it possible. I saw the echo go up here, so I'm going to chase the echo, obviously. Force her out so she doesn't get to live on the flank for free. three seconds left let's just use it to get the kill no one's gonna touch them whatever i didn't get any ults off pretty much this round because i got punched out of them because i'm dumb and then they're saying report doom trolling funny enough their doom is kind of the one doing the most on their team probably so honestly this is one of those games that like i don't know when i play against the doom typically if the doom is inting in well i focus the doom more Sure. Is their Doom playing really passively and then he's actually trying to play into me, trying to extend for his backline? Yeah. 
So since he's trying to play that game that he is trying to bully me for extending for his backline, I theoretically should be trying to play more for the Doom instead of going for his backline and being greedy. So it becomes more of a neutral game and technically in the neutral game with a Doom Fist, I should be able to win. Because we have things that will counter that Doom Fist if I just play so like a Sombra, an Ana. We can punish him with hacks, sleep darts, stuff like that. So overall, I should be just playing slower to be able to be this human not and then after we kill doom could i look for my ult sure but a lot of the time after you kill the enemy tank the fight's probably one doom's not getting any help yeah sometimes that's how playing tank goes and it's okay i don't really care if people are bad at the game right as long as people are trying it works for me try to pull that may into the open maybe find the pick oh look we got the pick we play the card so it's harder for him to find the punch on me oh this rig is so out of position so saw a support out position. Let's pull another support out position. Let's kite for a second to get healed up so that Echo can't kill me. And just chillax. That's our fault. Okay, the brig is kind of blaming their teammate, and the brig was a little a little far forward for me being on Junker Queen. They're kind of playing like a tank, and you don't really want a Junker Queen to be able to like carnage on top of you, like use my E. I could be pushing up right now, by the way, chat, but a lot of times, just three second cards really good for your team so the other team doesn't get another fight. So it's very often that I'll just sit here and cap card if we don't have three players at least on without me on it. Because then they won't get a second fight. If you push too far forward, sometimes you'll overextend and actually lose the fight from overextend and then they might actually get a touch. So it's like a bad habit that a lot of lower rank players have in my opinion. So sometimes even though tanks should be the one pushing cart, I'll do it. Okay, they have Sombra Echo. Let's see if I can knife that on off up here. They're probably gonna nade me in a second, so I'm just playing a little bit more passively. I'll shout just to keep Mana alive. Just in case. Hopefully they return the favor, you know, keep me alive sometime. Try to knife them on up here, try to pull that Ana out of his like position. So then we can make it a little bit easier for us to walk in. Wait, this map is really far forward. Okay, they are playing make the tank have no fun simulator right now. Okay, shout to try to save myself. Hopefully we get help by our Ana at some point. I have to split away from my Ana at this point because we'll die if we try to kite in the path of her. So that's why I went left even though I know my Ana's on right. So I'd be in open space for longer. Uh, I thought she was going to shoot it. That's why I knifed it. And then they just get pocketed. I'm lucky. I know. Okay, that bap's really close. I know I could get punished here, so I'm gonna play slow. I hate it here. I actually hate it here. I was like, he with punch. I'm gonna go for it. The summer won't get the hack off in time, and here we are, guys. Here we are. Yes. Play, play nano tank simulator into me. Let's have a great time. So our team kind of needs to walk right if we want to actually take this fight in that room. So it's pretty dumb to fight in that room if I'm being honest, Shad. It's just I was mirroring their tank. I missed the knife on the Ana. So I'm going to play kind of slow for a second just because I missed the knife. Their Doom has a, a support pocket. I'm probably not going to kill him and I can't get on the Ana really for free. The Doom's going to punch me back. So I'm looking for opportunities elsewhere. Like this Baptiste maybe. That's a good anti, so I'm gonna try to walk on that. I have to reload, that's why I'm using my carnage there. A lot of the time, people are like, supports are very out of position, and that's why it's easier to kill them, because like, it makes it killing the tank easier. So, a lot of the time, you're kind of just fishing to see that person out of position. That battle was a little too far forward. And not, like, we were able to punish it. That's how you win the fight. And then, you know, you, you take from there. The Ana has no sleep. So can I look to be a little bit more aggressive? Sure. So, try and peek my Ana for heals here. Thank you. Say hi to them, you know, make them feel, feel good. Okay, this team is kind of AFK and just like mad now, probably. Because this team's kind of flaming them for no reason. Like, their team's playing well. Honestly, my ults this game have been really bad. Is it kind of awkward looking for ults against a somber and a doom at the same time? Sometimes it's Junker Queen? Sure. Could I be a little bit better about it still though, in my opinion? Sure. Like, could I ult this and maybe win this? Sure, but... 
I'm trying to play slow in that situation because they're popping ults and I need to give up space. They're windowing, they're copying on Echo, so I want to play slow. And then if they overextend from using the ults once they're like close to being over, especially I'm looking to make more of an aggressive play if we could stabilize, but were we able to stabilize there? No, we got inside 150 HP. We walked into the Doom Malt. If I walked forward, I would have walked into the open and died for being 150 HP as well. So it's better for me to just like take the L there, go next way. I want it all here, but obviously I'm thinking about the Doom. <laughs> Punching me out of it right now. I have no idea why this map's here. So I saw that, you know, he used Lamp and I was able to just kind of walk on the DPS and like supports with that. So I was like, okay, if I have the option to go for a big ult here, we'll just go for the big ult. DPS stiff is what they're saying. Nine and 15. Honestly, the big thing that people don't realize is if you flame your teammates mid game, they're probably going to give up or it just makes them feel like shit and they're going to probably play worse. If you have anything to say in game, maybe just like try to help them out. Be like, hey, maybe play Torb during here, you know? play somber here it's really good into their comp and don't like bring someone for playing poorly it'll just probably make them play worse you need to uplift your teammates if you want to win more games like if you don't have anything nice to say just don't say anything like just <laughs> straight up can't get mad about it you go next game hope hope for a better game power coming top right yeah i know i can't kill it at like as junker queen there and i need to keep like the space like in that scenario and it's just like <laughs> I don't have the range DPS to be able to kill that tire from my backline. So it's like, I know it's going to happen. I was just hoping my team wouldn't, wouldn't stand together because the best thing you can do a lot of the time against tires is just split. Let it get, if it gets one kill, it's not the end of the world. You can still win a fight typically. If it gets three people though, you're, you're, it's not it's not looking too good on winning that fight. And then we could technically have regrouped if we didn't get staggered potentially and maybe get another fight if our Ana didn't stagger herself by walking into them. Is that okay? Yeah, like, I get it. Like, it's fine, but people are gonna do things like that. I'm just gonna do me, try to make it work. Like, I see Ana upper. I think I can pull her off the upper. I know she has cooldowns, so I'm trying to bait them by playing the corner. I baited both cooldowns. Okay, they also have a May. It's funny to get a lot of Mays to Sombers today. Take the point. We got point. We're good. Okay, our team wants to just take point. Usually, you want to win the fight before you take point. Otherwise, you're kind of in, like, a bad position. That's why most people don't, like, rotate point right off the rip unless you're playing like a sim comp or a may comp may comps aren't really that popular on this map typically because i'm sure you've seen in like overwatch world cup people play i'm looking to not play too close to that because i'll just get booted by their uh ball by the way so that's why i'm playing a little bit more conservative with that angle when he tries to roll away i'll pull him try body blocking by getting behind him I am looking easy nice to the Obviously, what do I need a bait here? Not really much because they're using that on me. I'll just back up. I know it's not on the point. It was in the open space, so I'm safe on the point. We're down our mercy right now. All one. I shouldn't have melee there. I was just wanting to bleed just because I didn't have one. Just help me stabilize a little bit. If I were to take poke peeking. Try to knife him and pull him off upper so yet we can get a kill. We got it. Same thing for the soldier in a second. We're just waiting so we get a knife, seeing if we can pull him. Maybe he backs. I thought he might peek on the corner, so I aimed on the corner. Okay, soldier's up here. I'm gonna look for the knife again. Okay, maybe he peeks on the corner. Just, just juked it a little bit. Not gonna lie. All right, they're gonna play upper, so I can't really look for an ult early unless I took upper from them, which I didn't have time to do. So. Okay, they have two DPS playing up right now. Maybe maybe we can get lucky. The fishing trip is not going too well right now, guys. Not going too hot on the fishing right now. I could get May walled up by my May if I ask and go up with them. That could be a play, but... See if the, the wall me up. Dude, I need to get fucking healed, brother. Like, holy shit. Uh, okay, we died, we died a tire. We're at 99%, so we don't really need to stall it anymore. They use ults to cap that. It's okay. Now they might not be all just sitting on higher ground. I can look for more an ult. I'm looking at ult, preferably the Mercy and whoever she's pocketing. That is kind of what I want. 
So I'm looking for that early on and uh, hopefully we can find it. <laughs> okay, ball. Try to force him out of upper. I should just wait till he pile drives the knife most of the time, by the way, shot. Okay, four spade. Dude, I am holding this ult for half an hour. Oh, this is awkward. Try not to get blown up. Try to wait out the mines a little bit before I get points so I don't get beeped into them. No balls in front of me, so I'm okay. Purposely ulted around the mines so I wouldn't get hit by them. Just trying to stabilize on point. Unfortunate. We tried making a play there. We flipped the point, but didn't work out. So, so far, I think I could be doing a better job pressuring this more to be able to win this game, I think. I want to chase her after Fade, but she is playing her mines, and I didn't think it would be very safe for me to push her in the mines in that fight. That's the main thing that kind of like made that fight awkward for me on Junker Queen. Their soldier is sitting up here. I usually want to take upper so I can pressure the fair and pressure the ball out of the top area for my team early because that is where they're probably going to be sitting. But I think the soldier top right is giving my team a lot of trouble. So I'm kind of looking to see if I can knife them up upper early. Let's we'll see if we'll get it. Oh, we have two picks. I'm just going to force point. We have two picks. I'll force the ball onto point. The soldier onto point. Don't want to get beat by the ball. I'm not going to over chase there. Or she's one. Doo -doo -doo. More no fed. Two shout and guess my team needs it to stabilize because it's gonna be the last fight really and then they're gonna start staggering. So cool. Felt like this round was a lot closer than it really felt like it should be, but I feel like it's the entire thing that we weren't really able to force out that soldier off high ground with our composition very well and that was really zoning my supports and making it really hard for them to live and that's part of like i wasn't hitting the knife on the soldier very well on up here i was sniping some other things but i couldn't always get the soldier out could we be asking for wall to get up there and stuff if we really want a hard common stuff sure <laughs> make that a little bit easier for us Hi, Kat. Yes, we've already lost two games. <laughs> we just lost to uh, Emoliath on DPS on Junker Town. She, she is doing good. She played Sombra and hacked me off cooldown. <laughs> She's doing good. What rank are you so far? Like, it, it shows on the screen I'm unranked. I haven't won five games yet. I've only won four games. I've actually lost like two games. I've already lost two games in the series. I lost my first game and I lost my last game. So I lost one, one, four, lost one so far. I should be looking for a nice way earlier. Like I shouldn't be holding it there on that soldier, by the way. Don't really know why I am right now. Just kind of slow in the head. There, I was just waiting for her to be easier knife, not her mid air. So I didn't go for it right away. Goth mom's in here. Yeah, we got a goth mommy 69 on the enemy team. They have... Cream and Demon. <laughs> and then we got Bussy Enjoy. So I like to take top left and create an off angle quite often, but I wasn't able to get there in time because I was too busy reading chat and got to be an AFK. I don't want to play Kes because I don't want to get booped by this ball. So playing that left side is not going to look too hot. Try to pull out the more before school down. Sorry, down two. Uh, we're down our Kiri. She tried flanking. So. Our team just went for very aggressive uh, plays that fight. <laughs> they got a little creative, if you ask me. Because we have a May, so typically with a May comp, you're going to just try to wall them at chokes and try to win off May wall in the choke while they come out. So I'm trying to play more main and play more into the May pick instead of doing my own thing and just like kind of flanking a little bit more. Oh, uh, shout out to maybe Sigma Tracer. No. I'm just gonna back. I don't think my team's gonna walk right now. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Uh let's just let's just back up. Uh I'm not like I'm not liking how it's looking over there. Good. I'm gonna walk left and hit.
crash shout off to mail so and play fast. Okay, obviously they cold us, they tired us. We didn't get anything in the mail. Oh well. We go next fight. We're trying to play off the May. Right now the Mercy Pocket it casts, we're having a little bit of a hard time killing even if we are shooting him the entire time. So I need to focus the Mercy more. I wasn't really able to get on there that fight. Cast the top left. I'm gonna just try to walk top left and force him out. So I'm gonna walk like this. Did I have also to kill the cast by the way in that fight? Yes, but did I think we would win it? Wasn't really confident in how that fight was going, so I decided to play it safer. Okay, we're already down two. I got a swan pick. Oh, our Kiri died at the start of the fight? Oh no. I couldn't really hold anything in that fight to make a play, if I'm being honest, until after that high noon. So I was looking to go for it shortly after, but I was way too weak. Uh, that map, I just generally don't really know what our, we're doing as a team. <laughs> Cause I can try to make space for us and pressure out the DPS and stuff that's sitting up here, but our team isn't really doing a great job helping contest overall or mate and our backline is usually getting kind of punished by these people in aggressive positions. So my goal is to try to push out the aggressive people, create space for my team, and then maybe make a play. Hopefully uh, we get a little bit of help this round, but and our team's asking if we sh could not play Mercy, but we have a fair. I am confused. Yeah, I could have knifed her potentially. I think I should try to flank here. See if I can pressure out this more. Dude, am I, am I drunk? I, I, that Mercy literally broke my ankles. At least not the only one struck. You know, sometimes I'd say like some days, do I think I could do this like 100% win rate? Yeah, late night queues on uh, East Coast in my opinion shot because I play East Coast ladder now because I move. The games get a little weird later into the night and I plan on doing this earlier in the day initially, but I kind of woke up late. Well, yeah, I did wake up late, so... Okay, like a flank and torb killed our mercy to start the fight. Obviously not ideal. Try to stabilize with our carry though, and maybe win the fight still. We killed the torb for being overextended. I know Cast is going to be main. Oh, you got boop. I knew mercy would be pocketing her mom in the corner, that's why I preemptively went for the axe swing. It's better to go for the mercy than the more first. Usually whenever there's a mercy in play, it's always better to go for the mercy than the other support first, okay? Honestly, people's movement in the strength is throwing my brain off right now. They don't really strafe how I think they're going to. Didn't really want to keep playing there. I had no shout to 40 HP. That's why I backed up. I felt punishable. I'm going to ult onto the soldier early, I think, with the mercy pocket. Yo, pop off, pop off. Keep, keep winning. They ulted me, so I can't really ult there. You did not oh, well, micro mi bus. I'm right here. Ult fuck I'm crazy. Obviously, can't really push with that kid soon. Anything. Could have just wrapped her around left side. It's just didn't really matter. We already won the fight after okay, the they don't have fucking they don't have any. I wanna ult early so and they don't have a clip. from the stack up on this choke point and then I want to find the soldier mercy. They're going left though. Mercy. Dude, these players are not wanting me to ult. That was what they were playing. I'm about to ult the sword room, but I don't really need to. It's a problem. But the mercy is glocking our mercy. Who wins those though? Soldier is back main. Yeah, he's going right. Try to put one then. More hopefully doesn't have cooldowns. He also in the ball wouldn't really help us kill him that much faster, honestly, because he's not really getting healed. 
So I was just waiting to see if I needed to use it to kill backline if they stabilized enough or if soldier came back with visor with the mercy pocket. That was what I was looking to save my ult for. I mean, honestly, saving ults a lot of the time right now when I could be playing a lot more like aggressively in their backline early in the fight and probably making plays earlier. That's like something critique I would be like saying to myself right now. I think if I watch this VOD back, but I'm just trying to play very safe and try to hold more space for my team. Cause if I flank, I let them kind of go in for free. So, okay. What do we play shot? Take your prediction. Sadly, we went five and two, but not the greatest placements on a new account. If I ever, uh, ever <laughs> would say, but, uh, I'm gonna go with diamond four. Let's see it. Yeah, Diamond 4. I mean, well, the games that we're in, not that we're Diamond 4, so... That's helping my mental. Obviously, I already know people are going to be like, Aha, look, you can't even carry Diamond lobbies. Like, sometimes you, you games are out of your end. Like, your entire value on tank really comes to, like, you need to have some form of support to stabilize for you to make aggressive plays, blah, blah, blah. Because there is a bit of a poke phase for you to actually, like, get into the fight to then make a play. And if you can't even get past that poke phase and be able to make a play because you're more dies early, it kind of makes... And your other sports and mercy that's going to be pocketing a DPS. Yeah, your, your value on the character is going to be lesser. Oh, I need to update the loss, right? You know what helps my mental not playing overwatch i mean i enjoy this game like obviously i understand like i'll say like yeah like it, this lobby is a little hard and explain why but am i like mad or flaming anyone no like i get it like they're more in diamond if they were playing more well they probably wouldn't be in diamond that's why i say when i see more of mercy i'm like pretty unhappy as a tank player because i know like that is the average support i will be getting in the di diamond lobby like, I'm not going to get help very much. Oh, mercy with peak corner. Try to focus the mercy. A little overextended. Walk, walk on the monkey. Oh. Yeah, it was one. yeah, my team's talking. They're gaming. Cool. So against this comp, they're going to be very focused on going on my backline, but my backline has a lot of survival cooldowns. Like we have more with Faye, we have Kiri with TP. We have a Reaper in house, so we have a lot of damage. So I'm still primarily focused on like they, they have a mercy. They'll be pocketing their echo. If I think I can knife the mercy out the air and maybe get a kill, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'm focused on mirroring the Steva. And if I can get on the Ana, I'm gonna pressure the Ana. I'm gonna DM if I walk on her, so that's why I'm gonna carnage. I kind of messed up by jumping on the payload there as a knife. That's why I kind of whipped it, but uh, yeah. Overall, DM does eat your knife, by the way, for the people that don't know. So, it's kind of trying to push, push her out of position a little bit. Make her use her thruster to go up here so she can't actually commit. But this Ana is really far away. I thought she'd respond to me shooting her and move, which was a mistake. I shot for my carry because I knew she was really weak there. So yes, I do shout from my backline. I care more about my supports than I care about my Where's DPS because my supports actually help me. My DPS, help me, help me. I'm they, don't, they don't always help you. <laughs> Can I look for an ult here? Yeah, pull her away. Ana's really, this Ana's playing so far back. It's actually kind of weird. Dude, I, I keep assuming she's going to kite. I, they, do, they don't kite, they don't kite. I thought I could get onto the Ana with that ult and maybe Anthar. Mercy's, Mercy's lit in the air. Not pretty lit, she's pretty full HP. I was kind of shooting at her. We got a liar on the team. Diva Max won, that's why I'm shooting Diva Max. Yeah, it's just going to be a regroup at that point. I couldn't kill the Diva while she's re -mecking. That's the only way I think I could maybe turn that fight if I seem we get back quick enough. We do have like fast mobile support, so I thought maybe there'd be a situation that they could get back. We obviously didn't really use too many ults there. On all switch hit scan or I need to take them out of upper though, so they don't get to dive my backline for free. So that's why you're going to see my positioning. I'm immediately going to go up here. I got anti, so I'm going to drop. 
Wait a look for a second. I can get back up. I'm acting in case I get DM, by the way. That is why I am using Carnage as Sud. Obviously, we're kind of weak right now. We're just kind of hoping to get a little bit of help. Push to the mercy so she doesn't feel like she can rose. Just shout out to help enable the chase here. Clean up them while they're weak. I whiffed. <laughs> Imagine whipping an axe shot. Alright, aim on Reinhardt is just bad. Yeah, if we have more people on cart, they won't touch you, so. Oh, look, our Moors in their back line. Typical Moor behavior, okay? If you ever wonder why I don't like Moor players, this is why. This is why. <laughs> last game was a good sign on why I don't like it either, but at least this game we have a character, okay? I'm dead. Just being honest. Thank you guys. I want to keep playing here so I, I can't res. I'm going to DM so that's why we're carnaging instead. Uh, the wall's going to last, but just in case, you know, it doesn't really change my position much from where I was going to be back in there for a second. Can't really make an aggressive push here. I can look to ult this maybe. I could have altered that if I'm being honest. I just. Wasn't really sure if I'd Those be able to clean it up alone initially, but the car's pretty far forward. Okay, they have Zarya now. Let's try a bait bubble. It's a swan bubble. Nice one. That's two bubbles. It's also in the tank. That has no bubbles. Yeah, Not very bubble. close. When I used it, they weren't very close. So you just got the bubble as they use it. I'm sure. Try to pull her into the dragon to help get more value. Tracer, 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 tracer. You're going to have a recall, right? Oh, okay. Cool. Easier game this one. Easier game this one. Oh, thank God. I can. Uh, I, I was potentially gonna end stream <laughs> if this game uh, turned out like last one. If I'm if I'm being completely honest, and just go at it a different day because today has not been a good day so far for this unranked shit. <laughs> Wait, so the patch is tomorrow. Why would I start this today if there's a patch tomorrow? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm a big dumbo. I could potentially finish this tomorrow if we just go on a win streak, but the fact that we lost our first game, because like you're, where your MMR fluctuates the most is right when you place. So the fact that we lost the first game after placements is going to make the series already take a lot longer than it normally would, if I'm being honest. So it's actually going to be a slower unranked GM out of me, but this is my first one I've ever watched to you. Maybe I'm just not used to playing a diamond and plot. <laughs> oh. I think that if I were playing something that like JQ is a good character, but it's one of those characters that requires a little bit more resources than me on like Zarya, I'd say, or me on D.Va. Because I can play D.Va slower. This character, the rhythm is like, you can play slow and play more to poke because I have a Reinhardt because you can't hard rush with a more Mercy, but it requires your team to live. And I could like use my mobility on like other character to like carry the fight sooner maybe. So I'm going to flank a lot through server here. That's like what I'm kind of thinking right off the rip. So I'm kind of just waiting, looking to knife something main maybe first. I missed. I have to shock some 20 HP and getting Hanzo dinked. Uh, turn away so I don't feed energy on the bubble. I know he doesn't have Wraith, that's why I'm pulling the Reaper over this area. Okay, he got bubbled. Uh, so I killed two. Oh, Nurse. Point him right away, usually because he's right on the corner. If I give him more time, he can back from the corner. I'm just gonna shout to keep that guy alive. He's using way more shots than I want defensively for my teammates. But this is kind of how it's going right now. I want to really look for those more aggressive plays, but they are playing Zarya. Just gonna help out my team there. I'm trying to save shouts for when I get inside, but obviously if I'm seeing 200 HP this entire time, it's kind of, kind of scary. That's why I'm not taking aggressive space. I'm healed now. Now I can walk.
Okay, I'm gonna get inside here probably. Okay, I'm just gonna have to shout the back around this corner. We're down two, so ulting here. Like most people just play slow and then ult to retake on the point. Not to hold initially, but coming. Kinda have to commit. My team is. Yeah. Even if I don't want to. If I stabilize, I can ult. I tried shouting to help me stabilize. I tried turning away initially from the Hanzo. Maybe our mercy reses me and then I can ult this, but we'll see. Kill Anna, just uh, more on point. More, just more a sound point. They obviously had bubbles. I thought they would not have many bubbles at that point in the fight. I had to make it a guess because I was dead and I had no like information and I was like maybe this might turn both I go for the soul better to make a play than not try to make the play to win there but oh well I'm obviously getting they have double snipers basically with Sojourn Hanzo like Sojourn does count as a sniper and they have a Zarya so they have three things that are really good against JQ technically I can get kind of hard bursts so I really have to play very adamantly more on corners so I have to play the bait bubbles and as long as Zarya's not high energy, Zarya's not that big of a threat outside of like me being more scared to play aggressively with my uh, ultimate. Don't really want to push a Hanzo not, with no shout while I'm low on HP, so that's why we didn't do that. So let's just back away and know what's dangerous for us. Chillax. So we kind of want to default up here. Like you want to play up here in between these fights and not play the choke. So I'm not going to sit there and sit, shout for them or anything. I'm going to play where I know I should be playing. So we're defaulting here, making it hard for them to take up here. High ground is the key. A lot of the time for creating off angles and stuff. You want your DPS to have off angles in the option. If they're choosing not to use it here. Yeah, sadly, he got bubbled. Don't know why he came back up though. So... Yeah, they used both bubbles on her. I got solo grab. It is what it. Oh, my mercy it was in Valk. And it's. <laughs> oh, she just flew a little too close to the sun. <laughs> Unlucky. Um, not really much to talk about there. Like, our dropping on the Ana is like pretty good. We are like, even in the fight, we had killed a DPS. We're using that high ground to drop on their supports. There, Zarya just invested grab on us, and we had no answer. We didn't have cleanse or anything to help me stabilize. And that's how the fight's gonna go. Then. More, I thought she was gonna grab the health back if I'm being honest. Nice. That's why I was looking for it. Okay, we're not C90, and I was double checking that for a second. Cool. Let's re grab upper, play for upper, let our DPS play off upper, hopefully this time, because they didn't really play it last time. And. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good drag by my Hanzo there for sure. Okay, Kiri dying early. I'm playing further back instead of playing further forward on purpose. Just because my team wants to play further back, I'm just gonna enable that behavior right now. Even though I can't look for a pick, I'm just gonna play off them. Uh, we're down two though. My Kiri is just getting back, I think. So I had a drop off upper, sadly, but maybe I get a pick here by pointing around. She's so one. She's gonna grab health back. Sad. She got help. And not. Zarya is very high energy. That's both levels, though. Uh. Yeah, sadly, there wasn't a huge amount of follow through off that old it got like almost everyone and everyone was really weak we just kind of got blown up by hanzu and his storm arrow in that scenario when we looked at the zarya i should have ignored the zarya and just finished off the squishies i kind of got a little distracted by her being kind of weak and thinking i would be able to no she didn't have bubbles there i, I we both baited both bubbles and they didn't have like they don't have clones or anything everyone was purple there it's just uh yeah we didn't hit our shots as a team so I'm hoping I get healed at some point. Uh, 
Uh, I'm playing really slow right now since I'm kind of being forced to. I can't even chase that. I carry TP off me. Their win condition, a lot of the fights when they have grab, if you have a notice, just try to solo grab me and I kind of just have to hope we get resources. Like I can't do anything to deny the solo grab on me <laughs> unless I hide in my spawn and just not play the game, which isn't very optimal. So I just have to sit there, take it for the team, hope for the best. They swapped Winston, then they swapped immediately back to Zarya. So I don't really know why, but typically you want to just play this corner initially. Flutter waster bubble. Yeah. I'm obviously needing a kite. So. Uh, our carry's trying to flank and make a play. So. I'm trying to play slow off a corner as much as I can. Try to shut down the ultimate. That's why we're going for them. Using shell just to try to stabilize. I know they're just they're down one bubble at least, so they're just gonna bubble themselves because they're scared that they're gonna die from that ult. Because I'm gonna get three of them, so I know we're okay to make that play with them seven one bubble ult. Being enough players, they have no supports, so this should just be free if I just walk on them. And uh, yeah, <laughs> GG. Obviously, they played characters that I don't really like always being against. And this map, the second point, is kind of awkward for JQ, unless we really commit to their backline and we really hold high ground, which a lot of the fights that we lost and had to lose the high ground was because of someone dying early, like Kiri dying early, stuff like that, which is okay. We tried to do our best with it. We didn't turn the one fight that we used our ultimate. It was close, though, so it was worth a attempt. But overall, we just kind of played into the condition that like my team wasn't playing really hard to enable me, right? My Kiriko's flanking. She's looking for aggressive picks. So I'm looking to see if I can like knife something if I could off angle. But a lot of the map was I had to play high ground. Then there's not really the greatest off angles. Like I can kind of bait them in main on third point towards the end, then come out the right side and then like bully the DPS. That's like the main off angling. Or while they're pushing main, can I wrap left onto that mega and look for an off angle knife backline? And play that game sure but was there zarya really focused on hard mirroring me yeah so i had to kind of just play like slower because she's trying to shut me down and she's playing like technically a counter pick usually ignore zarya don't you yeah the, usually with zarya you try to play around them a little bit more unless they're just like over extending with their bubbles and you pop them and knife them forward and pull them out of position so all right let's go again see what we get this game this map usually more of a dive map like you're gonna see a lot of winstons usually holding top right here and playing that game i think junker queen's pretty good though on this map especially on first point and third point i'd say second point is a little bit more awkward for forcing junker queen but we'll make it work we'll talk about how we'll make it work so so far Ana. so whenever i have Ana, i think i can play a little bit more aggressively like my Ana will be able to help me a little bit more she has the range shielding blah 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 i can play a little bit deeper as long as i'm still playing it reasonably into los that they will be able to peek um we have a junk rat they're gonna be spamming with a mercy pocket potentially unless our other dps picks something else so i could play upper and kind of like bully their dps early that might be trying to take upper bridge or their winston and not really play off my team so that's what i'm usually going to be doing is sitting here right off the rip pulling the dps creating the off angle knifing people on the cart maybe finding picks on the cart from playing here then i'll back up as needed so it's kind of like a weird position that you typically would think oh why aren't you defaulting on top of gas look their dps aren't gonna see it coming typically okay i kind of why well, what's there that's what that's why it didn't work but like okay oh this is fucking awkward hey they have double sniper first off obviously my team kind of bailed me out there and it's kind of weird that they played doom 
right off the rip that caught me off guard and he punched me in then i got slept and i just tried to play for the health pack and that was my fastest way to break ls because like their team does want to play up where i was and i need to kind of deny the double sniper a little bit because snipers aren't very fun for you on junker queen a lot of them try and pull him back into ls All right, good lamp by the bath. What a stop right? I'm going to try to pressure it. As soon as the dragon spawned, it spawned in my feed and I was right in the middle of it and I could not get out of it there, if I'm being honest. Like, there's no really reaction to that dragon. So far, their Hanzo is kind of getting hard pocketed by his Baptiste and their Hanzo is kind of carrying. I need to focus the Hanzo a lot more. How did you not die? The team helping me. We played the health back. Forever, I'll just position like did our best in a shitty position if I'm being honest. So we're up a tank. I'm gonna try to use bottom right to get in onto their team. Usually I wait for the skate to close so then I can stuff them a little bit more, but I just saw the opportunity to win the fight. Because this gate closing makes it a little bit more awkward for them to push the card in that snow. So they have walls for 15 seconds, chat. So they have it till 350. Walls last for 15. So it's just play kind of slow when they pop walls, but they pop it that early. Widow's peeking in the tunnel, so I'm going to try to push her out for my team because the Widow's a big threat. She knows I'm pushing her, obviously. If they want to lamp her and stuff, I will ult her. <laughs> I do not care. Me ulting to kill two people is always going to be worth it. He's that weak to shoot him when he's walking. It does not matter at all. We should default upper. Typically when the cart's pushed a little bit, like how it is now, they're going to come out the tunnel, like top left. So now they are playing JQ into me as well. They have anti and they have immort, so, but we do have cleanse. So hopefully we get cleanse, but typically I try to save my shot for when I get anti to make it work. Maybe healed up so I can peek. So they waste the shot early, so that's something I recognize. So I play more to bully her because she doesn't have shot. Yeah, so look, we forced lamp done. Forcing resources. Shame, she got nanoed. She tries to push the squishy, I'm gonna pull her away. If she got nanoed, she has an advantage in a duel. I'm just trying to deny her plays that she wants to make. Alright, what's that? I'm trying to strike my best and do this on him, if you haven't noticed. So one, I whiffed, I whiffed, I whiffed, I whiffed, I whiffed. Uh, we don't talk about it, we don't talk about it. Um, hmm. Obviously, so far it looks like you want to figure out what's the weakest link to so like, obviously. Their tank doesn't seem as good as their DPS, so I can kind of bully him in a matchup if I can play into him. But if I let these DPS kind of run rampant, they're just kind of hard shooting on my, my team, if I'm being real. So that's why I'm like, even though I think I'm a better probably tank player, I need to try to deny these DPS because my team are going to lose the matchup currently. Simply, you should die to that. I don't want to peek the Hanzu when I can get killed by him. Okay, my Mercy doesn't feel safe peeking him too, so I'm going to just walk over to this side so she will actually attach to me. What's up? We have a minute. That's like two fights. Let's just play kind of... Let's just try to kill this on uh, early, I think. So I'm going to kind of just lurk. I have my ult to get me out of a bad scenario. I see the Ana. I know that would have stopped left. I don't think the Ana's aware. 
But I got cleansed early. So I'm carrying a lot of space, and I know I could play to live with that Mega and stuff. And I just knew I could ma make it work in that scenario, because they wasted their cleanse. That's like, even if I w miss my cooldowns there, they're still scared of me and they're going to waste their cooldowns. And then I can look for a free ult. And my soldier is going to just clean up on high ground with a mercy pocket. He's, he's gaming. So I'll play that win condition and make it hard for their snipers to walk out. Because they probably want to walk out top left. I hear Widow top left, so. Yeah. She, she just won. Yeah, she could have got the dash on me. Unlucky. Okay, they another fucking Hanzo blur. <laughs> I wanted to get the Kiriko on that, but I couldn't. Okay, she has an Ana pocket and a Kiriko pocket. So we are not able to solo kill her with no supports, obviously. I tried to stuff that Widow early and kill the Widow early before she was able to carry. And then we weren't able to kill the Hanzo. You kind of got hard pocket and then got nanoed, which is who we want. Like... I could have committed supports, but I saw the Hanzo overextended and I wanted to try to play my Kiriko ult. That's why I ignored the backline and tried to go for Hanzo there, but in hindsight, I should have just gone for the supports. This queen is just really overextended, so I just kill the queen first. <laughs> then let's just walk main. Try to deny them cart. I actually have to shout because I'm scared of dying to a headshot there. I was really split. Okay. I saw both DPS like an anti. Trying to get healed up. I right, whiffed the easy pull on her there. That pull would have killed her by pulling her back out instead of open for my team's LOS. And my team's question. So usually I like to sit top right and play this more of off angle and not stuff up the door. Use the high ground to your advantage. Use this. Use this. You can hide on that on certain characters too. I was on the corner side. She got hit by that. She's kind of overextended though. So, yeah. Currently just down right now. We kind of have to give a little bit of space. And then Adam. So now we are in kite mode again because they are using their ult. We do have nano blade. And... So, so that's the win condition if our Ana and Genji play to live here. Ana did just die though, so playing a little bit slow. Very Reaper got killed again. All right, obviously we didn't nano blade, um, but they all see nine from my Genji blade in their back line, I guess. So we take those, I guess. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. And like the way I'd put it is like if they had double sniper chat, in a normal game, if my DPS can't like help contest the snipers very well, is it like optimal for me to like be trying to walk on snipers in Narnia as Junker Queen to win fights? Probably not. <laughs> Let's be honest, okay? Should I be probably playing Winston into a comp like this to be able to carry harder or ball or D.Va? Yeah, 100%. So like if you're watching this, like you, you, if you can play those other characters, play the other character. It just makes it a little bit more hard for your team when it maybe their skill set doesn't really match up in the sniper matchup. Maybe they really are good at playing May, but May isn't really good on this map. And you can kind of carry that weight if you can play multiple characters. I'm your queen. All right, Life Weaver Kiriko. We have things that enable the front line with like May picks. So 
I'm gonna play a little bit off walls here. I usually like to take top left right away so I can force off those DPS that are holding up here. Like we talked about earlier. So, yeah. I know they have no cooldowns really to help him at this point. So, part of me wants to just kind of W key on him. So, we were able to find it. No, I don't have no cooldown, so I'm going to try to punish her now. I want to go carry, try to force her out. Leave she TV to onto Widow. There's no grapple, so maybe I can punish it. And uh, all this here, I'm going to give you back. Kiri's there to help her too, so it's just trying to stuff this to make it hard for them to take up her. So they want to swing this wide angle. So I'm gonna take away this wide angle that they want to put accidentally dropped. That was a mistake. I should be continuing to stuff that. I saw that we kind of forced their cooldowns. So I could look for the ult and just clean that up very easily. So let's just take it right away. Probably weren't expecting me to have ult already, honestly, but. Paul's gonna grab touch. He just grabbed Mega. I guess it wasn't hacked, so got a little bit more health, but it's okay. More ult charge. So let's push up aggressively. Don't push the guard as a tank if you don't, really don't have to. Try to knife him off high ground. Wasn't able to get it. Not full health, but I'm feeling pretty healthy, so. Let's see if I can just walk on the Sanzo. Deny him space. It's all the Ana out of position. Okay, they did go fair, but they don't have a mercy. They do have a road dog now. Okay, so the, I'm gonna try to knife him when he turns this corner and try to pull him into open space and maybe kill him. Got the Hanzo instead, but he was able to die. So I pulled on a kind of closer to me. Felt like I could get the kill. And I play into that. Okay, it's Hanzo and Kiri up here. I'm gonna go Kiri first, typically. I'm gonna go Hanzo. They weren't like split enough that they could like really get away, so it's just better to kill the person that can heal. Some people will be like, well, the Hanzo is more lethal. Go for the Hanzo, blah, blah, blah. I guess I have to shout to make the jump. Or maybe I just need to be better at jumping one of the two. I'm willing to use shout though. I do not care. They use nades, so I don't have to worry about Anfa. I didn't want it. I wanted to play there. Pain. She has ult, she might use it. I was about to ult up here. Life Weaver pain. If I saw a position where I could... I don't need to back. I promise. I'm old. I wanted to make a play. I was looking for it. Man, I got headshot. Well, I did that. I was about to pop my shout right after because I had shout up and I get headshot out of my ult. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. I saw that I could kill Hog and him there and it was just like trying to make the play. Just took a lot of damage from the Anzo there, obviously, with the headshots and everything. I know they have Barrage, so I'm kind of worried about the air early, so I'm trying to shout to keep them alive from that hook, by the way. He went for a health back, but it was hacked, so that's good for us. We're gonna come back with Barrage last second, chat, so I need to keep that in mind. As long as I was up here and I can't really do anything unless I pull him down, so. So if I pull him, okay, I guess I got rotate for him. Hopefully my carry heals me at some point. <sighs> Alright. Obviously, I haven't really talked. I'm not gonna ask my Akiri to heal me more. I'll just hit the I need healing button. They're they're a little on DPS mode for our life. We were being dead the entire time. But hey, they almost have as much DPS as my DPS players. So you know, they're, they're doing they're doing deep work with the DPS. So it's obviously the Sansa is kind of shitting on my team. to hit Lance too and him at the same time. I still have Barrage, so I'm keeping that in mind. On a so one. 
Fair still has a garage. I'm just gonna reset card and ignore her. Hopefully people get on card and otherwise they're gonna get a touch with this Reinhardt. Alright, one bull game guys. I mean I want to pull. Eh, at the end of the day, I'm trying to use voice chat as minimal as possible and just talk to you guys. Oh so Okay, we force lamp there, that's good for us. It's pretty long cooldown. Mm, can't really hold up here. Unfortunate. I know from my life we were dying and we're already being out on DPS, the fight's probably lost. So we just want to kind of, kind of back. I thought the bat was trying to swing the corner. Threw a knife on the corner because people usually have corners pretty tight. They saw a barrage and I'm worried about the barrage when I try to ult. I'm going to get pinned here, but I can shout after potentially. Good play by my team. We use visor as well. Okay. The power position shot is usually top left. So that's probably where their Hans wants to go. So I'm going to try to hold top left. They also have barrage. So it'll make it easier for us to maybe deny their barrage by playing up here. Okay, the nano, the Hanzo, per usual. Okay, fair, one for Barrage. I know that the Immort's about to end, that's why I'm hitting the axe on him, so then it just applies a bleed that'll help every time I kill him. God, I am awful. Get shattered. I'm trying to play a different angle so you can't shatter multiple of us. Arms has obviously been by my team. I am worried about killing them first. Just kill whatever comes to point one at a time. While well, stalling way too long, to be honest. Just immediately get through the Reaper off TP because he's standing still for a second. They usually don't immediately wraith off, off TP. A lot of time when you're coming off spawn, Reapers also use race, so it's really good to focus them early as well. I, I don't know what's going on. Something is in the water, man. So obviously I played uh, some Junker Queen the other day and kind of got used to trying to communicate my thought process. So. Usually this map will be very dive oriented, so a lot of this game might be do the supports playing too far away or in spots I can't really get to them. I'm going to be focusing on playing more to counter dive and pressure their tank. So, yeah. Depends on the choke. If I can get on supports and how they position. If they position too close, maybe I'll still be bowling them. So, just let them jump in. Let the monkey not know that I'm playing this. Then pull them forward. Okay, that monkey is kind of killing himself by coming in. So, like, that's fine by me. I have a Widowmaker. I can push this Widow in a second. My team. Nah, I'm not gonna push that. She's watching it. It's not worth it. I don't know if she I didn't have Shout initially. I was just paying to help my team know where the Widow's going. The monkey's trying to do like a what we call a soft dive, by the way. And when he's trying to back from the soft dive, is what I want to pull him in. Yeah, do you want to swap the payload? Push that cart pretty far, honestly. Like, I don't always drop cart right away. I worry about winning the fight. But so, like, after this, I want to default up here again, help my team up here, not let them have all the space to take to stage the dive very freely. So, try to pull them away. He's matrixing, so we'll just swing at him. I'm going to shout because my on is one and I don't want her to die. Um, no. We're up in this fight. Currently, I don't really need to do anything to win this fight. We just want to default up here. I didn't have shell for her, obviously. I missed the knife on pulling the Ana down, and that's the only way I kill her. 
with her being upper without me pathing up here as well. Even if you're just gonna DM, that's why I just swing right away. That's kind of funny that the tracer does that. Come on. Um, Diva's still long, so let's just focus Diva. Just preemptively swing. Oh, right, we got beefed away. That's okay. No, at least there's once I tried to chase a little bit, but weren't able to get it. Baby Diva cart though, so let's just get this kill real quick. So yeah, they got off Monkey and went Diva because it makes more sense to play into a queen of the two dive tanks, and that's like the more optimal dive tank. Well, it's the more optimal dive tank against the queen, and it's a dive map, so you want to play it that over a uh, queen usually but he's playing a little too aggressively onto me and he should be trying to play around me not into me he wants to make the character work i'm just trying to make it hard for them to take this upper area right here we call that blue box blue tarp whatever you want to call it blue blue works as well so he just wants to sit on me all game and play Brawl into the Diva. I mean, into a queen. Okay, we force B. Wait, why is he not remaking right away? Is he going for a smoke? Or right now? Bro, I saw an opportunity that they're trying to make an aggressive play with Blade and stuff, and I didn't want to give up space for free, and I thought I could turn the pipe by using my ult. It forced speed. My team then at least gets to use their ults. Like we'll have a nano. Maybe the Bob was after beat, for example. Like it's okay to just use your ult for their ult. I'm not gonna purposely win until they beat. But flying. Okay, they mirrored me on Junker Queen. <laughs> yeah, that works, I guess. You know? But I know they're on the corner. Wait. They're, they're going bottom. Alright. So obviously they need to go cart, so I'm just gonna sit cart, kill whatever comes in. You'll see a lot of knives, but oh well. Yo, mercy, you're it a works. Different, huh? Yeah, it's true. Our mercy is a little different. Obviously, they just kind of played into me and didn't really engage with my backline more, because and which was the main mistake their, their team was making. We, I did a like, lot that round. They could just go past me and then I'd just be playing a game of trying to zone off their support so that their D.Va doesn't get help and their D.Va maybe feeds. Yeah, I'm not playing well today if I'm being honest. But I got told that there's probably going to be a patch tomorrow. And I want to try to finish this all in one patch. And uh, so I'm going to kind of try to force it a little bit more. Even if I'm not playing too great tonight. Do I think most of the games that I've lost tonight were... Games I think I could have won if I was playing a little bit better. Maybe like one, maybe two. I don't know. Maybe one. Uh, I think a lot of the ones that we lost were some of them were out of our hands, like our more that was getting pinned by a Reinhardt. Like, but I'm not gonna sit there and like be upset about it or like sit there and flame them or anything. So, let's count our D4. We've only finished one card, so we haven't got a rank update yet. Proceeded with haste. <laughs> the more said it was my fault. I, I didn't see them say that. Five, but. Four, <laughs> three, oh well. Too busy eating my flatbread. I'm listening to, to music. This guy's eating flatbread and listening to music. That's the vibe, man. So Let usually I'd force myself up here, like walk this bridge and stuff. If they, But at this rank, they're not really playing up here. I'm assuming they might go for the pin on me on this corner. So I'm kind of just trying to watch that. I'm, got, well, I'm kind of like baiting the corner and not like full walking this corner right now. <laughs> it's just kind of like one of those funny scenarios. No, I pulled this rinder out away from the corner. He's out of position. I don't really need to push that. I'm just going to walk bottom with my team. I'm going to split and kind of flank a little bit here though. Let's see if I can catch these like squishies trying to back up from upper. Oh, that's Robert. Level 
Oh, that Reinhardt just didn't use his shield enough? We are good. I was going to go for the Torb over the Mortar because the Mortar had fade, from my knowledge. So the Torb's like a guaranteed kill, while the Mortar have to force the ability. That's where the target party would come in. So, uh, yeah. GG, I guess. Well, I mean, Yidl has been doing, you know, tank ones as well. And, like, Yidl loses games in his as well. Like, it's kind of just how it goes. Is it, yeah, your tank pick, it's kind of matters what your sports pick for when you pick tank. And th they can counter pick you very easily with their entire composition if they really want. Like, if they play Ana and they play a Zen and my team doesn't play a Kiri or, like, Lucio or or anything that pressures that Zenyatta and maybe the Zen plays really far back that I can't make a rotation especially without speed to get on them that Zen's gonna be the fucking annoying as fuck for me listen that's like the reality but if we have a tracer that Zen can't play Zen or he'll have a harder time looking at me discording me putting pressure on me and then I, I can make it work so this map I can either try to let them kind of walk through and then zone their supports by just dropping over the top like this into them and then using my shot to be able to try to kite a little bit towards like bus for example or or I can just kind of let them in for free and then just kind of play more off this fire truck so that's usually how it kind of goes here All right, they have a Pharaoh. They have a Zarya. They have a Zenyatta. A lot of things that I can't really bowl yet. Okay, we have Mercy. What is this guy doing? Mercy left. They're fair for a second. You go for the res. I will take the pick on the fair. Well, there you go for that. Really no reason to peek far away here. I'm just gonna get take a lot of poke. And I kinda just want them to walk in. Our, since we have Sim, they're gonna be fed a lot of energy, by the way. From the turrets alone, stuff like that, so. This area is gonna be pretty lethal most of the time. They play a little slow here while we wait. We will have life weaver pull for when we get grabbed, potentially though, which would be nice. I thought she used the bubble, so I knew I could just kind of walk on her and try to make some epic. While well, there's areas down, I can be a, eh, not a fair. I'm, I'm not going to push that. I'll be able to kill the Mercy very easily because she's going to just anchor to the fair in the sky. It's just not really great to push out there. Are we going over the top? No. We're still on Zarya. Okay, let's try to play up this wall. They're gonna want to res this. Apply the bleed at least. Pull the Zen Mario out in the open. Hopefully we can kill them. Now split the Zarya split because we zoned their back lines. So now we can just turn around for the Zarya. Get the kill. Now we look for the fair that's ever extended right now. Oh. Yeah, huge pick by my boy. Uh, cause the healing, it might be like decent healing from Life Weaver, but it's not good burst healing and burst healing is the king. So, cause, and you also need to apply pressure early in the fight and the character does nothing to apply pressure early in the fight when there's nothing to heal. That's why the character is technically bad. So yeah. So I could look for an ult early here, but my, I'm playing around my sim in this choke. Okay. So I'm kind of trying to let them into the choke a little bit more. Before I look for my ultimate. Like I saw Mercy. I could get in the DPS a little bit there. Like they're kind of grouped. That's why I went for it. Once they rotated right. Because they were through the choke at that point. I'm trying to play around this area. Like through, this is the choke. This line here. I'm trying to let them cross into that area. That's my kill box. How goes the ranking? Uh, we've had a few levers and just unlucky games honestly. It's not nice. The record's pretty trash. If I'm being honest, but it's, it's okay. Well, well, there'll be better unranked GMs in the 
down the line, you know? Not all of them can be great in terms of win rate. I'll try one earlier in the day. Maybe the queues are better early in the day. Cause I, I usually like to queue early in the day and less at night on an AE. Try a strand, so. Oh, okay. I guess you They don't have mercy anymore. They went Kiri. Oh, instead of playing into the shield, I'll just walk around it. Okay. It's just a bastion up here. See, my teammate was feeling himself, okay? Score. More insight? Yeah. That's the like, main way to look at it positively. Like, you're, we're getting more games in the ranks that you guys probably want to see. And some people need to have that mindset that it's okay to lose games. Like, not every game will always be in your control these days. And like sometimes you'll have lever, sometimes you'll have a comp that doesn't go well with the character you play. And it, it's both of your faults. And, like they're stubborn and you're stubborn. Like I'm, I'm the one locking myself to one character. I can't complain about someone picking more. I'll just say that like m more mercy is not like a great healing comp. Like at higher ranks, I'm not usually playing with that and blah blah blah. And every time I do, do I usually lose? Yeah. So with that comp, it's like. I do generally play slower to allow my mercy and DPS to get value, but sometimes they own, and that's out of your control a little bit more. Uh, is this our fifth game? Are we nine and something right now? Are we going? Are we getting a rank up here? You got this. Well, thank you for the three months, Richie. One trick is more fun. Eh. I kind of like the unranked gems that I explain why I'm picking a character, and I pick it based on like what map we're playing and stuff like that and what i think i can make work with my supports and filling around them so people know like how to build team compositions as well because I, I feel pretty comfortable on most tanks so i feel pretty confident in doing series like that they're a little too weak to be able to walk yeah i'm literally gonna walk left I have a Junkrat, so this could be like a terrible idea if they, they stuffed it, but they didn't. Just kind of let, let us walk in. Oh, I want to play main though. I have to play here to get healed. If I back like this, I won't get healed at all. There's a trap here. Why is there a trap on that door? Yeah, I thought my team was following me left, but I was still mid. So. Obviously, I could talk and tell them to follow me left, but I knew it'd be hard for me to walk into all that spam main if because we also have no flanker that pressures us to the Zen and they have a damage boost of soldier like it's going to hurt. So yeah, it's OK. No junk is up here right now, so I can cut off this junk. I tried. I use sh shouts and try to make an aggressive play there. You don't really usually want to put push up here, by the way, Shout. It's usually a bad play, especially because they're playing Junkrat. It's like a tight haul. It gives them a long time to spam at you. Not really, not really a great place to be. Usually you swing wide if I'm on like Sigma, like wider to the left here. This guy get pocketed any harder. Like a genuine question, okay? That anti them makes us be able to kill both Mercy and him still, so. Where's the back? And I, I do not need to push that. I do not like how it feels in there. I was waiting for the Mercy to get out of Valk, by the way. That's why I didn't look for the ult earlier. I didn't want to solo with the soldier. She might just res it after. So I was like, I can just wait out the Valk, maybe get the Mercy and the Soldier. That will be what will turn this fight into our favor. So five and two on that card. Yeah, we only ranked up twice. Yeah, so this unranked GM is going to take a minute. Because our we lost too many games early on that it's pretty confident in our ranking being pretty, uh, pretty low due to us losing too many games early that we don't have like a great like win streak bonus or anything like that because we're not really streaking super hard so yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a longer one honestly
You are god? No, no, no. These games suck. Now traveling to Busan. You go 35 and 2 this game? I mean, I went. I was going 35 and 3, 35 and 2 earlier, but I was losing. So, I mean, it's not like hard to probably go 35 and 2 in these games, but winning is the other story. Every single player has the mindset that I should only shoot their tank. And a lot of the time, like, if I just shoot their tank, I'm losing. Like, neither of us are mirroring each other. I'm killing their backline. Got a little Junker King mirror. They have a Widow's Hop right, by the way. So that is something I would care for. Try knifing backline there. See if I can pull them out of position. I'm trying to play out of the Widow's... Oh, less until someone works. I am whipping the easiest knife in the world. I'm breaking the surge, bro. Okay. Anti on us. I should play fast. We do have least here. They're capping for free while we chase this Lucio. But... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go get point. <laughs> this enemy team does have it right now. Alright, we got point. I don't know why the sword's trying to touch that at this point, but we will take the free kill. They're top left. We'll try to walk top left. This is the easiest shots in the world. Holy fuck. Well, honestly, I'm the problem in that shot. <laughs> I, I, I can't even be mad if I get a hit fucking that someone standing still, pretty much. Lucian Shadow is very fun. Yeah, you use Zoom. Lever? Well, when I say Lever, I just mean someone left the game. It, it could be by disconnect. I'm not saying they didn't DC. Yeah, we use a lot of ult there, but I guess they're investing too, so it's okay. Lucy is so on. They're all stuck in a choke early. Just look for the ult early. We don't have to force anything. They had an Ana initially, then none of a Kirika. Now they have a Kirika now. Um. See, George, I lose these games. <laughs> That's the thing you're not r realizing. I I've been losing games that they start like this. That means you might go like Bash in uh, May, and I'll play slow because of it. But go for them to engage. Okay. Kirika needs to watch for points so close to their tank. That's the main thing there. Just pulled out for the bleed. I know he didn't charge it much on me. Oh, we got flipped. The turret top is a solo killing me pretty much. So, Alright, my team got the turret. They win that. I believe in them. Um, Obviously, I knew we had numbers, so I wasn't really scared there. That's why I went point, but I guess here was a little split. So this fight's turnable right now. We have enough picks that like it's like a 3v3. So I, I think I'm just going to force point and... Seems worried for no reason. <laughs> Chillax team. We are okay. I believe in us. I missed that. I'm sad. My Lucio just got dipped. <laughs> Damn. He got booped. Hopefully my carry wins this. Oh, that's awkward. I'm dying to a Swarp turret again. Just trying to play the lift for shout. Alright. I hate being cuck like that, Loki. Nothing really to talk about right now. It's just kill everything that staggers one at a time. Tank's really low, so that's why I'm looking at his tank, obviously. Busting his load. All right. Cool. I feel like that game was a lot closer than it needed to be for that round. I don't see the issue. 
Uh, we have at least two. I shouldn't be shouting now. Spawn. That's my bad. I forgot about it. Yeah, I know you have to be at work early. That's why I said I could get off. Good night. I, okay, I'll be off after this game. I think my entire team got zoned by Genji during that. So I was sitting there unable to break sword period. I'm sitting there just trying to save while I sitting on point the entire time. This map. Very open, usually good for snipers. Not ideal for Junker Queen. Uh first map good for Junker Queen. Next map is okay for Junker Queen, it's not the greatest either, but this is probably gonna be the hardest out of the three maps for us. Yeah, I'm just gonna break the third. I don't really believe in my team to do it. I'm looking to kill backline first. So. If I'm committing the Torg. Try and force out the Mora. This ram is split, so. We're already up three, so we really shouldn't need ults here. Like a wild killer. Guess the one else said but whatever. It's kind of funny. Alright, you do usually default to holding left side. This is like the better, it's the high ground. Right side's a little bit more of an off angle. Usually, like, snipers will play left side more. Flankers can use it a little bit as well. Like, but overall, just kind of sit. They're forcing point though, so I'll meet the point. Kind of force to mirror him. New Torb was back right, so I knew this would get me onto the Torb, and then I could also anti those players like trying to play aggressively onto my team, which would be good for us. It also helps me get the isolate 1v1 I wanted on the Torb that would be hard to rotate onto in that fight, since we were kiting initially, and we should kite there because they are ram ulting. We want to boop and we want to speed away. So, chill here. I'm so mad at my axis tonight. It's just like not a good share kiss in my Junker Queen. <laughs> yeah, they're forcing point. I need to meet them point. I'm trying to get the loose here though. I should play slow. Calling. Kind of in their advantage right now. I'm looking for some ult. In whatever way I can get it. So if that's hitting my back swing, I will do it. Oh, oh no, no back. Go, go. God, is, is, <laughs> you know, he doesn't believe in the dream. He tells us the back while we're winning. Good. You know, we'll, we'll break the turret one day. There we got it. So it seems like they want to keep playing main and they're ignoring me on left. So I'm just gonna play four forward man play here instead. This is more of a higher elo thing that people usually play for that corner more. I pull mostly doesn't touch potentially, but nice like this. Is. He has no shift right now, so he's kind of punishable. Plus they have Lucio Mercy, so. Got the Mercy, got the Genji with that. Should be able to clean up this fight pretty easy. I got the Lisa even. Cool. Let's pretty much just try to stop them from touching. The tank uses abilities to be able to get on point. They had a bad healing comp to heal them. Like Lucio Mercy just bully the tank. We build ult and just ult right when we get it. Because if we win that fight, the game's over. We had an advantage. Not shouting out a spawn in this scenario. 
Why? Oh no. Scott forgot. Okay. I'm just gonna drop a man side and play slow for a second. We have a bad bro. Turn and make sure we hit the turn swing on him. This guy's really weak. That's why I'm trying to punish him while I can. Actually, we didn't get that kill. We'll try to result in this fight being lost. Not really sure what the map died too early, but obviously our fair mercy died at the very start of the round. So we only had that one support. So he had no peel. You only lose if you stay down. Is what it is. We really had to kill that uh, tank before his honor was able to stabilize him if we ha wanted any chance of winning that. But with our support dead, we would probably have died to like the Hanzo or something shortly after. Because we had zero supports. They're just gonna give us a point. Let's just take it. Don't ask me where that knife was going because I generally do not know. Okay, he uses ability very early, so once we got healed up, I pushed a little bit more aggressively here. But we're kind of sitting a little lower than normal. Try to make it harder for the tank to walk through. See that I can pull this on out of position though. I could make a play. Oh, my team's not even trying to go in. They're just waiting. So uh, I thought they'd be coming back and it would be like worthwhile me trying to turn the fight, get some picks before I die, blah, blah, blah. They can walk in. That's only good if your team plays aggressive after, which isn't really the case, I guess, in Diamond. It's one of those like Hail Mary trying to be a playmaker thing. I don't really know. Window will be the more to pocket me than for me to play for DPS. Let me just shut, uh, shut for my reaper. Kind of have to kite because I beat it there. Got big lowers, so now we are gonna play lower. Of course, the off angle to shoot him in the back to be able to find that kill while he's power blocking. So that worked out. But wrapping like that. Because I noticed my team wasn't really walking forward. I'm like, I guess their tank is something on top. So. Alright. I did my fair mercy. Pop off here. You got a mercy pocket. You kind of got a pop off, Loki. Otherwise, give me the mercy. I want him. So, okay, nice. You got pick. Try to play a little bit more off. Yeah, okay, he has no beef, so I can punish that now. Okay. Yeah. Right. I won't have killed him anyway. <laughs> Not your shield. I do have ult. I do think they have beat. I want my team to not peek this Bastion and just die for free. So I just want them to kind of wait. Our Mercy went for the DPS play on the Casty. Oh no. All right, well, we don't get touched here. We obviously didn't get all barrels off. It happens. I couldn't break LS without hiding in time after killing the two with my ult. Like we killed Bastion on it, obviously, but I pulled the tank. I mean, in his ult off, tried to pull it off my squishies. That's why I knifed him towards myself, even though, because I knew I had my bap up. And I thought I'd be, get pocketed, maybe window pocket, because I knew he had window going into that fight. And it was last fight. So, if either of us won that, that would have been last round. But not a big deal. 
Wish you all the best. Yeah, thank you, Veron. Um. Obviously, I think we're playing well right now, but I think we might need to be thinking a little bit more on how can we try to keep this bot player alive because it seems like it's a little hard right now for him. So that's where I'm going to shift my mentality. About that. I can play some, maybe they res it. Yeah. I know I pop's kind of weird, but I purposely pop like that so I wouldn't get stuffed by them. Um, and force my team to play a close corner so that this ramp to the walk on them. I'm gonna push her this way so she can't back out and she's forced to stay in. She just slid back to their side. Okay, I need to get stuff some upper. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I could get that kill or help my team get it. Does she want to hold the high ground? So I'm kind of defaulting here, even though they're going left. They're gonna meet me up here now. I ult this and probably win. Yeah. Go look for there. See, I can get both supports here, so. Support B, we got one pick. So I probably want them to help them with point. These people are probably overextended at this point because we're up in the fight. So I'm going to turn for that instead of just sending deeper because then my team won't be able to help me and I might feed. You'd be better off with the Ana. Yeah. He would be better off usually with Ana. Instead of a bat, but a bat, he, is, he has more DPS value technically. And Lamp is good, don't get me wrong. So. Okay. A tank is trying to chase the bottom, so I'm gonna try to deny him a little bit. Nice. Alright, we're, we're glocking. Okay, better round for my team. You know? We take this. That's a little bit harder for them. Again, she's in on left. Let's try to make it that he can't touch, because I think he's the one that's gonna touch. Alright, cool. What does it get a use shout? Uh, it's primarily when you want need the speed boost to either disengage or engage, or when you're really low on HP. You don't really want to use it early because you usually need to bait out cooldowns. If you just try to walk early, they'll zone you, and then like the only time that's really good to use it early is if you think you can like kill something for sure, and they have no chance of stopping you. I try to save my shout, especially when I'm my ult for when I ult. Just for the extra HP because I'm gonna be more split in their backline to play to live as well. Um yeah, we have a May, we have a cast. We're playing kinda like very brawly, so usually, you know, with this comp you play like Lucio Bap or something like that, but we have a mercy, which is okay. Um just play slow, play for May walls. So I'm kinda plays very similar to Nepal Shrine, like playing elephant. Like you can kinda off angle from this left side here instead of playing main if you want. So look, I got inside. I shout. I'm using it very defensively. Surrender trying to walk behind us. I'm a force point on them. They want to get point for free. That is cool with me. You should take upper in between fights, but Brian's just playing the corner and I just kind of wanted to play into him and try to bait him.
obviously. So I'm having a Nana Reinhardt. I can't really compete with that. <laughs> so I try to just try to get away from it. It's kind of hard because we don't have speed or anything. They also had speed boost initially, but my goal is to just try to get on onto there. Here, what a maker. I get that kill really quick. They also want Arisa. So now my goal is really to play for backline. So I also don't want to make it super easy for them to split me. So I'm going to play like here and then wrap left probably and go for backline. Once their tank starts walking. Um, sure. <laughs> Obviously, just play it slow. I'm walking a little bit. Iris is really split, so. Yeah. Jumping obviously over here and making the sleep harder. She had sleep, but I don't think she had it. It didn't really matter. There's someone pushing right, so. Right, he went up top. I've never seen anyone go in that building, if I'm being honest with you. I wanted to kill the Mercy before she could ice block on point to stall. Uh, that's why I swapped to the Mer May instead of the ball. Because ball's also just more annoying to go. But, uh, yeah. You go next game. Is it combo knife shot melee? I'm trying to remember what you said. Combo knife shoot melee, yeah. So usually, like, as you're throwing your knife, like, you shoot, then you're knifing, then you're pulling back your knife, and then you're shooting in melee. And then if you need to on like a depending on the target you might even axe after especially if they're game pocketed then you'd carnage that's usually what i go for at least but if i'm gonna carnage then i wouldn't be wasting my time with the melee i just go for immediately for carnage to so be shoot into carnage so might you now traveling to Paraiso. all right this map a lot of verticality hard for junker queen initially pokes pretty good on first point uh, it's very dive centric on second, I'd say, with all the verticality and stuff. Third point, Brawl's pretty like decent as long as you pass correctly, like take upper from them and stuff. So we'll do what we can here. I'm gonna just try to pull people off upper and win, but that was a win condition at the very beginning, really. If I need a path like weirdly to be able to take upper, I'm gonna have a path like very far right, like coast, and then take their staircase. But try to just run down main into them, unless they, if they're playing like far back, right, it's gonna be a nightmare for us. Assuming the Mercy's gonna pocket the, the DPS a lot, so. No one of them was asking for the Lucio pick at least. Yeah, they're playing close, so I can actually find value on this character. I switch his AFK. I don't know what's really going on in this lobby if I'm being honest. There's just AFK. I just like to just take up here and come up behind them because they're distracted by all my teammates, man. Ben Sen, dude. Faded. This unranked has sucked so far. I had a more playing in front of me as Drunker Queen the entire game and dying to a Reinhardt swinging and pinning her every single fight. And then our other support was a Mercy Posh and our DPS. And I had a couple levers, stuff like that. It's, it's, been, it's been rough. I'm And I'm missing really easy knives like that one right there. Be nice. Wait, hello? Thought she'd go for sleep. I can't remember if he's being forced to block at me right now. <laughs> I have ult, but uh, I don't know if I can do anything right now. He killed her on him. I think there's a little far back for me. And I need to see if I can kill this echo over here on left. She 
rear side out. Doom's got man. I think we're pu they're pushing with visors, so maybe I try to. Oh, uh, he's up rear. Thought he had B man. The Adi Akuz was eating. Um, I need to just try to take up here again. Maybe I can ult across. Honestly, been really far back. Overall, it doesn't seem like my team's a big fan of the high ground. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play off them. Good. And a deco. Okay, interesting. All right, well, uh, eh, potentially, but the Doom is owning my team right now. But just wait till they kind of deal with the Doom a little bit more before I go for this. Scared that I so like only get two right now, and we're just gonna life weaver pull, and it's just gonna be awkward. But I'm missing e super easy nice guys. He's full. Now I can get best supports with that. That's why I'm committing at this point. Might as just push this cart we got, so... Okay. No, didn't go back. It's actually losable now. Okay, so one. I'm actually so depressed, it's not even funny. That guy was just kind of out of position a lot of the time, that's why I was focusing on it. Plus, it's just kind of one of the more annoying things when you're on this, and the supports are a little bit too far for me to actually like really crush them really well, it felt like. And she was just one the entire time. So, yeah. Like, I, I, I don't want to be the one pushing card. I'm just waiting for my supports to get here. Hopefully, we, we get healed up a little bit. Yeah, spark a bleed. Off the high ground, so just kind of one of those awkward uh, scenarios. But... Leave a doom's beyond me, so focus on that. All right, we need a path for upper again. Just need a shot to live here, I guess. Pull up doom, he's hacked. My entire team should be on him. He got pulled out. We need a path upper. We cannot win going bottom. Yeah, they we gotta get EMP, but no one's close enough to follow up on it, so it's just kind of awkward. Like, I'd love to follow up on that, but so I dropped from upper due to that. So it's just. AFK cart for a second and see how it goes again. Weird somber player, not gonna lie. I have to really to talk about that. Like, we really do want to take up here, but I guess I guess she used sleeve, she's a free kill. Mm. Oh, my E got cancelled. I've was, seen I was trying to spam it and I was just like. Why is it not working now? Playing for my job. Be able to turn it. I'm hoping we get help from our carrier soon. Rest the stabilize. I'm not having fun guys. I'm I'm genuinely not having fun with this. Uh -oh. I'm genuinely not having fun.
Obviously, their life we were sitting up here on a pedal, and I can't really contest that I could maybe pull them off. But we have a Sunburn Tracer. They're probably better at contesting them, and they're EMP when I'm not there. I don't know. And we haven't been able to follow up on any of these uh, EMPs. They're a little. Well, without us most of the time. Forced her out early. Here with a quick little combo. Was that my mercy flanking me? No. Oh wait, it's left wait. I have just hold. Okay, well, obviously the life weaver is getting a insane amount of value just staying top left uncontested. They have eleven thousand healing. <laughs> So, um, hmm. I can't do anything on JQ to contest that. Like, we're getting the picks that we need, but they're just able to just, like, get pulled and, like, save right now. And I just kind of need my DPS to contest that for us to win, I think. I'm trying to think of it. Like, I want to path upper, but my team's not following me upper. Like, pretty much every single time. So then I'm forced to drop, then I'm forced to play cart. And if I go upper, is how I'll be able to contest that life weaver better. Let's see what we can do here. JQ, obviously not ideal. We're going to have to play very off this corner a lot in this. Uh, we can use up here to drop on their back window and find early commitments if we think we see a play and maybe pull stuff. And we can kind of try to play like over here as well when they try to cross underneath me. So try to play off the staircase more. So we try to break some railing just to make it easier to drop if need be early on. Okay, they have Doom, they have Echo. Just try to body block him from him dropping. They're on point. They're just trying to force point with the Sombra. The Sombra's playing behind us. So, we saw the Traveler Translocator show where she's playing. So, yeah. Um, their backline's pretty weak with Life Weaver. Right there, Translate. Fader so they can maybe get the free kill on her. I pull her. Okay. I need to commit to the back one if I want to win. I got slept and hacked. Oh. And good pull. I have mm, my DPS can't really contest, so I'm gonna be forced to contest. I'm just gonna go for a last second contest really here. They're obviously putting all their eggs in the basket of contesting me instead of going for my DPS, so that's like good. Does my DPS have a chance to carry? They should be able to not we already won this fight in my opinion. So that's okay. I like seeing them waste ult. unless they're gonna swap and they would be bad. How's the run going? It's going terribly. Not gonna lie. We had a lot of weavers. We have a lot of mortars playing in front of me dying first, and that's the only support that can heal me in our comps. So then we just lose because our mortars dying first every fight. Oh, she's Junker Queen. Uh, it's the character I've honestly enjoyed the most in Overwatch 2. So, that's why I wanted to play it. I don't know what he's doing, but I applaud him for trying. I know Echo's behind me. We still have ult. He used to pull there, but... It's not really worth holding at this point. My is ready. <laughs> yeah, it's not it. That's the song. You can easily get punished for picking it. Yep, force cooldowns. See if we can peel back for this game. 
Don't really. Mm. I want to look for aggressive boy on back line here. So. Got hacked out of that swing that would have probably killed him. I'm lucky. Okay. I thought that would be a good play come both supports. Wasn't able to fully get the second one in time though. Um, their life weaver has 15,000. <laughs> oh god. Life weaver is like one of the most diveable characters. So typically against life weaver, I like I usually go like D.Va or Winston, something more to bully the life weaver. But I'm on queen. And their DPS don't really bully the life weaver. That's why they can get so much healing. But we did have dive DPS before, so. I'll see, yeah, I think I just forced the fight on cart. Try to bait cooldowns. Okay, we're just sitting cart. Yeah, there we go. Back for healing. Heal me. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not charge this much. I'm trying to beat the sleep because I thought they had it, but I mean their life weaver's talking them anyway, so kind of zoning both supports and hoping that our team can win when they have no supports in the fight. Kind of what I'm gambling on for now. Steam is so overextended. We can easily get that kill. I was rotate upper so we can contest the echo and the life weaver and stuff better. He's gonna pop shot. He's smart, he actually went that way. You have to respect the echo being there and not chase up further, even though I wanted to. It's just not a good chase. Easily get bursted by the echo. She got pulled out. Unlucky. Uh, 50 seconds. That's gonna be two more fights. I don't really want to look for ult too early here. I think I just heard sleep get shot though, so I'm kinda. Come here. You're making my life hell. I'm killing you. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Okay. The Life Weaver, we forced the and we bullied him. I saw that I could knife him off that pedal and I went for it and uh, it worked. Ooh, they got off on and went mercy, so they will have more of a pocket, but that means their Life Weaver will probably have less peel, is my assumption. So, I'm gonna look to bully probably the life we were going into this fight too. So, I'm gonna use the upper. They probably want to res that, so if they play aggressive, they won't be able to. They'll need to heal things. They force off an angle on Doom, you can't block every direction. So, I'll play in front of them, and you'll be usually good. Alright, that gave him. Felt really hard on attack, and we obviously didn't full cap. But that defense, the Widowmaker was doing work. Uh, nah, Reddit Lucios aren't really a thing anymore from my experience. Like, most people that pick Lucio play off the team pretty well. Uh, it's just like whenever you do get a Lucio, you might get like a Mercy with it, which is really bad to have Lucio Mercy, but you do what you can with it. Obviously, we're playing Master Lobbies now, so it's looking like if we win this game, we'll probably get a Masters 5, like up two ranks yet again. Um, we have Lucio Morio, so we gotta play kind of fast with this comp because we need to make use of the Lucio. I think I killed enough early in the fight that that fight's already won, so I don't really care that I died there, obviously. So, it's not like a huge deal dying there. 
I went pretty aggressive because I saw that they were like pretty split early and then I saw that I could kill the Ana for being like really far behind. And uh, yeah. They're going point now. Like, if I kill Lucio over Reinhardt, like I'm going to see that Reinhardt first. Wasn't able to get it. Look, see if I can off angle or grab the bap early, for example. I kind of pulled him into my more if I'm being honest with you. Oh, here I got Shatter. Yeah, yeah I get, he found a lot of damage from Fire Sharks. And... We obviously didn't build our ult that fast. We do have Rush, but we have a Widowmaker. This isn't really usually a great Widowmaker map, so, but we need to try to like Builder LOS. We're gonna get really hard stuff. We need to come in. We aren't gonna win just going up or into a Reinhardt typically, so just force point. Get the pin right now. They're in the boot. Seems like our team was not ready for that aggressive. Alright, we're just kind of doing his own thing right now, but the Reinhardt fed there. Oh, the fact that I didn't kill her, holy fuck. That bad pocket was just nuts, I guess. Just need a force point. Yeah, we won the fight quick. Or the Reinhardt get back. Just cap. So just up here, so I need to force her out. To make out it. Well, I, the thing of me mirrored right here, both my DPS don't shoot shield. I also have a more instead of a Baptiste, so we have very, very, very little shield break at all. So I'm not going to beat the Reiner ever just kiting, like playing wide on them and shooting shields. So I have to look to win the fight elsewhere, if that makes sense. Our DPS picks do not enable me very much, and their DPS picks kind of enable Reinhardt a little bit. And more is not very good burst heals, so I need to play very slowly, but then their sim builds a lot of charge, and that's problematic as well. So, I kind of have to play slower just for the fair and the Widow to find the angles and maybe find the picks, which is not always... Not always... I got pinned, someone else has touched. They're all one. Lucky. I'm body blocked off. You got it. Step on. Step on. Touch. I was talking drum and bass, baby. What are you talking about? Which Turbulence. Is? Turbulence. A whole lot. Turbulence? Okay. They played Lucio too, and their Lucio is like 5k healing, so I don't know. I guess their Lucio was trying to frag out. But I guess that's that was what was going on. And we had four Bastion on this map. Having a great time with Comps today. They're gonna, just gonna play into the sank a little bit. Oh my god, she's back, you know. I'm whipping so hard, holy fuck. Coach your character? teammates? I'm not I'm not gonna coach my teammates. What rank are you right now? It's on the screen, Ben. Bears like to give like peek here at off angle a little bit, so just have to watch for the concussion blast though. So that's why I uh, check that really quick. 
Oh, double flyers. Oh, you're dead. Kind of dumb playing there. Well, we need to stuff them if, say, we have Junker Dream. We'd want to play Cove. Think we're gonna win that poke? With my life. Go saw, 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 saw. You're better than them. I mean, people don't care. People don't want to be told what to do in ranked. My team's trying to tell me not to stuff. I'm oh queen against God, flyers and Sigma. I need to hold the door. Or honest playing far back so she can't pocket me on the door. She was playing there even before I died. So it's just like little things like that. Like I can't really control. Yeah, Benson hits those. Benson hits those. So, yeah, it's okay. Try to make it work. You know, I'd hit his fucking. Oh man, I hit Gwen so hard. So wrong. Yeah. I don't know how I found out. Try to play very aggressive. I came. Got him. He backed up into the cool. Uh, just get walked in. <laughs> they never have a, this harmony on them, I'd probably kill them. It's gonna force point because I don't think they want to give me up for free. Alright, we should cap now for free. Just want to force point while their tank wasn't alive. Because I knew the bear wouldn't be able to sit on it with me. People don't know I'm higher rank and people generally do not give it a rat's ass in ranked. You might be different and want that advice. I'm telling you right now. It's generally like not what I'm going to be doing in this. So if you don't like that, it's okay. I'm not going to be bossed around my teammates. It's a fill around me playing a one trick. Bear's on the right. I tried bidding sleep by wrapping on corner, but maybe we'll do it. It's obviously last fight we win it, so I just knew I could hold something. Like bear, for example, like whatever. That will work. Totally epic. Next round is ours. This next map is probably the best we'll one slam. for me to force Junker Queen on out of the three, in my opinion. So I have pretty high hopes for winning this game at this point. We are, fun. yeah, we are. Damn right. You know, so. Yeah. You don't need an amp speed if you're gonna TP. By the way, support players, you didn't know that? I, I'm missing the easiest knife of my life. I should be converting that into a kill every single fucking day. I first said they wouldn't be able to rest up, by the way. That's why that, uh, fight went that way. Well, so if I'm trying to tell, tell my teammates what to do, can I explain why I'm thinking what and why I'm doing whatever? No, you, you realistically can't do both. You have to pick one or the other. And that'd be just me, like, Burping and like sweating my dick off at that point to like try to just win games as fast as I can like that's not really the goal the goal is to try to like explain what what I'm doing like this mercy I think I can maybe knife her and find an early pick so I tried going for it wasn't able to convert the kill the screen seems split from her support right now okay the support's really close now if they wake me up she has no cooldown honestly even though I died there I'd probably die there regardless I'm being honest with you Team was playing pretty passively there, even though we had point control. He may have been a few instead of one. So, not used to getting the kill on Ana. I thought it was worth it. I shoot her like five times, man. 
I'll go for that any day pretty much. Can it miss a single They one? do have a mercy, so sometimes if you give them for a risky trait, like play that I might die for, they could get a res off and it'll be not worth it, but I would res would be out in the open, they wouldn't ever be able to once? go for it. So I'm seeing if I can look for the spare. So I'm like kinda like looking around. Okay, like I'll shout because I got What the fuck that reach here? Probably body blocker in between her teammates there with how I path. I slept right off inside the point. So. We will have one more fight here. We just have to try to ult the Mercy into her. She's blocking. We'll probably win this fight. They do have their Junker Queen ult as well. Interesting player. Oh, I missed my sleep. Good luck. No, I'm not in the main, so I'm just gonna solo her. <laughs> Better than solo, you know, <laughs> nano junker queen, so. Doesn't matter if I get slapped. We only went up one rank, okay? So we're actually just diamond one. That, like I said, the series is gonna take a minute because all the losses early <laughs> into the series. I took a long break from the game. I'm top 500 on two accounts. And I'm like GM1 on all rolls and stuff, but I'm actually not sure how I'm going to force Junker Queen on first point because I can either try to stuff top left, well, like top right door, top left if you're on attack, then they'll just die probably top left. I won't be able to help with it. So it's better for me to probably stack top left, but then if they try going top right, I can't actually counter it at all. So I'm taking a gamble if I stand top left that they are going to play dive and no one's going to want upper. Uh, so yeah one of those things that I kind of well, the first fight I have to kind of take an educated guess and while they're crossing if I see a comp that they might take upper I'll try to rotate from top left to top right but for most players just don't play Junker Queen on this map yeah, they have one sin let me just sit with my team run I have Echo this is usually like Echo Deep is really good into they don't have a Ana though they have a life weaver so I'll make it easier to bully this tank probably. Okay, I would have went coast and killed uh two people right off the roof. So Widow is usually kind of out of my control on this character, especially if I'm sitting top left there to try to deny the monkey and stuff. We have double sniper and a mercy, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I think he's gonna chase that. Mikey should die. There's Madeira on the jump. Can we kill this Echo for being ever extended? Yeah. Just shoot Mercy so she doesn't regen HP. Because if you don't shoot her for a little bit, she'll get the HP back. Try to pull his life we out position. Can play a little bit safer for a second. Widow is upper. Mercy's going for a rest, so maybe I can kill that. Oh, I do not have shot, so I could die any second here. They're about to get some shots on this. I shot defensively there, make sure we can fight a live. Our team's playing the window. I can look the ult here potentially on bottom. I don't think we need to kill the tank. I think we kite now that they near caught Junker Queen for the most part. I think got knifed in. And they also freed on that corner, so if they push this corner, I can hold it. So one. Wait, my entire team kited. Okay. Kind of weird. But I know we weren't really that down that much. But there we go. I should have went for the support of the widow. That was like 
far away right off the rip if i'm being honest i should got a little bit more tunnel on the life weaver it's a more important pick i just care about getting killing the widow early because that's what they can kind of like carry with and she's just out to my face when i finish the hole so. when play for hooks basically with our knife Obviously, Widow found two people, including our BAP early. Our Mercy went for the res. I wasn't able to back up all their resing, most likely. That's why we die. Like, Widow found a fix early. It's something that you... I can't really always be on the Widow right off the rip. They found the value before I could do anything about them. We go next foot. Now everyone's kind of playing the stagger again. So my goal is just not to stagger like everybody else. I'm just gonna play really safe. I do want to try to contest this though. That's why ulted. Make sure we get the touch. We're able to kill her, but she did get the res off. I'm just gonna focus on the hog because the hog's card and it's the easiest thing for me to kill in their comp right now. I hope the team burns in fast enough. The dragons come straight for the point, so just be careful. Someone could pick up the mercy, but I'll leave that up to someone else, not not, not me. It's not my job. I think I want to hold space. How do you give her corner? by whole space i want them to be able to walk in for free like there's sniper six top left so like i want i should have walked top left earlier not let their hansa be there but like he jumped down anyway it's just like i want to put my dps in better positions but denying their dps the power positions basically on the map you want me to delete banner or wait what, what, what? I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about that one Okay, Widow's up here. I'm just gonna go push it. Alright. Obviously, we have double snipers, so they're gonna peek aggressively. So like I'm gonna play with my Hanzo here because I know he's gonna get dove by the diva early and maybe I can help him out. Yeah, I would have died to their Hanzo. Or the diva's here. So he's gonna DM right away. That's why I immediately go for Garnet. Able to find one. They don't have mercy, so I don't need to deny Rose or anything. Are they pushing cart? No, they are not. I. Uh, I don't know if I'll post it to YouTube so far, if I'm being honest. The series can be really long because of the early losses from DCers and stuff. I should just ult this. They have nothing to deny it. So they were also trying to use tree so I can deny the healing of the tree. So it's overall a good time to use it. All right, we should default up here again for, cause we don't want their snipers to take this area for free. That's why we are sitting here. No reason to peek that far though, like the Widow. I think someone's sleeping on my team. So they're ready to just like try to shoot it. So I was looking to knife them and then the surgeon kind of slid into my face. So. We'll just kind of fish from up here. But honestly, they're okay. So yeah, this is why we play up here. It kind of catches people off guard. You can find free picks while they rotate in. It allows me to drop on backline for free potentially too. It's not all about mirroring main and sitting on them. Use high ground. High ground's really strong. Can't preach it enough. 
energy so on energy. Um, I will. Uh, I don't ult or something. We had nano, I think I would. But no, honestly. Oh. Nano to Genji with 6% ult charge. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully he makes the play. This is kind of bad because we're just staggering out and wasting ults, honestly. We can just win off my ult. I just thought that I used Bell there, so I'm immediately going to ult it. All from the Kirka, wasting her cleanse. Maybe it wasn't a waste, but she felt like she needed the moment. We can punish that. Is that probably JQ only? No. Pretty much every single tank I'd be playing, I'd be holding in that room upper. And not letting them take it for free. In between every single fight. And the only time I might not is if my DPS are playing bottom and I'm playing Sigma, but I'd probably never be playing Sigma on them. Even Ryan, it really depends on where your DPS are peaking. Typically your DPS would be peaking main and you'd be shielding the main. Yeah. So you wouldn't be playing there too. Mostly the shield tanks. It's wherever your snipers, because most people play snipers on this map that you would be playing off of them. Your D1 now, I'm ranking up real. So yeah, very, very slowly. We gotta get creative here to win this first point. So usually how I'd make this work, um, like when I force like weird picks back in Overwatch 1, when I'm not playing like D.Va on this map, I would like try to find bottom left and then try to wrap around them through like that little like hallway that has the mini towards their top right high ground. And uh, I would just pass for that and just hope for the best. And just by doing that, it will create a lot of space for my DPS to be able to maybe do something. How you learn how to play Overwatch 2? Playing the game is how you kind of learn. Obviously, watching other high rank players helps, especially when you're playing a new character. You can kind of see what they, they get away with, what they do, and uh, it helps for sure. Do I really do that too much? Not really. Okay. I'll like hop in my friend's streams and hang out. So I'll be in like your stream. He's like another good Junker Queen player, stuff like that. So right off the rip, I'm just going like this because I need to be top right. I can't really do anything unless I go this way. I tried to time that for when his shit ended. I'm so weak. Lucky. I tried to cut back into their LS once I realized I couldn't get the kill. After I hit the axe swing after uh, Suzu, I thought it might be possible to get both kills, but it baited resources, like I said, because you saw Arisa and everyone peeled for me, and I gave my DPS a lot of room to be able to do something. So even if I might have fed it, it's the only way I can really build space here. Because so I still sit here fishing the entire time, like, I might eventually get something, but. Which is overall easier to just like take the guaranteed rotation that forces people to look at me increase less space. So usually you do not take part as thanks so well, my teammates do it. So Hans is stuck with it. So I usually want to play like up here, where, at that door where the dooms just came out if I want to stuff, but then I usually won't be able to get help from my like support, especially because we have a BAP and not an Ano, it'll be a little bit harder for them to help me. So I need to play like a little bit further back. So this is like a power position for DPS. So I'm pretty much just AFK in this power position. And then when I, they rotate in, I can rotate bottom left to be able to try to flank their back line if they don't play upper, they play bottom. So it's just kind of a game of waiting, letting them kind of walk in. Cause like this part of the map just isn't really good for Junker Queen right now. Making it harder for them to go where they want. Like the Doom couldn't go where I was sitting. Technically. No. Our team's a little bit more here. I could technically drop on the Zen maybe here. They try to walk. 
me. I was just letting him do his thing alone. Oh no. <laughs> no they want touched one at a time. Alright, interesting. Yeah, overall we kinda had to play that. We have to play this weird because we're playing JQ on a long range map. It's usually good for dive. Because of the verticality of the map, that's why poke isn't normal here. I hear on the bottom right. I can't really push it. She has cooldowns right now. I was trying to bait them. It's a little bit far forward because my support won't see me, obviously. I can punish this if they try to push it this. Mm, I killed Steve. I think my team can walk off that. I think that created a lot of space and the picks are good, obviously. So I'm not really like regretting that decision at all. And we have rest, so that's cool. I knew they were overextending with trans and it worked out that their Ana was just peeking the corner to get LOS and I also that corner and put myself on top of the Ana and could get a kill. It's a tank app and I'm playing fucking queen on this map. <laughs> Honestly, I was not doing my team of service playing drunk or queen on this map. I'm gonna be real with you. This map is a very, very long LOS, okay? Very long LOS. So first point and third point are going to be a pain in the fucking ass trying to force Junker Queen against double sniper on this map especially, okay? The only way I usually force Queen on is would be like a first point hold where you spawn camp with like May and stuff, but we don't have a comp to play like that. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to play back, play from my zone, play for everyone. Some people like to come right off the rip, so I'm going to sit here and see if I can like maybe find a sneaky pick early. Or maybe knife someone area. They forced a nade, but go okay, wait. I need a shout out to die to the Anzo crossing. Very fun character. Yeah, they. Oh. Okay. okay, I should I'm not try. Die. I should not try to make any aggressive play without shout, and I tried making an aggressive play without shout there. I immediately got, he got headshot with a damage yeah, boost and Hanzo and Anton. And then you go boom. Where'd your health go? Uh, damage boost, Hanzo, anti, boom. You just dive on the man, right? And see, Hanzo. Nice shot. Uh. He ate him. Damage boost songs are not very fun. This map, not very fun. Uh, okay. Thank God my team carried that fight because, uh, yeah. We do have Genji. Sanzo just needs to go. If the Hanzo dies early, I can actually do yeah. stuff. But if he stays live early, he's kind of marking me really hard right now. On a map that it's kind of hard for me to rotate on. Them. As long as I have shout out, I'm not that scared though. Gonna okay, so one, you should just die. I might enable my team to maybe chase this mercy. Mm. Sorry, I only play queen. I know it kind of sucks on this map, but I'm gonna try my best, okay? Okay, you wanna hear my best joke? Yeah, let me hear. Do you know what car Zen drives? What? Soul. What? Oh, wait. wait, wait, wait. What? I have to get on fire first. I have to get on fire. Can you get on fire? <laughs> Alright, I'll Stay wait, I'll wait. I'll pause it. I'm just dead, bro. I should just mirror this ram. That's the only thing I can do. I can pull him away. Oh, dude, I. Uh, we... Oh, wait, who are you Oh, man. I fucked up oh, the show. Oh, they now nanoed him. There's no holding that. Uh, obviously, Man. I tried. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> wait. 
you doing, Stagger guy? Oh. Did you all? Bro. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip Nana Boy, do you guys? Sag. Um. I, I didn't ask for it for a reason, because it was just like one of those like things that, unless I ult, we probably wouldn't win that fight anyway. I hope we don't keep staggering on this point, because it's the point that I, I believe in us maybe winning. So. If I'm going to have any value on this character, it's going to be on this point. I'm just going to be top right, so I need to go contest that. I don't want the Hansa to be able to play where he wants to play, basically. Yeah, I should swap. You want to answer me early? It's okay. Seemed like he really wanted to live. Um, kind of a weird ult, but. Is that what even fat figuring ult this whole game? I'm not the <laughs> I don't really know what else happened there. Yo, Ghosty, thank you for coming by. I'm gonna shout this. I, I tried. It's gonna hurt. I tried to. I was about to try to get in front of him, but he died as I did it. And I won't have my shouts to make it aggressive player, so I need to kind of play slow for a second. So I get my shout, hopefully. Hmm, I would like to push this. Help. Help. Unfortunate. Nano, yet again. We had arm. But, no, that's, that's not enough. He's one. Hopefully, we keep holding on this point because this is the point that I actually get to play the video game somewhat. I didn't really get to play too much yeah, there. I'm kind of forced to mirror this ram and just hope that we kind of get out. We force, like, mirror the ram. There's really not much more to do on this comp right now. Hey, can I play this window and get, do some cheeky stuff? Yeah, but I have ult, so I kind of want to play more linearly right now into them, and I'm looking at ult backline whenever I gun. So they're playing very split right now, which makes it a little bit more awkward. And my team's really far back, so I don't really want to ult. Because they won't be able to follow up on it with where they are, if that makes sense. I'm just trying to play off them. They have annihilation. If we stagger them enough here, they won't get another fight. Yeah. So we want to really just make sure they don't live here. Oh, no. Oh, we're out of there. Hey, we held second though. So much. Uh, would I recommend ever playing JQ on this map? Probably not. Probably not. But guess what we have to do? We gotta play JQ on this map for the sake of content, okay? And uh, if you ever find yourself in a jam that you only can play JQ like me, uh, this is how I would play it. <laughs> so. Alright. I would not push cart here. I just get left and see if I can do anything. They have a diva, it sounds like. So just play here. Try to play off the store. Just shot and play more towards main. So my source can maybe heal me. Another the other point main. Steve just lets me keep farming her. This works for me. He does not like the greatest on this map either. So. It works out. Uh, Kiri has no TP, so I'd like to walk on her. I, I thought she'd be closer for some reason. Oh, she might recall back up here because I think she pathed this way, so I didn't want to drop initially for the tracer. Give him the extra HP so you can get that kill more safely. Get yeah, a mirror beyond queen. <laughs> have you ever seen two queens on this map chat? I haven't. This is the first for me. So 
uh, I was like, the Tracer's nice. gonna be the one that has to touch, so I thought she was gonna bring blink in a straight line at me to try to touch. That's why I preemptively went for my axe, by the way. It wasn't for the sleeping. <laughs> Wait, obviously. I was a little split, so I don't know if I can really help with her. Okay, anyway. Let's uh, focus up for a second. I know the Ana is the right side, so I'm looking to try to lean right and maybe neck her off high ground. Maybe even carry the corner. Cause... Also, I said still directly on top of it, but uh, I knew I'd live. I don't want this tracer to chase this corner. Pretty sure they have Suzu, otherwise I'd ult up. Oh, there you Suzu there. The dudes I'm using Suzu, I look for that play. If they didn't use Suzu, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, uh, he trolled me. Hmm. All right, well, GG. Welcome to Ishperanza. All right, Ishperanza. Not a terrible map for JQ. I think it's like okay. We have to do a lot of rotations to contest the bridge, depending on the spawn, though, and make sure we are playing for those bridges instead of playing the low ground. Well, I still point out, like, okay, Mercy Break. This is a Noxia composition. Okay, I'm gonna just be completely honest. Like, you, with a Brig, you'd want to Ana with the Scomp. And with a Mercy, you'd want to Ana with the Scomp. Uh, so one of them would usually go on it, but whatever. We'll try to make it work. Uh, like, I'll say stuff like that, but like, I'm not going to sit here and be like uh, mad at my teammates. Like, as long as they're trying, I don't honestly give a head to fuck. I, I could have shouted potentially for that, but I just got around the corner. It's easy to shout to try to back. Uh, our more mercy died to a damage orb. Oh no. Alright, so they have a Roadhawk, so an Ana would be really nice now. Um, but. Uh, a Kirika. I'll take a Kirika. I'll, I'll, I'll type Ana. <laughs> Just to see. Hey, hey, we persuaded them. Hey, let's go. You know? Dub. First time I've asked for years in this entire series. Yeah. I forced my shout. I, I want to drop through the window and contest him before get the checkpoint. Ideally. So we stopped him before the checkpoint. That's good. Great nade by Myana. Good job. We really want to play into this Roadhog a lot, by the way. Especially because we have the Ana on our team. I don't know what the silly sim player is doing. They're doing sim things, okay? Sorry if anyone hears the sim name, but like, that, that's that's a little goofy if you ask me. Uh, hmm. Okay, we almost have Nana Blade, so if I get for my ult early, they have really nothing to shut down. I could get hooked or like hacked, but I really doubt that will happen and before it happens, but uh, could happen. Um, usually I like to stop the story. I, I was just kind of adjusting my arm sleeve would be nice. I know this Briggs kind of split up here. So, I just thought I'd get that pick really quick. Now I'm gonna mirror the hog. Anyone was behind the hog right now? I knew I could anti him. Oh, I thought someone would kill this one. I'll, I'll get it though. We got it, team. So, Mora's still behind us doing more things. She doing the funny still. Still doing the funny, guys. We have control of the car, just no reason to chase it that far away. I'm just gonna sit cart and just mirror their hog very, very hard right now. If you hook someone, I'm gonna shout to try to keep them alive, by the way. Even though they usually survive, there's some like usual random like poke from someone else that will usually hit someone. Okay, yeah, this hog should just die for dropping into this. 
Au. Thank you. She's on a fight slow. Hope that they didn't collapse on me before I got help there. And then we went for Nanda Blade, which is really good. So now we have the lead. I can get like to be a little bit more aggressive early. See if I can find just you know, people staggering out. Like maybe I hit that on the sim. Like, I have shout. I shouldn't die with both my supports alive this early. So. I'm dead. I'm body blocked. <laughs> yeah. That's honestly my bad for the passing. I was trying to break LOS, so I went in there, but it wasn't really a great play. I just needed a pass back main. I know I kind of fucked up there. Obviously, the TP was a gift for them coming out of spawn, help everyone get there quicker. I thought I would be a little bit safer from a Roadhog hooking me with our like support lineup, but I wasn't really that safe. So now I know I'm, I'm just going to push the guard next time and not really like B2. This guy's saying W, like no, no one's respawned yet. I'm purposely playing slow. I might seem to have come take upper. High ground is good. Alright. I saw my Ana hit a great nade there too, but I already hit Q right before I even saw the nade. I think I'll still Q that just for the damage and everything. To clean that up alone because no one else was really with us. So. Everyone was kind of main, which you usually want to use the high ground to your advantage there. Because people will be on cart and you can take like a mismatched fight on up here. <laughs> Funny enough, I think a hog gun ranked GM might have been easier in some of the games I had at least early on. <laughs> I need a shout soon for my soul. This brick is feeding. Uh oh. Phase one. No, oh, phase one. Um. Obviously, they pop popped a lot of ults there. I couldn't really back main, so I had to just keep myself split on the off angle and just fight whatever pushed me, which was a brigand rally, and we got the kill on that. I should have just played a little bit slower, I think, overall after, while my team was really split and wait for them to get closer to me to make that fight a little bit easier, I think. Oh, Steve is doing a hog on rank. That sounds terrible. Hope that they don't play Zen on every game and hope that you get a Kiriko, I guess. I was just hoping you wouldn't get around the corner because I was kind of split on that side. I couldn't make it over to the other side without dying. Could I have technically kited all the way behind that little cover further back? Yeah, but I honestly thought he wouldn't make it across the corner <laughs> in time. So kind of just me not knowing how close he was to the corner. I kind of fucked up again. So My team can blame me for these fights. Like I would be, I, I'd happily agree that I kind of threw those fights by the way, both times. Just because I got the rest off, I wasn't sure if we won that fight off that. So I was like, all right, let's just make sure we win this fight, get momentum back. Totally okay with me. They're investing a little bit themselves there, so I'm with me. I appreciate the nano boost from Mayana. So I'm trying to see if I can, I need to not, I'll shout for him to make sure he lives. Cast next. Mercy. Is she gonna go for res? I don't think so. Okay. I think they just gave up. Cool. I am down for that. Okay, they're gonna come out. Just mirror hog really hard. 
I'm, not, I'm kind of playing out in the open right now, but I have shouts, so it's okay. I want to get closer to see more damage to this real dog. I got to my Genji and tried to walk in front of him to take it a little bit, but break the turrets. Oh, uh, yeah. Should be GG. I need to try to watch my tone of voice because apparently I woke up my girlfriend at one point. Do I aim train? No. Why do you think I have bad aim? Come on. All right, we have a lot of healing, a lot, a lot of healing. So uh, I'm gonna try to make use of it, okay? They have Junker, what like the Dynamite. I figure when I peek that Hanzo, he's gonna straight to the left. That's what, like where my brain goes. And then they don't. I'm like, well, this is awkward. Did I see you on Fair and Tracer yesterday? So, yeah, I'm a sweet queen and we got a killer. Wait, how do you not play Fair yesterday? Oh, Wait, anyway. Yes, I was playing Fair yesterday on an Icon Mod game. If you're in a stream, that was against that. That was me. Yeah, that was me. I'm fair. <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm pretty decent up there. <laughs> Not playing this character. Oh, uh, so much is in that way. Oh. oh, she just fucking one One shot at me. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, I believed in the team, okay? I can't do that. They get closer, dear, quick, okay? It's a movement ability, what do you mean? Fuck the damage. I know, I But it's okay, though, because it was to, for, you know, stability, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that, that all was mostly like I knew uh, like JQ is gonna self heal. It'll help me kill a little bit quicker. It helps me close the gap. It keeps them like focused on me most likely instead of like looking to potentially try to kill my backline. Needs a little bit. Waiting out high noon. Like my team. This queen's so one I don't not want to look away from her. Okay. We got it, like I hear Tatsy behind and like I'm aware of the call, but like if queen's one, like that's so important to try to kill first. So. Shout out my team. Summer round. I don't think I need it early, especially with the May. I'd rather just get there quicker so it's easier for her to look for an early wall. Another one. Yeah, thank you for the ball, man. I need my team to actually walk top left with our Oh, he's Yeah, he cut some purple. Oh, I thought was one, that's what I was aiming for that night. Oh, dude, purple is. Just being safe and make sure I don't peek him when he has a chance to kill me. I saw my HP below 200 in general and I was like, yep, definitely can get one tap. Don't want to challenge Hanzo. I know my supports are there. Just let them, let them do it. They got window, I think, above us. Help them try to get in a little bit. Their window. Window. One's up top and they're playing one thing at the far right. Yeah, getting one pick sometimes all you need. Oh wait, what the fuck? She's there. I thought she was in the window. That's why I look window when I turn the corner. Um, I'm going out upper. We can still split them with wall, obviously, but uh, we aren't gonna get that kill. Let's back up. Uh, 
usually want to wait for them to start committing to do that, but I tried pulling that soldier that peeked window. Watch out for the bar clean as all, like they're clean as all. I just spread out, try to do it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Good shot up for my support, I'm make sure she doesn't die. Yeah, there's a brig. Brig's right side. Uh, I get my bat peel. Eh, I'm not gonna board worry about it. I was just peeking windows, so I'm looking to see if I can pull them out the window, make them overextend. That's why I'm kind of looking right here. Between fights quite often. And uh, yeah, my I result in the free kill. I thought more people were there. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. <laughs> One kill is all you need sometimes, okay? Chat, chat don't worry about it. You just shall try to help them with the nano do. Cool. Alright, these games are feeling more normal the past couple, by the way. <laughs> Maybe it's just diamonds and plats, different breeds these days. <laughs> um, right, Demar, drop your easy. Okay, they have Doom, they have Arrow. So you go for Mega, they have Hanzo. Not the most ideal DPS for me to play against, but they do have a Doom. When they have a fair, the other support's very bully, bold shot. But they don't even have a mercy for them, so. Be more bully, bull. Mm. Okay. And that's why we just immediately saw the fair. We assumed there was going to be a mercy, but they didn't. And we went for the Donna. And we used the car to confuse them on the pole, and uh, yeah. They do have a mercy now. No curry. They do the same thing potentially though. They just leave. They're gonna res like I'm being forced up, but I don't know what happened there, but all I know it wasn't it wasn't good. Okay. Alright, let's try to take upper to make it easier for us. Maybe we can kill this force before in mid rotation. I tried getting Doom and cast, that's why I went for an angle on this play. So I can't really kill the fair in this super list. It's kind of what we're struggling with. The nano. Same time. Okay, I get a hold by the team. Obviously, I butched my ult because I was getting greedy for the DM and the cast. I could have sold ult to the cast and it would have been a way better ult or just onto the Ana maybe. I was just afraid she had sleep, so I didn't want to go Ana. That's a good name. Yeah, their Mercy really should have come to that on the open. I guess I got it off, I guess, but it kills the fair, so we take this. Sit here, kill Doom. Just waiting for him to like try to get out and just like get in here. Um, what ults do they have? I actually have zero clue right now. I am out of it in terms of ult tracking tonight. Um, we do almost have our ult, so it's gonna play slower. Yeah, I charge it, so fuck okay. it. Oh, 
Oh, this point slower. I did get booped in by the fair, and then I got slept, and then I got anti'd. While we were just sitting pretty low, so. I, I was attempting to play slow. <laughs> and usually I want to hold that corner. Instead of letting them just walk for, for free upper. Because if I sit bottom, then they take top right above me for free. Could I have gone for an early flank and that been a more aggressive play that I chose not to? Yeah. I didn't want to go for aggressive play in that fight because we were close to ultimates and I just felt like it wouldn't be like worth it. Oh, and I can't play the game. Yeah, good. If I can't play the game, you can't play the game. Cube bug is there after four seasons. Yeah, I don't know when that's gonna get fixed. I thought it was supposed to get fixed in the last patch, but it didn't happen. Hey, Icarus, thank you for gifting the sub to hustle, man. Greatly appreciate Icarus. Very kind of you. Can I get some forgiving loves for anyone in here is awake right now because it's two in the morning? Are they still a fair, so we need to put that in mind that they probably aren't peeling for their other support very well. Um, I could wrap just left. I'm gonna take upper first and see if I can get anything, and then if not, I'm just gonna wrap bottom left and try to make a flank. Okay. Yeah, with where they're playing, I am definitely not able to. Yeah. I just look that up right away. Not going. We're back. Our mercy is the result. I'm a little weak, and I know. I'm trying to bait hook a little bit. Well, I've, once I saw Hog, I knew I'd just come here and try to shout whenever you hook something and just play a slow off that. And uh, yeah, that was the win condition I was looking for because we have an Ana, they didn't have a Kirika, they're not going to be able to cleanse. He has no business sitting in the front line on Roadhog then. We should just win by playing slow. We don't really have to do anything greedy. All right, five and two. All right, we went up one rank and we almost went up a second. So, okay, Masters five. Traveling to repair to attack. Okay, Lucio Mora, I'm, I'm playing very fast, Jet. Hey, we played fast. I got big bit I still lose this because Azar is very high energy if we don't isolate her from her back one. She's very overextended, so you just want to shoot her there, even though she's bubbled, by the way. You don't have to respect bubbles when someone's out of position. Especially if it's Azari, because she's just going to lose energy. So, like, right now, I want to take aggressive position in Castle, not let them play there for free, especially while their tanks are not here yet. Kind of baited re resources. Now I'll go again. All right, we should start to back a little bit. I think pull her off the map. 
and they can't res it. Um, we can try to get this on it and uh, she's out. Be able to get that. Let's see. Like, I talked about like I wanted to go up here last time on the, when I played this map, but my team wasn't really helping me. But my team helped me this time, so it worked out. Uh, that Bob's in Narnia doesn't do anything. Pretty cool. Scare them off the point, just scare them off the point. If I could stabilize, I'd ult you. Uh, or more get split on that right side. I was judging if I should ult based off if my support could help me. But we got kind of split. I think they bailed on the fight, which is fine. Like, it's just me and them. It's like a greedy ult going for that, so. Just try to bait some bubbles here, look for ult. Maybe I knife him walking in. Nah. Wasn't able to find it, but. I can just force the boy in. I'll bait some bubbles by doing that. I'm my entire team died, I guess. Bring up. Unlucky, I guess. We tried our best. I saw they used one bubble, I knew they wouldn't only be able to bubble one other person. I saw it would put me on Ana, I knew it would be a free kill on Ana and that would win us maybe the fight. But uh, no, it wasn't good enough I guess. So, we get next fight. Need to be more patient with the knife I think. He's speaking way longer than I th think his body would. Scared peeking because I knew, so I'll just walk on him. He's not gonna move. They're just gonna give her up to. They didn't know they can't win this. They decided to try to win it a little too late, so. Just try to use our shots to beat play very fast here. I don't wanna talk about it. Um. Alright, uh, going into this fight, I can play a little bit slower, wait till we get support ults and maybe my ult and we maybe make a push. We got health back so we don't have to waste heals on them. You get killed. I'm expecting the high noon and try not to peek. I'm shooting the bubble because she's so weak and I thought I think we'll kill her. Right now. I was in Zara's kind of eh. She, has a, she won't have her bubbles probably and she just kind of feeds right when you use her. She might have one, but usually not both. So, not really a, usually a great res. Oh, let's just let them in this time. They're playing way further back than I thought they would. I can't aim at all today, I don't know what it is, either. Something's in the water, man. Um, just trying to mirror the JQ a little bit. They're trying to walk, so I'm gonna see if I can... Mm, mercy pocket in them, I don't think I can slow it for a little. Mm, I have old if you slow. I 
I need to start cart because there's no getting out. Um, obviously, neither of our comps are really good, if I'm being honest. So, uh, mm, I think our comps are good. We do have speed, we just need to find an engagement sooner for her team. Wasn't able to really. Like, I tried to flank and then I pulled. Why don't I just drop an ult to this? I just got double reckoning. Ow! Ow! Am I turning that now? Oh no. I kinda hurt. I kinda hurt. That is it. Mm -hmm. We played it pretty well. I think that ult was good. Obvi if you notice the hitbox for like my Drinker Queen ult is kinda weird. That it hits people below you and stuff and above you quite a bit. So that's why it works kinda like doing it on like a Yeah. Ledge like above them. Still hit a lot of play. See if we can kill this echo. I don't want to force point. Mm. Yeah, we're going. I'm going out. I don't think I can deny us. I'm not even going to say by it. That gets pretty annoying for me, so I'm just gonna focus there if she's ever extended. Otherwise, it's probably just me or Diva a lot right now. Because their support line's kinda hard to kill, like it's a Mercy Moria, they're kinda like... High mobility, not always gonna be able to kill them. Make sure I don't die there. Let's reset upper, so our team can play up here to contest this Echo. And stuff. Um, make sure where that's playing bottom's okay. All right, cool. Hmm. Let me look for a flank point, maybe for this Ash. Why is this Ash point in Narnia? I am so confused. Right, nice. That's hold, I guess. I need, I need to go cart. Uh, hmm. I don't think no matter what I do, we win this. Uh, my team's just all dead, so. Just try to get out. I want to go cart. Um, I just felt like I had to con help consess this echo and the mercy, and I was looking to try to flank through like ult from behind but that ash was really far back i knew i wasn't really gonna get anything but the eyes of mora maybe third one's up here mm, yeah that rose do nothing for bob so i thought that'd go around the corner and didn't i thought she was bombing around the corner i got baited i purposely played in front of the corner have you gotten? It's on the screen right now. I'm only Masters 5, so <laughs> I place like low diamond. And uh, we've had a lot of like interesting games to say the least, slash the levers and yada yada yada. Gotten the whole experience. She was trying to tr go across the gap without the rest is going to pull her back and make her fall. <laughs> Can you place higher than diamond? Yeah, you can place GM1 if you sweat in quick play and have a high win rate in quick play, which this account did not have. So yeah. Yeah. 
And I don't think anyone wants to see me just push GM1 because Yidl, for example, went 5 and 8 and pushed GM1 on Doomfist. 5 and 8, by the way. Plays GM1. Because that's uh, how much they value quick by MMR. Okay, I need the bag. Direct kill, no mercy. I was like, has a lot of energy. You can tell by how much she's glowing, by the way. We got the res last, but I killed their other support for them resing, so it's a good trade for us. Good kill. A huge skills team. The thought process basically the entire time was try not to feed Zarya energy, try to pull someone, right? And when they started pushing on my corner, I was like, I can try to go for a swing, cleave on people, maybe I'll build a lot of space for us and will let me play a little bit more aggressively because I know they don't have on it to punish me at their mercy more that I can maybe then find a kill and then we weren't able to find the kill I respect that I, if I stayed any longer it might just get blown up so then I backed I backed and then I tried to split myself onto an off angle if you notice I wrapped on the left side so then I could look for a knife on back line that I could because they were playing beyond the car and I was like I can knife from there maybe get the mercy again get another shot at killing her early we do have Lucian and stuff so I could just play like run into them, but our DPS aren't really run into them DPS if that makes sense for the most part. Like Cassie's pretty good at playing Brawl, but with some point Echo, my entire team's playing really far back and scared that I'm not really sure they'll be on the same thing as me. Yeah, that's bad. I force fade, I force fade out more. Break the trap again for my team. Across the left. You know we're down one, I can still kind of look for. So now I base them that side, so now I go this side. There you go. This is awkward. I didn't see that trap. The ring's on the screen. <laughs> um, they have a very heavy spam comp. So. I need to. I'm probably just gonna be playing for ults, honestly. I'm being honest with you. Legally blind me too, it's okay. Not really, but if it makes you feel better, that's all that matters. Yeah, Zarya has a lot of energy for us when I'm fighting. So I'm trying to wrap, create off angles, force fade. Track where it was ever extended. For me cutting off this team from behind. Far weak. More is really split from the Zarya, so I'm gonna focus the Zarya for a second. Okay, let's see his Val. More is with him again. I'm gonna focus the Mora. Oh, I don't have a shot for a second. I don't think my Mora is alive, so. I know she is. We're gonna have tires soon. I want to try to make a play before. There's the tire. 
Oh, Mercy got that res off the killer though for it. It's okay. This game should be over. Their supports are dead, I believe. As long as I don't play into all of that Bob, I think we win. Knew if that I let that fight drag out, the Junkrat would have time to tire. So I saw that I could get kill the Junkrat and deny that tire because I'm scared of the tire. I'm not really scared of Bob being a win condition. So they could just sell the tire to me and then I I don't get to use my ult and maybe my team staggers. We don't really get another fight. So yeah, that was kind of what we were thinking. No, we don't talk about this. <laughs> they really got to me with that play of the game, All right? Sheesh. I think uh, after my next like loss that I'm just like, what the fuck is my team doing? Yeah, even though I'm, I'm trying not to like get annoyed about it, like I'll probably just call it. Because we're definitely in those hours of the night that we're, what the fuck is my team doing type type vibe, you know? Yeah. And uh, so far this game is looking like it'll be that game if I'm being honest with you. Zenbrig there's been metas for it this is not one of those metas for it right now um we're gonna have to play pretty pretty slow with this comp uh we're pretty much playing for our, our dps to like have a, they'll have like a lot of healing because like tracer will probably have permanent harmony or everyone else will be just getting like inspired that's usually a lot quite often like how this comp will function and then you rotate orb to your tank whenever you're needed um, it's usually never really, it's usually played with a wrecking ball. Uh, there was a variation at one point in the meta that was Lucio Brig with a Junker Queen, but overall right now it's usually Lucio Kiri if, if you play a Junker. But with this comp, you could play Lucio Ana. Uh, we don't really need to play Lucio though, because most people don't play super aggressive on ladder if I'm being honest. So Lucio's kind of one of those like, picks that, they sound good, but they're not always good. But that Torture, I can't really pick out, but things got it though. I play really slow. I immediately get anti for trying to push anything. Lots of space though. It means on has no name for my DPS, so. See you live. Hey, I'm not gonna knock the Zen Brig right off the rip. Our team is making it work. I know how I have to play differently with it. They no longer have an Ana, they have a Kirika. That's better for me. It's worse for my Aunt Tracer though. Like Kirika is way more scary than Ana for you as a Tracer player. I'll just play a little slow here. Stabilize a little bit. Now we go fishing again. Honestly, I got juke. Um. Yeah, good kill. Hmm. That was awkward. Um. Yeah, we need to start playing for. I went for their backline and didn't really mirror their queen. Well enough for my zone there that he kind of got walked on for being on card alone. They also, their tracer got there, so. Okay. Tried to make a play on the cast. Wasn't able to get it. They both force with them. Should have extended. Played more for frontline, I think. They do have two. Um, usually I go up or here, so. Briggs a little split, but. Our son's here, like overall the team understands that this is like where we should be. Yeah. I thought I could hit that, but I don't know what she's doing, but we'll take the free kill while we're on the way. Alright, good night, this ain't. We'll probably be, we'll probably be getting off soon, so you won't be missing anything. And 
It might go on YouTube. If it, if it doesn't, just check the YouTube VOD. I mean, not the YouTube VOD, the Twitch VOD. I have no choice right now, of course. Try just walk aggressively with this rally. Kill Ana first if we're on top of Ana. I'll try to disengage for a second. Reload. They got upper. Wait, oh, I guess there's the tracer anchoring there. They didn't have four spawn. I was like, huh? Why are they there? That is not in the set. Thank you for watching the stream. Um, pulse. Mm, uh, pulse. They have no carry right now. I'm just gonna push card. I'm not really gonna worry about fighting them there though this time around. Obviously in the window. I'm gonna use my shot for my zone. Maybe help him win. Certainly supports I really want to value him right now. They probably have cleanse. I'm making that assumption, so I'm not ulting right now. I'm gonna hold it for a minute. Yeah, thank you guys for the follows. I do appreciate them. Uh, there, charges punch. I was about to start shooting them. Go. Okay. Just an anchor cart right now. We wouldn't need to go anywhere. Their support's playable well there. I could have got punched out of that, and it could be bad. Not gonna lie, shot. But it didn't happen, so. Consider it a dub and you move on. Uh, that carry helped him in time. Good job, team. Plop is just baiting out Suzu. you. I'm just defaulting card and whatever kind of pushes me, I'm just fighting, which is most likely the Doom. Sometimes the cast is a little extended and I can pressure them though. Obviously, we're playing Briggs and Zen, so I'm trying to take very minimal poke. I'm like, I'll shout to try to keep her alive. Yeah. Good son, great. Our break is gaming. Um, mm. He's not really winning this fight, <laughs> so. The people that we already lost are. I mean, the breaker's just gonna stalk our as well as we can. So. You know? Do what you can. I don't know how we're healing so much with a brig and stuff. Shit's crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm never dying. Yeah, the, the, you're gonna have a, like a harm all the time on Tracer in this comp, and you always have like Inspire, Brox, and then like we can use most of a lot of the packs on me or our Zen. It's usually kind of the flow of this, so not terrible. We're making it work. I was kind of nervous going into this that our team wouldn't know how to play. Brig here. Because if our teammate doesn't know how to play Brig wall in this comp, it, it would be pretty hard. But our Brig is really fucking good, Jet. Our Brig is the superstar of the team right now, if you ask me. Mm. I got a knife though. Okay, after this. After, after that, I was gonna ult. So, I'm surprised we didn't trans. Honestly, we've been holding it. I think for a little bit. What are they holding it for? Maybe Nano. Cause they did Brig ult, and Brig ult is pretty strong. So I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. They got off Doom. They won Junker Queen. If you notice, I tab a lot. Of, look at what ults we have, and I'm also checking if they swap heroes because it might change like how I go about a fight. Is this really good to know? Did they just get Brig dipped? They lost the Brig 1v1. Unlucky. My queen has fallen. Uh, 
Um. Oh, I don't know. Well. Nano Queen, so I'm just kind of playing slow for a second. If I could get Ana and cast, I thought that would be a good ult, so you go for it. Two people. I know they no longer have Kiriko because they're playing Ana and Brick, so we just go for it. What up, Immortal? How are you doing? Games have been pretty bad in this series, but we're trying to make the best of it. So. Welcome to the stream for the day, though. I'll probably begin off soon. It's three in the morning. <laughs> I feel like we keep just taking the fight. I know why they're taking the fight in there, but I know that my team's just gonna push cards and they're gonna need help with a queen. This queen has like no help though. Ah. Uh... Definitely kill this very good, maybe turn I don't think so. Um, if I knew we we're gonna trans aggressively, maybe we could have won that. I was playing very passively, knowing we only had Zen heals after our Brig died for the pulse bomb. And then I wouldn't have shouted. Like, I know my shout doesn't save my break if I'm being honest. It, they did have rally, so with rally, they'd survive pulse, for example. So maybe they didn't have it yet. I don't even know. But we're kind of staggering now. Okay. My team's going to get bad spawn, so. Really need to work on trying to get out of here. We have Blade. I'm gonna try to shout for his blade. I'll shout for you. Hey. There you go, slow. Creeper one. Alright, uh, we have another fight. We forced out a lot of yeah, true. What's the sleeve looking like? Exclamation mark tattoo? Something like that. I have a tattoo command. It's something like that. Pretty sure it's pretty updated. I haven't been getting tattoos recently. I haven't been there in like a year, probably. All right. I do have the ultimate. You guys are ready. Nice job. You <laughs> Damn, the other JQ always gets to play the game. Do you feel like that, man? Nice. Oh, they don't have the turn tag. I think they could have both supports there. I think it's tattoos with an S. Yo, Father, appreciate the tier one sub. Thank you for the three months. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm tired. I think I'm gonna call it there, guys. Not a huge deal if we don't do it day one. That requires friends, true. We'd have to make friends. It's kind of hard. So we're after rip, obviously, locked Junker Queen. First game of the day. Try to have a good day and uh, make the most out of it. All right, so overall, Blizzard World, pretty good brawl map, at least on first and like third. Second point can be a little bit iffy if we don't contest the high ground wall enough. Uh, we can use, obviously, left side staircase and right side staircase and be able to try to contest. And then if we really can't take it up here because we can't get people to follow us up here, we can just try and knife people from low ground and pull them off up here and hope for the best, honestly. Um, we do have life weavers on, so we'll get kind of yoink back up here and there if they think we're out of position, so I'm going to be overall less scared early in the fight when I know we have pull in case they want to use it on me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm thinking right now. 
Tracer would probably have like permanent harmony orb. I wasn't listening. It's pretty often what happens when you have a Zen and a Tracer, but maybe that won't be the case in this Evo, but who knows? Don't know what they have yet, so can't really say what to do. Usually on like Brawl characters, I like to walk bottom left to take less poke, but it's going to come follow my team, man. They're all men, so. Okay, we both have Queen. They have Ash Mercy. They have Kiri. Okay, she's shouting really early, so I could take advantage of that. Oh, well. Two of my teammates side of that soldier early, so. Can't really uh, make the aggressive play I wanted to make off them using their shout early from people dying early. I was going to kite them for a second, just spam them a little bit, then push some with the advantage and me having shoved them or not. I'd like to walk bottom left, but. Eh. I'm going to focus on not mirroring this queen left and pushing this DPS that's right, by the way. There's a soldier up here. So I've been with that kill really quick. Now I'll go man. So that soldier is who killed my backline last time. So make sure I push that out this time. Hopefully he gets discarded at some point. So I can't just go for an all year. We're up to you anyway. If a comp should just kill this queen, do we have Zen and Hanzo? Like, we could easily burst it. So, me playing into the queen is pretty good. Mostly because we have Discord Orb. So, I'm kind of just going to play very often to mirror this queen, probably. Unless their DPS is just like really out of position, like that soldier was top right at the beginning. Otherwise, it's just going to be a lot of mirroring the queen and just like kind of like slowly poking at her with Discord Orb. Usually I like to be the one pushing up, but no one on my team is capping and then it kind of requires someone to cap. So if they want to be the ones pushing and making plays, that's cool by me. I will push the cart until someone else is on it. Yeah, our life weaver got it now. Now I'll walk forward. Same fall back. They're all taking upper, so... Uh, I won't be able to take upper alone with everyone playing bottom, I don't think. So I'm gonna just kind of cast cart. I know they have ult. So they're kind of split. So I could hit the soldier and the Kiri and force like Susie probably on just her and she wouldn't like hit us a soldier and probably neglect him. So I was like, I'll just go for it and see if it would make a play. It resulted in a kill. It's worth then. I whipped the knife, but oh. Have another one in a second. Do you go fishing again? Oh. And, and let's even try to 1v1 them, including our Life Weaver. And a Life Weaver versus Pocket Ash. Not really in uh, their favor, so. I can't really keep fighting there. Both their supports were dead, so.
Yeah, I can walk and maybe kill her still. I guess I'll just take heart at this point. I knew I was gonna that fight with the junk queen was gonna take forever with the Kiriko and she used uh Suzy, so I was like, uh, I guess I'll just solo this to secure this kill. I need to make sure I didn't slide off the map, that's why I ulted out the wall at the angle I did. But it won't slide off the wall. Okay, we have some more uh obviously we really need to try to take upper it's just been like we took upper but we chased the junker queen to kill her and then mercy and val got the res off and i couldn't really deny it so that's what made that entire fight just take like half an hour long um just try to take upper again here we do have trans i do not have junker queen on so I need a... to go for the play and they still sees you up and it's just how it sometimes be the mm -hmm. go being a little bit of annoyance per usual for trying to like make carry play sometimes like every time we get their jq week she just tps and sees you she's even dying for it but the thing is like support gets back so fast that she's really not dead for long <laughs> So it's kind of annoying, but eh, and we just built old at that point. We couldn't look for it any earlier. I couldn't really wait. My team was already de like dead for the most part, so no one else is going to force Susie. So I kind of just had to go for it and hope that they just can't Susie everyone. I kind of got booped to the side from Susie or something, it seemed, but, but uh, oh. not the cleanest play. Obviously, things that would help us would be like, a, you know, antis because they have a queen so we can force Susie earlier with like Ana or just like more pressure onto her and stuff, but it's whatever. We'll do what we can with the comp we are given, obviously. Or a, like a DPS that actually pressures her because we had a Widow, but I didn't really notice the Widow too much, obviously. It's all good. We win this round. I believe in the team. So like you ladder? No, it was a five stack ladder coming. No so like you. Never believe those thing. Could I have a widow? The May. Could they're playing more, more of a brawly like DPS to help their JQ? And no reason to peek a widow. Like I'm not gonna do anything as JQ against the widow across the map. Try to knife and force cooldowns out of the May. Okay, force ice block. You shall already. It was up top. Yeah, what's that on time? <laughs> With the advantage on the queen, so I thought we'd be walking a little bit more and we'd be able to get the staggers there, but uh, I think everyone was respecting the Widow LS a lot, so we weren't really hitting the W key too much there. Um, Okay, they have an Ash now, no Widow, so I don't have to be as scared. I think I'm off angle here on left again and look for backline. Like how I was earlier. I want to deny Rose if they want to go for the screen, so I'm going to walk up a little bit. 
Just like the Sasha isn't backing out, so there's Coach Gun. Mercy didn't believe in her, so Mercy's gonna leave. Typically in that scenario, so is it free kill? So Mercy's scared of you. New BS Sagger that'd buy us more time off the clock just for pushing one kill, so might as well do it. <laughs> so it'll buy us like 15 seconds or so just getting that one kill. Uh, pretty early dragon, but no, go for it, King. Yeah, they're pinging up here, so I'm like, okay, maybe something's up here. Oh, that queen was the one. Um, mm. I was. We got the kill though. Well, they use Suzu and I just. They've been holding it like very well most of this game. So I just want to take the opportunity to use my ult if I'm being honest. I'm not sure if we really needed it in that fight. If I, I'm like, it could have been a battle. Ult. Like the fight was kind of already won. It's just kind of up in the air to me. I was like, I actually don't really know. They might try to turn it with their ult. I'm going to just win it here, blah, blah, blah. But now we have zero ults going into this next fight. So I don't think they use their queen ult, but we do have <laughs> cleanse. So hopefully we don't play too, too sack for their queen. Or hopefully we just, uh, I don't want this Ash to get a player for free. So I'm trying to see if I can like wrap left and like actually find someone early. Currently up too, so I should really just WQ this. Yeah, my team's turning up this round. Yeah, I told you this game's winnable. My DPS are turning it up. They hit the fucking toggle on God. My Cassie was like, yo, hold, hold my beer real quick. I know I wasn't making plays on Widow, but I got you on the cast, big dog. Oh, like, all right. Ten seconds this man's fucking... And he had old, I'm pretty sure. That's a useful curse. I don't want the mercy for you. All right, cool. Obviously, most of it was just like, if their queen comes right, maybe I can like wrap left and be able to like knife backline or a squishy or their hit scans kept going top left. And I wanted to make sure they couldn't sit there and play top left for free. That's why you saw me lurking a lot on the left side instead of just kind of playing right side and hard mirror in their JQ. Obviously I have discord orb, so unless they flank and pressure in my zone, I kind of have the advantage in brawl, but I'm also afraid of someone off angling like my this Hanzo here on my team kind of got away with the off angle on our attack. I don't want their DPS to feel like comfortable doing that. I want all their DPS to feel forced to play right side into the brawl and then I'll get play the brawl after. That is why I'm usually defaulting left and then rotating right, by the way. I don't want them to feel like they have the option to try to make a plan. If they do, I want to punish them because I'm a tank in their DPS. They get sit on, okay? Straight up. I was, ho I was hopeful though for the 100% initially until we lost the very first game. Then I was like, never mind, this ain't happening. Get okay, Tracer left. I know that monkey, I can kind of play to mirror him a little bit. Uh, I obviously don't want to get too much of shout because they just dashed in and are making a commitment to try to save my backline. I tried denying the rose, obviously. So I think our Ana died early from that dive, even with us shouting. So we just have to try to keep our backline alive. Like I usually would go for their own backline here, but usually every time I go for their backline, try to trade backlines. Like I've been losing against this comp recently when usually it works for me. So I'm going to just try to play off my Bastion pick a little bit more. Like, where they're fighting, I can't really, uh, try to bait the sleep. I mean, I, I, those supports are just AFK pocking each other. That's what I mean by like, when I go mirror their backline, I, I quite often lose. But in that situation, it, it worked out. 
used to. I don't know. It's kind of one of those things that, like, you might think, oh, I should just sit on the lynch thing because I'm Junker Queen. But I have a Bastion that can do that. And my Bastion can't really pressure the backline like me. And if the ba backline sits uncontested, it's just going to be not be a pretty time. Then the Nades will be hitting my seam, enabling their dive. So I'd rather force those, like, on the cooldowns onto myself. Especially because no one will really be looking at me for the most part. Um, no, Ana has no nade. I mean, no sleep right now. I want her to resist for free. I'm actually blind. I did not see the mercy drop. I thought she was still main. And I was looking for her. And then by the time I found her, I tried to pull him off. I need to look for an ult to carry this fight, I think. So I could at least get the Ana with that. I thought that would be worthwhile. For the team to be able to turn this fight. And I'm trying to go for the, you know. Sick nasty. I need to try to mark this tracer off my mercy. Saved our mercy by doing that. Probably have a res again by now. So I need to keep that in mind. So I'm going to look at mercy a little bit more than I normally would. Oh, our entire team backed out to peel for just our Bastion. So I was kind of fighting four players alone while Monkey. So we kind of traded tanks with everyone like looking away there, but I guess when I thought I'd be okay because I was nano, but they're nano and there's a lot more players <laughs> on me. So it was just, just kind of awkward. Oh, he bubbled. Oh, I hate it. Here. Pulling back into LS. Now that the monkey's pushed out, I'm gonna try to walk. Nice job, Yenji. I know Ana has no nade. I saw her yellow, like the yellow health bar thing. So I know she's used on herself already. So even if I didn't see it, I know that she doesn't have it because of that. What a pestilent. God, who starts on Bastion? <laughs> Losers. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, they're really spitting facts out here, okay. Obviously, I have ult. I'm just looking to get both supports probably with it. Preferably. On a swap left, though. And they're Valking, so I'm gonna have to be happy with, like, maybe just hitting their dive with it. So if I see that I can get multiple, like, dive characters, I'm just gonna go for that instead. I whipped. I tried to get the Genji and the Winston. Mercy so one though. I think we still won this. So go. I, I might have whipped that ult trying to get multiple people and being greedy. I should have just sell ult to someone. But in my head, the win condition for me as a tank usually is making sure person that can pocket me stays alive. So. I value keeping my Ana alive if I'm really scared for her living because there's a tracer on her and I'm not sure if my Mercy's going to notice and peel for them, honestly. But I'm like, I'm just going to go try to shout because I do have shout up to help them. And uh, yeah, how's the game spend today? Oh, we're 1-0, so this is our second game on. Didn't really warm up or anything, but eh. it's whatever. So since I'm playing Queen, I like to play right side because I'm not playing the LS with like the snipers that are top left. But my entire team went. Man, oh, we have purple. Let's see if our team can punish her. All right, we have an advantage. I'm just gonna get a point. That's the point. I heard her face, so I'm just gonna immediately axe. I don't have to aim for axe, really. And honestly, sometimes the aim, we're tank players, okay? We have bad aim. We, we just, we use our abilities, okay? That is just facts. I thought they'd be holding closer in the corner. That's awkward. 
to the Iron Queen. Try to pull the soldier out of the position. The Queen's using shot really early. So like I could if I hit my pole there, she'd probably be dead just from using her shot so early. Now she has the advantage in the shout fight and both her supports are pocketing her. Oh, are on this point top left. Typically, if you play top left, you won't have LOS of your team with, with how they play this fight typically. And it's a little, a little far back, but I honestly didn't know. Sorry, I didn't know you were playing that far back on left side on them. Back straight next. I kept trying to hold like close to the door and didn't want to back in, in a straight line. But if I have to back in a straight line, have LOS. We have Nano Boys, so I don't really want to ult here. We have Nano Boys, so. I'm gonna let you up first. I'll shout for you. Unlucky. Uh, I call him Valk. You can still get kills. And then a blither, but I uh, I get healed up, I'll ult it. Oh, I can't really. <laughs> Get out of that. Don't rest me at the spawn. Oh no. Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll take it, okay? We'll see if we can find an ult. I hear. If this queen doesn't die, I'm gonna cry. If I die, I'm gonna cry. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I hold everyone and we are just not going. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, this is kind of awkward. I, I feel like that queen should have died very early. And uh, I know I started breaking out some of my honor towards the end there, but I was breaking out because they weren't, weren't really there in the fight in general. Um, I don't really know what to do. Obviously, our Ana has a lot of healing, but uh, seems like our Bastion's getting most of the help right now. Is my assumption. I think everyone's staring at him when he gets go. Oh no! Trying to do what we can with this, but uh, your team really just want to play next map. I'm just a little lost because, like, I know my team was there because I was getting rezzed, and so I knew we were five because I was the last one to die. But and I didn't like use anything to get out quicker or anything. And Supports were ever extended, so that's why I ulted. Like after I knifed the Mercy and she didn't die from my entire team being there, I was like, okay, well, I guess I need to ult this to be able to get this. Blah, blah, blah. So I went for the ult. This map really sucks for Queen, so I don't really like that we have to go to this third map. Because if they pick a better tank, it's going to be a hard time. Because this is a really good dive map or a sig map for them. If they mirror Queen, I'd be very surprised because, like, Queen isn't really good here. So I was really hoping to win that map out of the three. And that was like the best map for Queen out of the three. So I don't know. Just hope for the best here. Usually you want to play for right side, but if you see my entire team walked main without me even like going anywhere yet. So I'm just going to default where they want and just default point. Okay, they, they mirror Queen. Oh, and not think fair would be that. Both playing more mercy. Honestly, did not see the mercy every single time, and they just get the rest for free. Okay, I got their mercy now, so I got both supports. What? Queen one. Um. Obviously, the top process there is more waste of pay. That's why I'm going to focus the Mora. And, uh, yeah. It's better to f focus the support that's playing close than the tank, you know? Uh, I don't really want to sit there and call out targets. Cause I, then I wouldn't be talking to you guys. And then defeat the entire purpose of why I'm doing this. So, no, I'm not going to be calling out targets. 
I can't be talking my thought process and calling targets the entire game because I'd be not stop calling out targets every second of the game. Try to force out Fed. Now I can look for old if I want. whipping the easy shots on the queen and I'm meleeing way too often right now by the way so just be meleeing every now and then like weaving it if I'm single carnaging it should be like a single target carnaging and not getting like a huge reset on it should be meleeing once in between each carnage most likely these tools especially with the tank I'm just meleeing a lot right now out of like bad habit Okay, the tank's walking point. I'm gonna just mirror it. Could have looked the off angle a lot more there. I feel like it bobbed by my teammate, by the way. Good placement, backside of the point. Like that. I like it. How goes it? It goes okay. How are you doing, man? We're about to win our uh, second game of the day, 2 0 to start the day, so. Looking good so far. Just got one, one more fight. We got Echo ult. If they just Echo copy Junker Queen or something, could be her or Genji. Try to keep them alive. Genji no dash. That's why I'm gonna put a kiss Genji by the way. That's all I'm dashing my back on. They also waste the lamp. They're rezzing, but this monkey is one, so I'm kind of focusing the monkey because of that. I'm well, breaking the bubble. So. I'm trying to shoot it obviously a little bit there. No, he's falling on the top. So I'm looking up there, seeing if I can knife him. GG. After the first couple of games where I felt like I wasn't playing like too hot for, compared to normal, I should have just been like, all right, let's just wrap it up for now. But eh, whatever. We'll have good games today and finish the series in a reasonable amount of games. So we're in Masters 2 games now. So. I'm assuming I'm gonna get shot up to Masters 3 or Masters 2 after I win this game because I'm Masters 5 right now and I'm 4 and 1 on this card. So maybe after this, we'll finish this set and then maybe on the next set we get GM at this rate. That's what I'm hoping for. This match is really good for Brawls typically. Usually I play Zarya, Ramatra, or Junker Queen on this map until I'm pretty much forced by like some obnoxious Widow player to then have to play Winston or D.Va, usually Winston. Uh, until a Widowmaker ruins my day, I brawl's really good on this map. If there's no Widowmaker in the lobby, I'm a happy man. So, hopefully, I'm a happy man this game. So, overall, pretty good support comp right off the rip. I'd like to see our other DPS pick something for our Mercy to really pocket. Mercy pocketing Genji isn't like terrible, but like, you know, a hit scan like Ash or Soge or even a Widow, yeah, this works. So I like to shout here because get my widow those sight lines a little bit earlier, maybe. Find have a higher chance of finding picks on rotation. And I'm gonna play really slow at the start anyway. So I don't really need the shot to make an aggressive play. Because it's really long sight lines, so you kinda need to play this like very slow. This very beginning part's kinda awkward for like any character. Okay, what are they playing? Oh, it's a wrecking ball. Wait, where where is their tank? So I'm just gonna peel the ball first. Play off my team, I think. And then I'll try to take forward space because I don't want him to zone my support and then I just can't do anything. Oh, what's in there? Okay, my team's alive. Wait, on a week. Uh. I wasn't sure where Ana was, so I'm just playing slow. Okay, they have a queen now. We have anti. They do have cleanse for it, but... May lane a proc a bleed. I can proc another here. Why not? Now I get for Carnage. So I can get the kill. They don't have rest. So I don't have to worry about anything. So let's just try to walk my Genji here. We hit those. 
All right, let's walk with my Genji Chase Squad. My Genji saw it. I'm going to play like this like dive right now with my Genji, essentially. Just like rush around with him. We have kills. I think there's someone on right here, like Surge. And that was a carry. All right, she's out. Uh, we should get the checkpoint here without much resistance. They swapped to Zen. They're off Ana, so I don't really have to worry about Ansize. There's a nano blade. I'm waiting for a nano. Oh, they're just going to give us checkpoint. They're not even going to try to get for the last second touch. They so pull us up for spawn. Okay, we got four spawn. That's all I really care about initially. We do have nano blade, so my goal is to play. So, uh, they used CZ already. Do you want to go? Yeah, That's I'm a going. big answer. Queen one. Nice job. Is that in right? Sorry for the bull. <laughs> um, okay. uh, I, I made him lose, lose himself a little bit there. Got him out of the admin flow of Genji, but uh, whatever. I'm gonna set up for your they went back on ball. Yeah, I'm just gonna ult straight onto the back line. I'm just gonna peel ball okay. and then go back line with it. Try to force him out first. Of course, first. I'll talk a little bit with him because he's saying I'm gonna go off your ult. I can get this support. I got four. I got those supports. Uh, I fucked up, my bad. No, you're good. I know you're inside when I went for it. I just saw all four squishy, so I went for it. Worked, worked. Mm -hmm. We just reached that here. Um, I don't know if I had shout when I did that. I might have. I don't remember, honestly. If I didn't have shout there, chat, I kind of like I was just I just saw four people and I got really horny. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was just like, uh, I can make a huge play here. I know they didn't have trans or anything, and plus I inside them, so it wouldn't matter anyway if I cleaned up fast enough. And I was like, uh, I just gotta go for it, man. We got both supports, but we died. So I think my team's were, mates were kind of zoned by the, what's it called, at the time a little bit, the ball. But probably, I don't really know. I'm pulling them back a little bit. He's trying to back to a corner, so it got harder for him. He killed his on here on low. He's so on. Very good. Uh, I could have hit better shots, so. It's on, on cart. I uh, forced that. I'm dropping. Oh, they're chasing me bottom. What the? Okay, they all chase. Um. Oh, that's winnable if this guy doesn't die. Uh, yeah. Unlucky time and just pushing while we're going for us. Assuming he probably have mercy pocket. Oh, we forced Nana. Really it's uh, it, it's, it's good. It's good. We, we take it. We take it. Whatever. Um, I mean, they waste Nano. So. Yeah, they did waste Nano there. Yeah, we can just play slow and poke for uh, Nano if you want here. Yeah. Unless they can't just feed. This stage is really quick. I'm with you guys oh. right now. Yeah, I, I am feeding. My bad. I thought our supports were closer. Uh, I'm scared. Can someone hold me? Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> I thought our supports are way closer. I, I think they all got late spawn with how some stagger they got. And I, I just thought everyone was going to get close spawn. So yeah, I, I, my brain. Um, I, I can go here. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. All right. Hopefully he gets another with that at least. Is that sleeping? I missed through that knife for it. You pull him when you're sleeping, but uh, whatever. Yo, what up, Serenade? Obviously, they have a Zen, but I have a Genji that can contest it. So if I can put myself on backline to help my Genji and shout to help him in the backline fight, I'd rather play that because Zen's fucking annoying as a tank player, okay? So like She's if I can kill that backline oh, early, I, I'm always gonna go for it. I have ult, we can still win this. I'm gonna try to ult up here, maybe. Make it, never mind. I'm, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Keep people died of that surge ult, so. Uh, Zen is still good. <laughs> like, yes, he got a nerf, like a range nerf and all that, but like, Zen's still good. <laughs> um, 
especially if he's uncontested. The entire thing is like usually people play Tracer Sombras and then isn't that you know relevant. You know you're gonna see a lot more Brig then. Can look for all you. Can you go? Kill the tank. Kill the tank. They're one. I forced trans, but I got to pick on their tank as the dub. Nah, I was trying to pull her when she back on the corner. Yeah, just cut, just cut, just cut, just cut, just cut. Ah, Thought he was gonna try to get away. That's why I went for the axe swing I behind him, but. Try to pull her away from her mercy. Try to save her mercy. They went Brit. Uh, they have Torb and Fair, and they went Brit. They got us on. Here. Uh, yeah, true. Now that they don't have Zen, I'm more confident in just playing into the tank. Uh, that turret's annoying. Obviously, a break point close is something I can punish though. Obviously, just a good nade on me when I'm half HP. I was just kind of sitting card and I didn't want to back into open space. So I was trying to play it for cover at that point. Oh, good rest. So huge. Looking fair. Got fair. Hold Junker off ridge. We can kill Junker. Freaking fair. Yeah, let's take it to see. My How you doing, man? Thank you for the raid. You got a good stream. What were you doing today? Were you doing some like Vaz? Doing any analysis work? Like, we had a good stream though. I'm just finishing that queen on rank to GM. We don't talk about how the start of it went. It made this series take a lot longer. I might have lost my first game in platinum. I, I take no blame um, in that loss, but like, I could all you can always do more, you know? I only solo loaded a torb, and honestly, I thought I didn't need to follow up on it. I thought someone else had it, and I was trying to peel this queen from my backline. She's kind of walking my backline for free right now. But, oh well, the mana is still alive. Need back with her. So, try to practice for a bleed. I'm gonna try to just stabilize a little bit here, just give a little bit more space, walk in my mana. We have, uh, we have mana for me, if they want to mana me. Um, I'm gonna shout out to try to keep them alive and chase this queen. Nah, just save just a little When people play Brig when I'm playing Queen, I'm really happy because it's usually like a really free kill because they're usually over sun. You can end a visor instead. Yeah. Um, losing comp games, that's all. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm 2 0 today, but I mean, I'm playing a master, so I'm, I'm expected to win in these sloppies, honestly. <laughs> Not expected to win in plat, though, apparently. Uh, we'll rip the nano visor. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to give him four spawns, so I'm gonna drop in three, two, one. Torb one, Torb one. Queen weak. I have ult soon if you keep me up. 96. Oh, uh, they're gonna get forward. I can't build supports right now. Break one, break one. On a week, on a week, on a week. Tristan, are you? Um, I, I'm, I haven't been talking too much, but I really don't want to lose this game, so I'm going to talk really quick. <laughs> um, so, obviously, I saw that I was close to ult, so I didn't want to make it too aggressive play. I initially dropped because I didn't want to give them forward spawn, and luckily enough, there was a squishy, like a torb point too close, like sitting on top of their tank. That's kind of dumb. Um, so then we just punished the torb for that, obviously. I noticed I'm close to my ult, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. If I play out in the open here, I could get anti and kind of walked on, so I'm just going to play slow. Played official with my knife, potentially just play for ultimate and then we can turn the fight. We get both supports with it. Just walk on supports, win the fight. So yeah. What do you think about the patch? Take it to you. Lost some warriors today. Hmm. <clears throat> Awkward inspired all the more players. 
people volunteers for some kinetic <laughs> biolite experiments. I'm a, every time I see a more, I'm a blame awkward for uploading unranked to GM on it. Have I done a Doom unranked to GM? Nah. This is my first unranked to GM actually in Overwatch 2. I haven't done any. I've been just playing on my main account, being like a normal person. I, the person said Lamau, I watched the awkward video. <laughs> See, they did get inspired by awkward. God. Hey. Mm -hmm. Awkward's are in the rank quality. We got fucking Life Weaver more. <laughs> Whatever. You know, we'll make it work. Okay, what do they got? I need to figure out what I can bully on their team. The one they, they have a Life Weaver. I can bully that. A Baptiste, I can bully that. A ball, I can bully that. Never mind, my team, my we got a, a balloon up. Um, hmm. Oh, she's a lot closer. Uh, we want Brig. Brig's good for ball, but still yeah. But. Can I just walk? We were able to find that life we were kind of caught out. Knew where she was from her pulling her. She missed the window, so we'll pull that. Everyone on my team died though. So. Kind of have to play the live a little bit here. They're not going to get healed in air, so I know I can kill that. Team's still getting spawned again by a ball, but. All right. Hmm. Cast without a pocket. Okay, against fair mercy. Yeah, it is. Way better than a widow. Finally. It's also pretty good against Zoom. So, killing two birds with one stone there. Uh. Overall, it seems like this ball's kind of rolling. Our our backline right now. What he's saying? He shot past my barrier. So I guess I'm just gonna have to tell them more on the ball. Even if I think I can kill their backline, it seems like my team's really struggling at living. Uh, I'm gonna shout to be able to chase this. You might copy me though. No, nah, okay. Cool. Oh, he's lagging. Oh. I'm hearing a lot of copium out of my brig right now on why they're getting killed through their shield. I want to get to that amount of copium in my life. Alrighty. Uh, they have immortality and pull. Uh. I definitely need ult support, so I don't think I'll kill DPS by ult on. Plus, I could have kind of awkward. Oh, the mirror junk is green. of the tank. You know, it seemed like our entire team was in the chase mode. Like if my brig was WQ with me initially. So I kept chasing. We were not in chase mode. It was me and the sojourn alone. I got baited. I should have not pushed that far. It, I, I was, I was moving with the rally. I was making use. We had a like numbers advantage even if we have one on cart, like we could easily like kind of roll that. That's how I kind of saw it, but didn't really know that my team wasn't backing, so kind of just got kind of hard baited from my POV, but whatever. We can test this off angle sojourn. I'm gonna lock May now that she's forced out. She died. Okay, Hans out. Typical. I pulled him, so I'm gonna shout to be able to W key. He's gonna walk out of Immort, or my team's gonna shoot it. Nope, neither happened. Um, our brig died of their queen. Okay. okay, they windowed. I need to just cut, I guess. I team just said, "What the fuck is their JQ doing?" 
Uh, the one you could be not break against JQ. It's just a really bad pick. Probably. It, really? Save your ass to get away from her. I'll give them a little bit of coaching. I uh, use, I haven't been giving people advice usually. Make sure I hit the lamp and then just to help break the lamp in time. Brig is good. Okay. If they think Brig is good into double sniper JQ, I'll let them play it. Doesn't matter to me. Brig can obviously be good. If you're good at Brig. Alright. But for, if you're not good at Brig, it's usually just good against like dive for the most part. The argument I'd make, so. Obviously they pulled him, but we can still chase it. That was a good fight for us. Got us in the back line. I forced a lot of attention on myself, split up their like team basically. I know they weren't, they didn't start on Brig, so I, I, they're definitely not, but uh, I should have taken a high up here to help my teammate play there longer, honestly. Just kind of AFK. And, oh, they went Zen, okay. It was Zen. I'm not gonna shout for him being so overextended. If, if you're getting walked on by a queen this early in the fight without her doing like anything just like walking a cart you're probably a little too far forward on dps at that point in the fight no matter if i shoot at her she, she gets to do that because she's a double block dude with zanana which is way better than more break this i go i'll shout out to help him get los Nice, good kill by him. He used to have like a, like, like how you'd use Lee's two amp to help his eye need a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah, we need to try to kill Zen at. Pull him. Help the team get the kill. We're down our more, so we, we're gonna have to play slow. We have no more, so. Let's just be ready to kite a little bit here. We give them a little bit of a heads up on how to play this. Yeah, don't, don't push it right now. Chill, break, chill, 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 chill. Yeah, just cut it. Oh, okay. If she wants to rally and run into them and die, I, I told her to chill. That's on me. I, I told them to chill. I knew what was coming. Queen one, queen one, queen one, queen one. We can win this time. Sun behind us, though. Can we kill Sun? That's beyond. Uh, I'll, I'll kill him. Um. Uh, the brig is fighting the surge it looks like yeah nice kill on the surge brig um i haven't been like calling too much but sometimes if i really know my team went back i think i might like that again I, we're down right now more both our supports are running in head for uh, uh well we weren't really that down i was on his auger uh yeah I, I need you guys to play a little bit behind me we're kind of just rw king in front of me right now on support so um i have a little we can just hard engage with all go i can get like a 3k if you're here you know a uh, soldier window okay where are we Queen weak, we can kill the queen. Queen one. How we lose this? Sign card soon. We can get a recontest maybe. You guys are window. Like you guys are main. You guys could have gone window and been with me. You guys just went the other direction. <sighs> just stop staggering. We have another fight with my ult here before they pass us. Actually. Someone that needs a touch. I got two. Right, right. 
Okay, we lose this game now. I, I had to try to make a play before they got the lead because it's going to be decided here if we won this fight or not. Um, obviously, we played more of Brig into Zanana on a bad map before said comp. I don't know what everyone's doing. Oh, DPS are going two ways, tank going another. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm left without movement. It's kind of just a comp difference. Like, I don't think people really sometimes understand, like, how Brig Mora together is not very good, especially when they're not playing dive or anything. And that their tank gets to do whatever because they, we don't have anti, we don't have discord on them, we don't have these things, but whatever. We're three and two now, we lost two games in a row. I tried coaching them and telling them when to back, but they kind of just wanted, my sports wanted to play in front of me and run into them off cooldown that game. So I knew I was going to lose that game if we kept playing that way, like on our support role. So from my point of view as a tank player, so then I was like, I'll try to coach, like get them to like back up. Otherwise this game is like long lost and uh, yeah, we can get them on board. It is what it is. Is this going on YouTube? I don't know yet. If I'm happy with how this series turns out, I will post it. So far, I'm not very happy with the series, if I'm being real with you. Like, I know I've been trying to be educational, and I was educational in some games, but some games, like that game, it's like more about me just like trying to get my team, my supports to like pick something that does anything <laughs> and to not die first in the fight on more by being out in the open 1v5ing <laughs> and they're like yeah i watched the awkward video <laughs> i'm like okay so it is what it is try to make it do with what you can so this game we're gonna have lucio zen potentially maybe he's just ampy Yeah, we swapped about. Cool. It's hard to narrate a train wreck a little bit. Let's give her TP in point. There. Break her right away. Yeah, Chris already killed her bad. We got anti. We need to try to kill Ram as fast as we can right now. Our mini try to stabilize a little bit here. We're still down though. Uh, we can turn this now that my bob's back. Try and pressure the on a little bit. I'm not really scared of dying from that anti. Let's just... I can get the Lucio. Lucio won. Ram one, ram one. He got bodied. Cool. How the game's been? We started three and zero, and then we lost the last two. Uh, Farah one v five my team, and obviously I can't really kill Farah as Junker Queen very well. That's Mercy pocketed. And then last game I had more Brig that was playing in front of me the entire game and uh, killing himself. And I think their Ana had double the healing that my Mora did on top of providing more utility. So and more, I think they even might have had more damage. It is a weird game, but it's, it's whatever. You try to just ignore it, go next game. I'm not. I try to make it work and try to like talk and then like use like comms to maybe carry the game a little bit more, but I wanted to push that, but I see that my entire team's playing like really split that I, if I pushed in there, they wouldn't be able to play with me. I fell. That's awkward. At least everyone's anti for them to maybe make a play, but they beat it. <laughs> so whatever. Awkward ult. Didn't really think about how I'd fall off the ledge on the other side. On on had more damage. Yeah, I think I'm not sure. I, I don't I just remember I seen 6k healing. My brig and my 
more both x 6k healing they weren't playing any dive and we had brig and i was like yo brig back up and then they kept pushing forward and then they popped rally and died to a nano soldier no one i'm like yeah i should have stopped the door hard, way hard, more i let them in for free which is bad Why is it bad? They have more poke. I'm more brawly, so I should be playing closer. That's stabilizer. Dude. Let's get one. I'm surprised I died there with both supports there, but it's whatever. You know? That's why I gave point, because I was kind of low and I felt like I had a kite. So, whatever. JQ better than Ram. Uh, Ram is considered better right now, actually, funny enough. So, uh, yeah. Especially, especially I'd argue on ladder where people play slower, Ram finds more value because people are, are very scared of full sending and they don't really play the full send DPS or full send like support comps very often. So I think Ram might overall be overall a stronger pick for I mean, just and Ram most of the time. JQ, you can find most of your value by just like flanking and playing like silly and not playing very like brawly on ladder every game that i win is mostly me just doing my own thing and not playing into the brawl when i play into the brawl uh i don't even play loose you're either. letting your supports have the game more in their hands and it's you can't always trust your support players ram doesn't have good I mean, heroes is useless i mean same thing with <laughs> same thing with this character <laughs> being honest like your your heals from your bullies isn't that as significant as we think it is okay they played poke on this map this map kind of sucks for jq this is a really good poke map i could like try to wrap on the left side and make something happen maybe well that's where i've been though now we can walk maybe Take one. I should. There's the beyond. Someone in the corner. Nope. It's pretty basically just play slow. I'll miss him. Charge beam. Maybe try to pull someone in. I really before buff. Even before this buff today for Ram. I would disagree. Because, uh. It's kind of what everyone's been screaming on. It's Winston and Ram primarily for a reason. It's way better. Loki. I'm old in a second. Uh, I got the auto with it, but it doesn't matter. I need I need a big ult there to turn that game. The Ram had a buff. Yeah, it's a buff to his E that it doesn't collide with players anymore. So it makes it easier to aim it overall where you actually want it. So it doesn't boop off like throwing out of Doomfist. Blah, blah, blah. It's hard. For free. We still looking for boots. What care? Oh, you're walking here. Yeah, we should reek above us. I knew he was playing above us, so I was just like making sure my team knew this. So it doesn't make a huge boot play. That's why I'm communicating and just kidding. Oh, this part was so over Sunday again. That widow care, 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 care. Leave the game too. <laughs> uh, never leave her, so I guess we kind of just chill. I don't even know if they'll be trying to play. Fair game say We start off 3 0, but then the last two games are really bad, so I don't know. When I, I kid you not, there was a fair that won't be five in the lobby. And I couldn't do anything about the fair on Junker Queen. 
I couldn't even go for their other support because they're pocking the pair so hard because of the map layout slash we couldn't even get out of our spawn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then last game was a very weird support comp that made it a little awkward for us. So we tried our best with it. All right, Coliseum, pretty good brawl map. We talked about earlier, good DPS picks. Mercy picks good because we have an Echo. I was in Blue Moon. Yeah, that was on on the enemy team last game. After watching that replay back for the Hunts, it's just AFK shooting walls. And then if you were to shoot anything, it was only at Zarya bubbles. Like, uh, I don't know. Kind of kind of annoyed. So that looks like Bladen, like trying to like lose and trolling. And then, it just like upsets me a little bit, but I'm not going to let it get to me too much. If it rocks, I can try to play it really aggressive for a second. Try for it. Not a little bit. I need a shot to try to back here. It's too weak. Need to get more time for my echo and try to find an opening. I think I've tried to force something too quick on them. They weren't staged enough. I don't think. First time pulling me is probably gonna go for a grass. That's why I'm gonna usually carnage right away. So I go for the shot. But now I know he doesn't have it. That's why I saved the carnage. But just keep holding the staircase with our team. They went to Reinhardt, they got Sig. Make use of that Reinhardt buff. 200 extra shield, guys. It's nuts. Ah, that cleanse. We're gonna try to res. It's one. I tried. They lost their mercy though, so they're probably not going to fight without a sword anyway. So it's kind of like one of those things that doesn't really matter. Like... Could ult that, potentially. I have no climbs, I can probably... Okay, let's go. I thought that had no cleanse. I knew I could get Reiner and Kiriko with it. Mercy obviously went for the immediate like res, and I couldn't really deny it from how far away I was. So yeah, we'll just get the actual old charge. I'm trying to play slower for my fair and uh, Tracer to find poke and maybe like be able to contest back line. So I'm playing very much just smear the tanks. So I don't really need to do anything else because I'll be able to kind of deal with the other characters. Try to dodge that. I'm not really scared of a soldier nulting as a tank, so I can't just W key that it. I know he has shatter by the way. They have shatter here, care. He might slip him out. Watch him not get pinned off the map. <laughs> so, I think soldier on circus, yeah. There's a bastion, but it's not bastion. Soldier got buffed by the way today, chat, with this new patch so soldier's slightly better and he heals more with the healing station too so a little bit harder to come through it which doesn't really matter too much but going out the turf i'm bashing Tunnel one. Pretty sure they had to use Suzu. I think I thought I had seen it when I was like sitting there from the barrage and everything. So I just kind of made the assumption that the barrage had baited it out. So then I just immediately tried to punish them with low because I saw them all like stuck. And uh, it worked out. So let's just hit card. I don't think they touch. So. All right. My DPS played the game. Like no shade to some of the other DPS. Well, kind of some shade. Uh, and the game is very easy. <laughs> They're playing tank roulette for a little bit there. 
I normally play a dive tank on Hollywood. No, first point isn't like necessarily needed. Like dive, Winston's okay on first. Like it's pretty good and it's really good on second, but first point, I usually play like Zarya for me and all. It's like, you can get high energy then just kind of walk back line like this and make a play usually. And then win the fight, so. I'm gonna be doing a lot of off angling like that to make things work with this comp with Amora in the first place. Bitch. And uh, yeah. Uh, they swapped to Sigma. They got off sorry. Uh, they still have Mercy on it though. So let's just try to flank again. See if we can get away with it. They do have a little bit of CC. Can't really hold this corner very well. So get ready to roast it like this. Try to break cooldown. I missed my knife, so. I'm trying to play pretty safe here because I'm scared of the Ana. Because I know she has cooldowns. I know she just used nade. I just heard sleep those. Now I'm less scared. Their entire team's kiting, so I can't really make an engagement. If they didn't kite back right then, I would have definitely walked on them. Obviously, a nano tank, I don't really want to play aggressively yeah, into it. Bro, he's nanoed, and I, I, I can't walk into him. What do you mean? But we just let them in. I, I, I have to kite. We have more mercy. What do you mean? They have Ana. We hit the corner. I don't. I I I, I wouldn't been played a corner. I had to kite out because of the nano sig. It's okay. You don't need to explain yourself. I think it was the right play. Hey yeah yeah. Hmm. Have to argue with support players. Why are you kiting? Uh, the, the nano and their sig. They have Ana with all of her cooldowns up. I can't just walk into a nano. We do have no cleanse or anything. I will die if I just W key there. Just try to play slow. Bait out the ults. I'll, I'll play fast too. Good. Bob really. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Do you do tier list? I might start doing tier list, but uh, more players are gonna make me be very sad. Playing with cat, nope, I'm solo queuing and obviously our more is just flanking and stuff and I'm wondering why I'm giving up space, so that, that's fun. <laughs> I uh, ranked is getting to me today. off my head skins up here i hear their head skins up here i'm just gonna use this to chase quicker and try to kill them before they fully get out towards their team as i heard she sleep so no this is kind of what's diamond the other day because i'm doing an unranked gm like the title says so it plays diamond and i'm ranking it up uh, 
they're playing Arissa. I need to play more around the tank than not into the tank overall. Bruh. I'll play closer. I really want to drop into the ultimate, so I'm just playing slow. Carry, carry. Boulder. Nice. What rank are you at? Masters 3. It's in the top right on my webcam. It's on the screen. Yeah. It is indeed on the screen. Uh, just kind of playing off my team. I can't really solo flank. I'm scared to just get punished by a sleep dart right now. They also have cleanse if I could drop early for an ult. So I'm trying to just wait for an audio key of people baiting it. Then I'm on to look for promo. Unless they're really split. Okay, there's one. Okay, I got four stop up here. Arisa, Arisa one, Arisa one. They even touch. Oh, yeah, I just have to like said since we have a flanking more, I need to just play really on the flank and off of that. If I play frontline into their tank, even when it was like good for me, maybe like it doesn't work. So like, do I have to let them in and give them free space to be able to flank to make this comp work? If my more is not gonna help me in the frontline, yeah, that, that that is what I have to do. Um, <laughs> DPS more I mean it can work like obviously when you have a mercy that's pocking your DPS it becomes like harder for it to work right like if your tank doesn't just flank but it's like you, you adapt to their play style and then they get mad that you aren't just sitting there feeding the front line <laughs> because you're <laughs> They're out DPSing me by 16 too. So, I mean, just the nature of Mora and throwing damage orbs. Like, a lot of the downtime where I can't do anything, they can find poke with their damage orbs to get more damage, you know? Isn't like it's like always great damage, blah, 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 and Mora. You're just getting a lot of pointless poke and kind of feeding support ults at times, but they're building their support ult usually. Like, you're not going to be throwing damage orbs across the map before the fight starts, usually. If you already have, cool. So. Yeah, today's been a one hell of a day playing rank yet again. I don't know, like, obviously ranks got, like, kind of inflated, everyone said, the last season, so. Games have been w really wonky ever since then, in my opinion. In any ELO, like GM1, even top 500 games feel like very similar to these. Like, I don't really notice the difference in any of the ranks, like, in the difficulty of the matches. Like, all the players feel the same, and you're kind of just, like, hoping that you you roll out, like, a, like, okay enough teammates to be able to, like, carry some games. It's, like, my perspective, but maybe I'm too blocked. Like, my mercy's forced to heal me. Run, run, run. Oh, look, my Mori killed their Ana, so. And the run didn't get healed because the Ana was being contested. So it worked out. There's a crush on you, bro. I did something new, I guess. No, they literally, at the very start of the game, they said, I'm just DPSing. Like, I'm out DPS everyone here. Like, they plan on flanking the entire game. And if they're gonna flank, <laughs> our Mercy can't push up and pocket our DPS. So I have to push cart, or my Mercy has to push cart, which is like, you don't really want that, but. No, the more trying to put the game in their hands. So. Oh, GK, you get your games going, my man? Fuck out of here, I know. If you want after this game, I can show you my uh, recent games and uh, show you uh, how they were going. Uh, let's just say we're negative on this card by quite a bit. 
Yeah. They said they're basically no longer having hidden MMR, and then players that were like black got basically the GM one. They were on a win streak. Is how the system worked. Oh, Amara died just to run swinging at them. The what the fuck? What up in there? First cards for submissive betas. I see your awkward uh, tweet enjoyer. Hiding a thumbhole to have your sleeve up higher? You let I would have thumbhole. Wait, what? I'm actually confused. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Oh god. Okay. I've I've gotten new Queen Street once so far in the series, I think. I'm, I think wait, not new Queen Street. Circuit Royale maybe once. And the fucking this map sucks for your Junker Queen. Your team usually will play this bridge and I don't want to be like so overextended early. So I'm just gonna play off my team here and kinda of just AFK for a bit. And just play off this bridge and try to make a play when they start crossing. Predicting the recall there. You got packs. I'm just getting distracted with support, so I don't have all of them. I'll commit up back from the lighter. Okay, I'll try my best, King. Thank you, Queen. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I break them. Wait, they mirrored me on Queen on this map. What are what are they doing? <laughs> Queen sucks here. I'm just a one trick. Hey, don't worry, I'm more one trick. Hey, you know it's one trick stick together. Am I right? Uh, uh, oh yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, their tracer just went off the map. I don't know what just happened. For that. <laughs> Let's go team. I've done absolutely nothing. Uh, like they have a brig, so I can look to try to punish it. Obviously, outside that mirror in there, Drunker Queen can be good because I have an Ana. Blah blah blah. Maybe my Ana finds the nade on them. They don't have clones. I know Genji dashed in, so he's ever extended. That's why I'm looking at Genji right now instead of the Queen. Let's just look at Queen. I need to put on a different cross here, maybe. Maybe that's the vibe, guys. Wait, they mirrored the more. Yo, they mirrored the more. It's because you're silent on them. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Hey, why do I always that's win cool. the maps I shouldn't be winning? And I, I don't even have to do anything on this map. My ass is just shitting on them. What is this lobby? I don't know. Welcome to Masters these days, man. The game's just a. Uh, player base is just so different in here like the skill levels everywhere that uh oh i thought i'd hit that trying to be stylish can't really walk in there not really a good idea when they have a junk try to get in the side of that but uh Yeah, they're not even going off point. We might be able to stop it. I should've just died cart. Shouldn't have tried backing up. Try to stop it. I don't know why I listen. I knew I couldn't get up. But uh hopefully my team can touch. And then I'll come back with a load and maybe we care. Never mind. Wow. They got dunked on. I do not believe I am not going. Hopefully we don't uh die for chilling here, but probably won't. <laughs> Alright, more faded in. I'm scared for them. Alright. Break the trap for my team just in case. My entire team is not able to walk in. Yeah, 
easy to look for an ult already. Boom. Yeah, a little more 1v1. Wait a minute. I'm interrupting. I want it. I'll shout for her just in case, you know, make sure she's okay. Good. Oh, they swapped Zarya. Okay. It's okay. I uh, fed a little bit of energy. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna feed you any energy myself right now. You're looking in the wrong place, girl. I need to just be more passive on my carnage right now. I'm just always getting beat off. Oops. Just that one. All right, let's back up. These lobbies are just weird. That's the only way to explain them. I don't know what happened to Masters, but this is not the Masters I remembered in Overwatch. It's obviously my first unranked in this game. And uh, I picked a weird time to do it, I feel like. What's your best character? Probably D.Va. He's pretty good right now, too. Wait, they're coming bottom. Just try to... I'll just try to shut down Rally whenever they use Rally. They don't get any extra armor when they're using it. I believe in my, me and the more. I should have not. It's okay. Not really much to talk about there. I just knew that it was like last play, so I was just like, okay, let's see if we can clean up these DP this soldier and the Moria. Only hit the Moria though, she got fade back in time. It's kind of a whiff of a ult, but saw again she can tell us try to pressure him off because he's trying to get touched, but then while it's doing that, then I know soldier stares, so then I was like, Oh, I can try to kill the soldier stairs. But then I saw Genji was so close to me and I was like, Well Genji's hard to kill than soldier usually, so I'll go for the kill on Genji because I know he's like missing cooldowns right now. And then we just turned and killed the soldier that was still standing next to us. And uh, yeah, that was like overall everything that kind of went through the mine. Obviously, I'm not really doing anything this game, if I'm being honest. Like, it might look like it. <laughs> but I'm pretty much just like a vibing. This map's really bad for Junker Queen. They just aren't playing snipers or not playing Sigma. They started Sigma. I don't really know why they swapped off of it. Sig's really good. Um, I don't think their Sig was taken up or at the start. I think he just pushed bottom, and I think that's why they thought maybe Sig wasn't good. So they didn't really just push out up from upper. And that was like the big like problem that their team was having at the very start of the game. Why well, she makes my brain grow. Playing this game makes my brain shrink sometimes. My brain is shrinking today. Two out of there. Like, I know why a lot of people do unranked teams off stream. <laughs> no. Just in general. Six, six foot girl popping off on the widow. Maybe four spade. Try to punish Shafu. Rock our bleed with our melee. Should be able to just chase and get these kills. So. I'm sorry. So I like, couldn't get back in front of you. Let's see if we can fish. We fish. Yeah, we weren't able to get though. This is 
Beast Masters, by the way. I, I refuse to believe it. I generally want to refuse to believe it. And I don't think I'm rude saying that. It's just like, this isn't what you'd expect from Masters. Like that's a high rank technically in this game, you know? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm being rude, but I, it's just, it's just so different these days. I guess this up. No one can hide from my sight. He has a player grace for you. I mean, that is part of it for sure, yeah. So why did I choose the ult to bat by the way? And the soldier over there on the right. In case I had trans, if the Zen trans, I'm only getting one kill. So if I ult to the right, I'm anti two people and they don't have anything oh, yeah. like a trans ability themselves. Like they have lamp and I can just break lamp and they'll die still. So it's kind of like one of those things that it's like a better ult on that side, even though it's like deeper in their back line. It's like we should win the fight regardless. It doesn't really matter where I'm positioned at that point. So yeah. All right, four and five on this card. <laughs> you know. Prepare your defenses. So uh, we talked about this last time that I can sit top left and be ready to help my team. And I think we got rolled last time we played this map. Like I forget what happened. Um, at least at the start. I think. Oh yeah, their widow swung like wide right and killed my snipers. We had double snipers or something. Um. I was just gonna sit here with them and just play to counter their dive. They have a Doomfist. So, sadly, no monkey, which is usually what people run on this map. I'm attack. Can you make a jump across the shout? I don't believe so. It's a pretty far jump, man. I just charged punch with that knife, by the way. Uh, uh, he, he's speeding. I care he's speeding, though. So we'll walk on that. Just because the carry kills weak, it's the only reason I drop. And then fifth semi picks, you can just chase whoever's remaining main. And that was just obviously a Han say that was not expecting the queen to probably drop on him there. It's kind of funny. So yeah, I'm gonna just do the same thing. Um, yeah. well, one person died of the doom. Uh, a lot of them are going top right, so. They're going top right. I'm going to go mirror them top right instead of sitting there. Because they're playing, if they play dive, they're not going to go top right typically. Top right is usually kind of like dead content. Like most of them are playing main. Like I'm playing into the dive on purpose. I know they only have one support, so I know bowling the other support would be really easy. I know my axe swing doesn't charge this punch if no one else shoots him, for example, so that's why I always just axe swing dooms, it's just free. So, yeah. Because, like, their comp, all their DPS pretty much won't take top left, so it's easier for me to deny that, and I can be deeper on, towards the main choke where they're gonna, like, support's usually staged with dive, and then I can, like, go fishing for a kill. Like, top right is just kind of pointless here. Increasing altitude. They want like a sick comp or a Ryan comp they'll be using right side and stuff like that, but they aren't. Yeah, like, I get punched down, I can't do anything to up here, so like, I'll just sit here. Oh, you give me a platform. Nice. I like the life weaver for me on this map. I could not help her. Nice shot. Oh. There we go. Oh um, my. Uh, that was a little out of our control, the entire scenario, but. Hello. Objective 
I kind of just went for a weird fight, it seems like, on the right side that I was really involved in while I was punishing that Hanzo for being mid. It's all good. Um, they didn't swap to the new spawn, so they're getting a little staggered here. Another team isn't pushing the cart, though. They just got on cart. That's, that's pretty good for us. Makes that stagger not as like, big. Okay, this Genji just dash. I can punish this. Have the health back. Because I'm near This <laughs> all over us. Yeah, me too, man. Me too, man. <laughs> just get a slop cart. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Weird games, man. <laughs> ah, that's, that's so abrage. I felt that, man. Yeah. How do you get a corner? Why did I look at my own life weaver there? Thinking there's a life weaver for some reason flanking. I pulled him into the dragon. <laughs> Later, nerd. Bro. Where are the Genji in the room? <laughs> so I try to hit both of them. And uh ow, I might be dead here to the Hanzo. Our team isn't here. Hmm. Yeah, I, we turn around the Rose Life Weaver. All right, team, I believe in you guys winning that without me. Or Mercy, they don't even have his scan. They have Ana, but like, that's about it. It's Mark you and you have a Mercy, so as long as your Mercy isn't like out in the open. Should be I8, I think. Should be I8. Bro. I got a kite. Oh, we got a brig now. Just fuck our. Uh... Carry no TP. We should focus to carry over to him. Uh, if I can actually hit something for a second. But I didn't want it to commit to me, so I guess we have to go on instead. <laughs> okay, on a one. Also, with a double po support pocket, do we kill him? I don't think they have fun. I forget, honestly. Alright, winnable. You can push now. Playing so safe. <laughs> Like, but uh, I don't know. Like, I want to go play upper, but I'm scared of my de the DM punishing my supports. It seemed like they're bullying our life we were earlier, but they're on me. I try to shut down the nano blade because I know if I don't shut it down, we lose the fight. If I'm being honest, because of our support comp, because we're not gonna get another fight. Like, we're just gonna be staggered, and obviously I get punched out. Like, I had to go for the play there, there we lose so. I couldn't really wait. And he was gonna be split and then he, he wouldn't get Caesar. That was my thought process on why I just went up for it there, even though I knew they could punch me out. So it's one of those things that I think that like they're playing a win condition and I'm like feeling like I'm forced to try to shut it down or we will lose due to like composition. Like it's really hard to fuck up a nano blade against like Brig Mercy and stuff, usually. And like Cassie, Widow. Like our comp in general.
Like, obviously, I try to shut down the DPS taking that spot all the time, but honestly, kind of hit his shots. So we kind of had it back there. DPS are making plays right now. Great off angle by be going behind him because I don't know my teammates would be made and that's why I went behind him. Okay. Sure. In fact, it's time for backline. They just say bubbles for backline alone. But the way that you beat Zarya is like you commit more to the backline quite often. Oh, we're playing May. Okay, I'm on a shitty here, but we also got May here. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just try to make something happen. Okay. I'm just gonna force point. <laughs> Now, if they want to force point with me, that is okay with me. You guys, it's gonna punch bot me the entire game, I guess. Eventually, he'll die, right? Right? Right, guys? Eventually, the demon fist will die, right? People like shooting tanks, right? Right? Cope. Right? I don't think we like shooting tanks this lobby. Like I, I, I can't shoot anything else other than tank in that position. I could try to nice things high ground, blah, blah, blah. But the demon was pretty, pretty weak. And it, obviously the sports weren't scared enough. Like from whatever speaking them, like Donna was just sitting there hard pocking. Even the mercy is pocking the doom. So, uh, mm. all right. We do have ult. I'm just going to walk main and not care. You know, I know it's a terrible idea. All right. Hunter killed both our supports. All right, I'm gonna try to flank upper. I know for the best. I got both DPS and they use Nano. So they overextended into our spawn chasing me and I didn't actually have to rotate up your dub. Don't know why they chased me all the way there in my spawn. But we take it, I guess, you know? A free cap there. <laughs> and they nanoed the one HP inside uh, Ash, so. <laughs> Creative, to say the least. Hey, if we win this, though, we go five and five. Hey, well, now. So we taking that. Yeah, I will take that any day. But it's all good. I think a lot of people look at me. I'm trying to take some space from my team. No Hans was up here. But I kinda wanna go force I'm gonna go force up here on him. We found him. He missed one HP. Just shoot him. And it doesn't matter. Ash is up here. I need to go contest the his skin up high ground. No one else on my team really will be able to use. So make sure she can't play the video game. 
that kill. Go kill the more that's gonna fade on point. He faded past me. And now we just they're staggered right now, like they're down two, so I should try to kill Sanzo because he's splitting himself off on the left. So now we get that pick. See if we can chase any other stagger. I think the Ana's main. That's why it's easier to get than the Moro. Oh, she's far away. Oh, the Moro has no fade now. Just paid in for me, so uh yeah. All I'm gonna say is Masters games, by the way. Um if I get healed here, I'll push this with ult. I need to try to back. Okay, we use other ult, so I don't need mine right now. I go to just try to kill the Mario there, but uh, oh, everyone died to Bob. Okay, this fight's lost, I'll waste my ult, I guess. How do you know I get that? The Doom's just out for a long time. He got nanoed and such and ulted and... I thought it would be better to sign off the support than help with the Doom knowing they have support ult. So... I just try to punch me off so I'm just gonna back like that so he can't punch me off up here. Force out the Mario so he doesn't have the help. Oh, uh, Kiriko, card just punch. I didn't shoot it. I, I saw. Uh, Try not to charge this punch, Kiri. Yeah, this game's still losable, which is the sad thing. Um. Obviously, my team's kind of getting spawn camp right now. So it's not looking too good, in my opinion. I think I need to. Hopefully we went off that. Yeah. We're hoping by the way. I'm not gonna stuff I don't trust. Maybe they're scared of touching from Blizzard even though. I'm just to die. Yo, C9, C9, C9. Aye, 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 okay. Why is this game so hard? Their, their Hans is 15 and 18. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? I, I don't know why these games are so hard today. Okay, we actually de-ranked a little bit. I think we were a higher percentage. So going five and five, we, we went down actually a little bit there. Uh-oh. No, we got the Hanzo that they had last game. Uh, 
because we have Ana and stuff. It means that your DPS don't really get the most healing or my, my Ana won't be looking at me too much. This is a support comp that doesn't really help your DPS. Is, uh, more of the games in my hand. Team was so one. Point is because we have double sniper, so eventually, you know, we <coughs> make a aggressive play once we see the opportunity of uh, what our team is doing. Our Hanzo had his angle, made some picks. We walked with the space that we had at that point, especially with the nade that are on the hit, which was huge. Uh, it seems like Han Doom is going to try to touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damage orb. Oh, look. Sierra Mars Gamer. She's on the flank. See that shit? Look at her. Some fucking good more gameplay, actually. I'm actually happy to see that. Alright, my DPS are just better this game. So just over here. That's what I'm chasing. It'd be a free pick, so... Yeah, plan still. I wanted to swing earlier on the corner, but I knew charging punch, that's why I didn't want to walk into it. See if we can force plans. We're already up to though, so it doesn't really matter. Not gonna hold you. I don't even care if I charge punch. Get the damage. Again, she said, what? I believe in you more. You get it. Oh, you got yield. Fuck. <laughs> I'll protect you. <laughs> All right. Uh, try force cleanse yet again. Force killer, I guess. We're up to though, so kind of that same scenario that we're already up to. He's blocking right now, so I'm like, I might as well look away and try to help with like Genji for a second. It's not really worth. Why are these how the games go, man? You have these super hard games, and you get games that your DPS are like actually like doing well, and I don't know. The variance in DPS players is ast astounding in this SR right now. Wait, Kiri died early. Also, I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> I see, like. Honestly, fuck, fuck the goal, awesome. Thought I could maybe kill her, but I just a little war slide me. Everyone was turned for the doom, so whatever. Made the more not feel comfortable to help the doom, maybe, so probably has some value. Ow. Uh, more, are you okay, my queen? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Can't really help with him over there in Narnia, so. Damn, he's ego -y. Doing. It's really like punching a drunker queen all game. If he wants to just punch me all game, I'll let him punch me all game. I do not mind. That is what he enjoys doing. I will shoot him all game. Look, I'll, I'll even knife him, you know? Give him the special treatment. Alright. Better him diving me than my uh, sniper, so uh, you know, let him do his thing, let him cook. I should be stuffing these doors though. That's kinda AFK. Oh look, the demon's back to punch me. <laughs> you Suzu, she made a big oopsie, so we punished it immediately with our ult. I'm sure you know it by now, but that, that's, that's why we're able to ult.
And uh, yeah, the Doomfist is here. I'm, I'm just pushing push this guard. He's gonna hold on me because he loves me. Watch. Nope, he didn't want me enough this time. They're scared enough of me that they got off the car. So, uh, you know, we take that. My death didn't count too. That's a dub. That's a dub. Three, Nothing you can do. Yeah, I mean, it's a harsh reality. Like, oh, like the demon isn't playing into me now. Okay. Um, let me just play off point. Try to make a play there, couldn't find it. The bleed on him, hopefully that gets him. Oh. Sure. People will take that. I just kind of kind of point because they initially got the first pick and then I knew the Doom would be in. So that I could like, kind of look for more off angles, like letting them in helps me find that a little bit. For me to maybe look to flank, make a play, because that's the only way I'm really going to find picks all the time. I shake you here. Just trying to WP off picks. Oh, I am awful. I am more awful than I thought. Um. <clears throat> In this right. Yeah, I know him. You got a little bleed. Uh, hmm. I knew we had our own support ults, so that's why I wasn't so scared, if I'm being honest. That's why I went for the aggressive play. But obviously, we needed the Cassie, and yeah. It might have been meant for me, and they just went to Cassie. But it's okay. I should have just kited. I usually say kite when they pop holes, blah, blah, blah. I just knew that we had one initial fight, so we probably had support ults ourselves, which we did. And that we didn't have to give free space, like, there. And I thought I could make a play, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't the call. Just charge a punch. Obviously, a new shield. I'm 1 HP. Hopefully, we get it healed. I'm just back because we weren't. They are dead. Can't really ult this. They're way too split. They still probably have cleanse. They're also in cure kill, so it's obviously gonna be even harder to find the ult there at that point. So just kinda lighting them one that fight. They're using way too many ults. For me to think it's winnable for mine. Okay, first bow. I don't know why she battled when she's full HP and everything. Maybe she's just scared of me being in her face, but made it that I could ult, so just the intimidation factor sometimes gets the job done. Um uh, hmm. I mean, it's kind of AFK right now. I don't have much to do. I'm more just uh, styled on there more, apparently. So I'll just, just help them with the dive. Just try to pressure out the demon that's on them. And yeah. Obviously, both their supports have like an escape, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to bully their supports. That's why I'm playing so heavily into their team, because after all, he loves punching me, so it works out, I guess. 
No, they have no support cooldowns now because of that, so I just can't walk on them this time. And, uh, yeah. That's the thing, like, they have to, like, get into, like, a safe position after they waste their survival cooldowns for them to, like, live. And they're staying in the fight, so you just punish them. Not really playing defensively after they use that cooldown. Just kind of how it goes. Like, even if I wasn't in it, that would be something you chase. Like, I'm a chase to do. I'm charging this bunch because I, <laughs> I generally don't care anymore. I'm just gonna get the damage. Why not? Welcome to Overwatch, guys. Is this match fun to watch? I'm having a blast, personally. <laughs> Uh, just want like fun in the competitive games. I feel like I could probably AFK and we would win this game. I was gonna go rotate for Mega after that swing. Do it AFK. No, I'm not gonna AFK in the Compkin. It's a joke. Um, we have Nana soon. Don't really care what they have, if I'm being honest. No, they use funds though. That's all I need now. Oh, he hit that mid-air shot. He's gaming. Oh my god, we won that game. Wow. I feel like the concept is fun, like, in terms of, like, teaching people. But at a certain point, you kind of just run out of things to talk about and just repeating yourself, like, 24-7. And I think we were, like, way past that point now that, like, everything is just, like, kind of repetitive information. And it's just, like... I could just call it, but that it wouldn't be on Ranger GM, so I, I gotta see if I can walk on. I wanna walk, but I'm 200 HP. I can get stabilized, I can try to walk. Okay, I cannot walk, my entire team's looking at the ball. He just save my knife, like knife him when he pile drives, try to pull it away when he's gonna roll away. Or South Amora as much as possible. Yeah, he's not shooting after he pile drives, like he's playing kinda weird. Interesting. She just didn't want to recall, I guess. I tried to shout to keep him alive. He wasted TP onto me, so I'm not gonna kill him. We're gonna just said yo. <laughs> I'm dying there. Like upper, you typically want to try to control the staircase. I need to just try to back. I'm gonna grab the health back. It's just, I don't have to worry about my care kill healing me. I'm busy with the ball. I guess let's. Mm, I don't know about that one. Could ult this? No. Just me and my carry. Yo, this shit is Freela. You're not wrong. Walk to the back line. Try and men. Seems like everyone on our team knows you're staring at a ball. So I can't keep walking. Hmm. 
Like, your coaches could TP away from the ball and play off us, honestly. Like, walking, and we would just win the place. They, they are not wrong that we should just walk back line. Walkie, now that we have kills. Uh, performance doesn't matter anymore. It's purely win rate, yes. That is like hard confirmed. So, yeah. Got a frag. Died to fan the hammer. Is it that way before this patch? Yep. What a bipsis. Soldiers in window. See if I can knife him out. That work. Through two. Can't really contest him. Just gonna push hard for a second. More no fade. See if we can punish it. Nope. Everyone's looking at us. Here, go die to Everyone bailed. Okay. She's gonna blow. Looks like somebody wants the death penalty. We don't have Genji anymore. Most teams try and play slow off the mercy pocket. Blah blah blah. I'll just try to play slower for them. And just push hard. Maybe that'll help them out. Try to back, they're super weak. Why, why are they not dying for sitting out in that open entire time? Anyway, probably gotta support. Yeah, I mean, you need to just try to win as many games as you can. I think the easiest thing to carry on is support by far. I think a lot of supports just have that mindset of the seal botting. So. Like, your bike can work if your tank's way better than their tank, and that's why everyone thinks it's like a tank dip, but... The reality is, most people don't have to heal bot very well. Just play into the queen. Uh, whipped. Hold your window again. Repeat the other window, I'm calling it. at that point can't kill him i play more forward my team's not gonna be able to help me play in that right room so i'm just gonna play off them here and the screen's over extended and from the walk on her she's just really split from everyone expecting i could just get fan damage and killed and not with a few key minutes of that uh okay we have only my old they have a cleanse, they have a Reinhardt now. Or no fade. <laughs> I was hoping that would create enough space and I would stabilize enough from the bleed low key. <laughs> and that he would just swing right into me, but he swung wide on me and uh, yeah. Obviously, they're kitchen rushing and stuff and visoring. I thought, you know, they're pretty split here. I could make a play, maybe. But my entire team was kiting. What was I banking on? I was banking on my... I, I was honestly banking on my... Kiriko TP to me. Which, I shouldn't be banking on that in this rank, but being honest. It's a little creative, but in a... I'm, I'm telling you, that in a top 500 game, which is like a bad habit of mine, would actually carry the fight. Like, funny enough. 
Like that would hard carry the fight. So your gear cap would TPD in the back line and play off you. Hey, dude, if she... Fuck. Uh, try to help him chase some more. I tried my best. Damn that right. He, he's just pinning in, dude. He's having a good time. It's working for them. That is it. You and me, it's just a different, di different breed. He is not the same, man. Just tactical visor. <laughs> I popped that way too far away. I thought he was going to keep walking. I thought he was mirroring me. Obviously, I have my ult here, but... Look, I didn't ult that time. I played it slow, dude. Yeah, it's only based on one loss now. It doesn't matter your stats at all. It's kind of dumb. And quick play boosts your MMR even for rank. So if you have bad MMR on your account, you ca technically can just play quick play and five stack and farm S like MMR and quick play. And that'll make it easier for you to climb in ranked. Don't ask me why I know that. It's pretty fucking dumb. That is the thing though. I guess Akirika was doing something else during all that, but it's okay. We, uh, we go next. But we just lost some mercy, we just played slow. This past or before. Uh, it's been like that ever since last season. Not even this season. Wait, what? My team lost some pointer and all that? Huh? I was fighting their entire team! I got solo shattered! If you lose this, I, I just killed two if they just fucking walk in. I can't touch, I just respawn, so. I'm just gonna play very, very safe. We have an Echo and Hanzo. We have a Mercy. Um, yeah. They almost have Shatter though, by the way. No one else is shooting Ryan though. Oh, 
got her. Playing like out there. Pump counter here. Hopefully the mercy res is up for us to win this stuff. It's a free res. E mercy. You have res. You just came from spawn. Uh, man. I gotta walk back. Obviously they didn't contest so it didn't matter, but man. Could have mattered. Man. Soldier doing. I don't know. He's holding a new ankle, bro. Obviously doesn't have shatter anymore. He wants to pin me and die to me. That was okay with me. Was gonna peak bridge? Oh, okay. Let's go take upper. I would have resi there. That's why you're my favorite kitten. Kazu, don't you forget it. Gonna get the pin up, obviously. So that's yeah, okay, cat. You didn't hear anything. You're my cat. You're not my kitten. See, they're different. So you can't even be mad about it. Thought she might recall in that same corner. Mm, oh, no one's on cart. I'll just go cart. Hey, they went Zarya. That's one bubble. Can't bubble them both. It's okay, man. You tried. Um. Obviously, once I see the Zarya, I just ignore them. Try not to feed them energy. Try not to shoot bubbles. Try to just kill his backline. Because I saw the on nose like, nades. So I was like, oh, I can get punished here. Like, play aggressive. So look, I'm trying to bait bubbles. Just bait bubbles and I'll ult. Just be ready to follow up on it. It's one bubble. It's two bubbles. I'll say something small like that because it's useful. I'll say I, I lost her. Okay. Trish is up love. Oh, there we go. Recover right here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Does I give up? I know what's going on here. I would. and bleeds. Ow. Man. This is what it is. You only lose if you stay down. We go next fight. Here. No. You can't have it. Yeah, with no shield, it usually got mains pretty funny. Uh, obviously, I'm not really worried about it because, uh, no, I'm a tank. But, uh, yeah, uh, they kind of deserve that, like you. Usually, you go through here. I, I don't, like, I'm not. I'm, uh, I could have told them that and I could have thought that way so they followed me, but I just saw. Uh, uh, it's more funny if that happens, honestly.
saw a lot of people in Australia and there's not really much more explanation on the old. I was like, and they just res Alicia. Yeah, this was just like open it up for us and uh, win the fight. So uh, I believe out of two and eight, Hanzo earlier asking our team what we're doing when we all had like 20 kills and like two deaths. And uh, yeah, we, we lost that game. Yeah, did the game with 12 kills while I had like 50 or something. What is oh. I thought she'd just go play. I'll give you your mech back, girl. Don't even worry. Oh, I'm horny. I'm horny. Hey, it's kind of rude. Don't anti nade me. <laughs> Obviously, I talked about off angling a lot. So this is like man. I can wrap left, look for the off angle, look to kind of like do that but they have a main now so that punishes me for being like too aggressive I and mean, kill me really early so i'm gonna play up here because i know the monkey's gonna soft dive this and i can kind of just like zone him they don't have like a wall off me here so the tracer in my back line though kill my honest though the monkey's jumping me on junk screen though so that's uh something special she doesn't have a tp so now i could kill her That I may as well. No, you do what you can, I guess. Things play mystery heroes, you know? You keep the wrong game mode, man. I don't know what to tell you. This game is fun but terrible at the same time. I think the matchmaking and the skill level players being all over the fucking place is what makes the game terrible. I think the concept and like how the game's like supposed to be is really good, obviously. But they just need to figure out their fucking matchmaking in SR system. This is down bad. Okay, they swapped off Winston and went to uh, Sigma. Tracer's coming to staircase, so I'm gonna try to mark her. She has no re, so she needs to play slow. Um, uh, mm -hmm. can't really make a play from the Kiriko. I've been seizing and not being forced right now. I was hoping that you cleanse the Sigma there so I can hold my key float. It's okay, May. I'll treat you nice. We're using high ground to just kind of scout, see what we can drop on, maybe make a play. I don't really want to brawl into the May. Um. I'll just play high ground with my team and then drop a cart when I need to. Five and nine, five wins and I lost that ranked up. Do you play a lot of quick play by any chance, believe? So I was just talking about this earlier. Do you play a lot of quick play? Nah, there you go. You play any quick play? <laughs> I don't know. Five and nine, that's wild. No. Yeah, that's easy. Oh my god. I'm running away. I know this on me. Man. Man. I tried getting away. <laughs> I was so sure. Especially if something I just want to turn around, I guess. Wait, let me see. Wait, my Mercy squawked the Kirka. But they're a champion. Oh. I, I just got ulted a second ago. Can you guys relax? Alright, so this game looked like it was going to be free. Now they're just playing, uh... Playing weird characters. And it's apparently working, so I'm just gonna like Sega's really good here. Don't get me wrong. It's not very good. Play split on the side. Use bow. Okay.
really enjoying my experience right now, I think. Like I said, I'm really enjoying my experience right now, guys. I'm really enjoying my experience right now. The funny thing is, I'm even focusing today. <laughs> Uh, you know, we are nerfing CCs and we're trying to make tank roll more enjoyable, guys. Smile. Look, they are playing Cassidy. I can get hindered. I can get walled. I can get slowed. I can get rocked. I can get slept. I'm going to have a blast. At least it's easy for me to look for my ult. Oh, we need an enemy ult if you want me. Wait for them to like collapse on me. Uh, just ult me to keep me alive. Please, 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 please. And a mercy, let's go. Did you say you got walled off? I was flexed into the air. Was I? That was great. Thank you for the rest. Ay, ay, ay. Wait. Yeah. Are you streaming right now? Yeah. I just, uh, watched you a while ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, I just started playing again. And I might be doing a Junker only account, so, uh, yeah. Like the good old days. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, my name's Forgiving. I can kill him. They really don't like me. This man is so obsessed with me. It's so. Ah! like expired by now so that was actually a huge freeze I had nothing to say there. I was just trying to kill whatever's on card. There was no thought process. GG. I'll be here uh, crying and ranked and crying about fair mercy. Ugh, God damn. Why do we have to get this map after a bad game, man? <laughs> All right. Hear me out. This character, not very good on this map, okay? But for some reason, every time I lock Junker Queen on this map, they mirror me on Junker Queen or some stupid pick and don't play Sigma. So we're just going to hope it, the trend continues that they don't play Sigma into me. Attack, Subs and all I got was this VIP badge. Everyone's thinking they get a sub, I mean mod for a sub now, huh? It was a one-time trade deal, okay? Look, they're playing Queen too. They have Ana though. And a Zen. 
Both the supports you don't want to see as a queen. Man. I'm just going to play safe. I have a discord for me and anti. I need to play very safe off these engagements. Yeah, Bina is dominating this lobby right now. Uh oh. Bina is cooking. Alright, hear me out. I have to play this so slow. This is them having Zenana. I'll pressure out the Sombrilis behind, try to pull back line out into the open for my fair, maybe. He's pushing me, I'm weak, so I'm just gonna shout, try to push her. Alright, yeah, my fair is popping off with the Mercy, let's go, team. Uh, I can look for aggressive ult, I could get hacked out of it, but I doubt the Sombra is gonna go for me early. I think they're gonna try to harass my fair, Mercy. I can ult early. Let them walk in a little bit. We have fair mercy, true. Their supports are in Narnia. I cannot hold right now. Rotating for it. I am. I am so. I am so upset. It's not even funny. I am so upset. It's not even funny. I am so upset. It's not even funny. <laughs> Why is she shooting a sleep from Narnia there? It was literally the t half that millisecond I pressed Q. Why would she go for a sleep there? From, 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 from Narnia. That, that caught me off guard. What? All right. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. You got a Junker Queen matchup? Yeah, but they're playing Zanana and Sombra and Hanzo. Everything in their comp I don't like as a Junker Queen, if I'm being honest. Everything hurts. And they're... Are they playing to anti me and discord me and make me cry? They are. Things you hate to see in 4K right there. Well, 1080p, but you know. Yeah, well, we can't resurrect that. Relax, Mercy. George. Missed a creative last game. Myana had 5K healing in 15 minutes. It was a great time. We tried our best though. Like this queen, no, like doesn't get shot at. Then she gets every nano, man. Every nano, and I'm discorded. You know what I get? Fucking nothing, man. Fucking nothing. You get balls. Get a respawn timer. <laughs> I don't fucking get it, man. Why did they get? Why did they get that? Damn, tank to pay to see it. Yeah, true, man. My apologies. Let me beat the Nando to Junker Queen with the Discord on me next time, guys. Why well, shouldn't I be there? To be honest. Um. Are you gonna push? No. I like walk in a straight line, not paying attention to chat. 100%. But, uh, I might have been reading chat. A lot of new bronze. Dude, we're playing a Junker Queen mirror on this fucking map, George. On this map. And we're playing a Fair or Mercy on this map. It's wild out here. Master, Masters are different. I don't want to stuff because I'm just going to get bullied by their comms. I'm just going to play safe, bro. <laughs> My mercy pocket do some, do some work. You want to have fun instead of meta slaving? Apparently. This queen probably should be forcing less. I'm kind of just waiting for it. Oh, don't worry, we're hindered. That worked. Both their supports are alive. 
the Anna Anna's bottom right, by the way. She's in here. I don't know why she's trying to hide in here. She's kinda of just sagging herself, but uh let's just take the kill, I guess. I usually would stuff the door, but I don't like I, I don't feel safe with this support comp anymore. If you're gonna touch anyway, so I might as well just pull her to get the damage. You know? Play more on the open so my uh oh wait, we don't even have a fair anymore. Whatever. Try to crab walk away. She thought she's sneaky. What is this game right now? Why are we playing this comp? <laughs> Why are we playing a Joker Queen Mira? It's still blowing my mind. <laughs> like I said, for some reason, no one's playing Sigma against us on these maps. I need to just back. I don't like being there. They have nade. I'm getting hindered. I'm just going to play into my team's longer LOS. And, uh, let's relax. Can I come say goodnight? Yeah. Here. Kite. <laughs> Later, <a> nerd. I'm not even being educated in this game. I just, I generally don't know what's going on. I just literally was like, okay, I have ult. They don't, I have a Zen, they have all. No, I'm just going to ult here and just pray I make it to the back line. I didn't know if I would, if I'm being honest. I just pressed and fucking hope for the best. It's like, if anything, the Junker Queen dies, surely, right? Honestly, I think that's more sad than your thing getting canceled by a sleep dart and getting killed. And it was just purely like by me, too. Yeah, just, yeah, good luck at it in this mic because uh, this shit, this is just, oh, dude, they got off queen coward. That, that is coward behavior getting off queen. Let me get off queen and play Mario. <laughs> Looking for a heal. A AMA. Gotta waste my shout. I have to play slow. Try and pull the squishies like the Ana gets in. They missed the bell. It is what it is. I'm getting back in there. I must return to my post. Side E press, you know. They throw a grenade at me. The Zarya's getting fed energy. Not from me. We're a sad boy. I knew we weren't gonna get another dodge with how much of we staggered, so I just didn't even bother. Um, creative more, to say the least. But, hey. Creativity wins games, am I right? 
They are going to keep playing Moria, so they're honest pretty punishable because they won't have a like, great peel. I need to just watch for those already saving bubbles for their back line. Try to bait bubbles here, look for ult. Obviously, try to play slow off my double his skin because their tank doesn't really help them rotate in. But they do have grabs, so I need to care for that. I like playing too close to my team, so I'm not going to stand on top of them. They still have it. I'm not sure if they had. Pretty dead here. Yep. Once I'm in the back line that I just have to pray like here maybe TP's for, to me for us to live, but I didn't really want to. So then I was like, uh, kind of stuck here. And I think that like overall play, like ulting the two, their nano blading, it seemed like they fucked up and we could make, like turn the fight was worse. Them. But yeah. Like he has peaked me or my teammate apparently. That's why he's hiding there. So I just sat there and I was like, this will work. Oh, uh, they went diva now. I mean that's way better than them playing on. Uh, sorry for me, personally. Ow. Wait, more no food? <laughs> Although I just paid them though, but wait, I fell? Oh. You can get your health back now, you little silly goose. Very <laughs> enough. I need HP makes it that our cast can one tap for technically your two body shotters, so I need damage on Tracer so I can be like helpful. <laughs> Come on, Diva. Uh, they have nothing to shut down my ult. We have a minute left. Uh, mm, yeah, if I ult my more critical. They both DPS. I might help them kill it with coal. I think that's worth. Talking the visor, some play more off my soldier right now. I'm oh, no sleep. You see, it couldn't punish me. Push it. No fade. I get the max. Hmm. We win that, surely? Surely? I don't think we won that. Oh, bot is popping off. Wait a minute. Are more is there? They're cooking? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, not cooking enough. Not cooking enough. Not cooking enough. Hmm. Don't win that. I'm saying if my Kirika TP to me at any point there, we win that. She didn't believe in me. No one ever believes in me. I'm a sad gamer. Oh, they went Widow. Ew. I just can't force. I, I need to play close though. If 
like I'm just old and hope my team can miss up. Mario's one. My team kills me. I thought I could get both supports sitting on card. I'm like, we kind of need a whole close because I'm playing Junker Queen here. So. I'm holding their spawn there, basically. Hey, if you want to nade early, that is A okay with me. Yeah, oh, huge blade. Sadly, not a huge blade. Wait, 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 we're cooking? Wait, we're, we're no longer cooking with that. I, I, I should. I, I started my E right before I got my shout, and I can go for my shout too, by the way. I don't think it, we will not, regardless. The Nano Diva saying on me, it's kind of hard to live, regardless, if, even if I shout. But we forced out a lot of ults out their spawn door, which is good. We didn't really need a counter ult, like. It was just like an extra fight to get basically holding there. And they're gonna use all the try to force himself out. Shout to keep him alive just in case. Even though I kinda want it for myself, but Okay, I'm getting hacked. Somber player, you're a rat. Okay, get out of here. All I'm saying, they didn't respect the Junker Queen. That's all I gotta say. They're a loser for not saying Queen. 41 is gonna be a lot of wins for unranged gym, but well, yeah, Masters one game. I feel like most people that play this game haven't been coming from like Valorant and other shooters that are used to playing just more his scan characters. The his scan is way more common than uh, like tr characters that require like movement, like Tracer. I need to be careful. That's one. I like to play there to shut down their DPS so really if you haven't noticed I always play there at the very start and like make it aggressive play because their DPS usually try to take that upper and then it also denies them maybe trying to swing on this off angle which isn't really that great early on but okay you missed one you got lamp I have shout, so I need to be more safe playing here. Might be dead. I think this is probably overextended. So I'm just gonna punish him really quick. I'm gonna contest card. Walk on the farm. Mm. My bomb was better. Well, Bap is DPS and killing everyone apparently. So I guess I need to watch for this bap in my back line. He can't, he's kind of good for five apparently. So. <laughs> the demon isn't doing a good rage job diving, but the bap is. This is built different like that. Get another play here though. I thought that was a way to try to zone that window. I guess they aggressive play is what they're trying to make and I'm trying to make aggressive play to like counteract it, so. Yeah, it worked out. He's trying to push me in aggressively, but he's kind of feeding doing it, so. <laughs> if they weren't staggered, that could be a good play, but. It's <laughs> the timing of it. Force lamp. Hmm. Pulling an opposite James Bond right now. Oh yeah, dude. Banana railgun, if you want. 
Or an enemy in the back one or tracer. Kind of cool what it was. I got slept. Good luck, guys. Yeah, I'm on auto with you. The nano bladed. Genji won though. Genji won though. Genji still won. Oh, he got fucking bursted. I whiffed on the Genji early. I whiffed, I whiffed. I whiffed. I didn't see the bad pit is shift for him though, obviously. I, I didn't really want the nano. I want, like, obviously I said for a sojourn and then they had Ana and they just set the fucking sleep dart on me. So I was in their back lane and I didn't bait it yet. Anna, yeah. I killed Ana, but they had nano blade. We didn't have trans, I guess. I'm assuming you didn't have it. I, or he might have died first before it happened. I don't really know. I cast it below, so it's kind of just walking on it. For the post sub, so here Doom though, so now I'm gonna peel for Doom. I pick upper. Try force cart because we're currently up too. They got off on that, which is really fucking good for me. And they went fucking rig. Which isn't like great for my tracer, but it's good for me, so yeah, I ended up shuffer. Um we have we have ult. Try not to get punched out of it or cast hindered, because uh that's a really fun ability. Fuck support players that think they can get away with their immortality field bullshit. They are getting ulted there. I do not care. Fight wasn't won. I'm I'm annoyed with him. The man thinks he owns the lobby or something. I'm over it. Get him out of here. We were holding their spawn. I'm so weak, so this is a pretty good option. Gonna play for Mega and he's gonna try to juke me. You're not gonna juke me. You're not gonna punch me off either. Look, I can play this game with bring around the Rosie with you. Because since I drop, I was afraid you'd just crawl up here and then I'm wasting a lot of time chasing them, blah, blah, blah. And that's why I just kind of kept sitting there. I'm like, eh, it's not really like worth chasing. I see the demon, I assume he's going to try to punch me off. I think the cast drop. Uh, they're men. Let's see if we can help our tracer maybe walk on those. Hit, hit the knife and everything, but just got uh, Suzu'd. Oh, I feel like we've been holding that real gun to start game, so just I'll pop that shit. This, this fight, girl. You got it. I believe in you. Yeah, Nando, that real gun. I've been holding that shit for a minute. I believe in you. You're gonna carry. They're so scary of our nano soldier. Hell yeah. Left clicks and railgun, you just blow up things without hitting any headshots. And I don't know, it just doesn't really feel like a sniper. <laughs> when you don't have to aim for the head, but I don't know. Whatever. You do you, game. They're just shouting hard push that early. Wait, what's Lana doing in here? Getting creative, you know. He got left his not even good. I'm swinging wide as a drunker queen, but uh, the intimidation factor. Okay. I generally don't know what the Bono is doing right now. I I generally do not know. 
But I will take it and I will run away with the free one. They're tilted. Uh, oh, that was about that was kind of like bragging. He's saying GG and kind of just running into his thing. I don't know. Thing just inting can't win. That's just kind of how matchmaking sometimes is. Doom's just a uh, having a good time. <laughs> Wait, the man's 9 and 12. He's speed running. Maybe with a sliver of heals. There's no shot he's blaming the healers for him being on card there. <laughs> Whatever. These games are weird. Three on Caleb, please. Alright. You know, I'm trying to be friendly because the game's ending, but you know, if you want to slam me with your flail. We barely went up. We only went up one tier for five and one there. Uh yeah. Might have to win on two more sets, actually, not not just one. We just focus on like top 500 ranks for the rest of the season, I think, and uh, maybe next season I'll do a support one. Or after a bit of playing support on my main. We'll see how it goes. I'll shout to help us get to the TP faster. I spawned the merge didn't know they could not res up by me standing there. <laughs> so I was getting so dominant. Going over the wall. Four players, by the way. Anna, Mercy, Double Sniper. Obviously, me and Genji could commit backline. Sim isn't like, obviously. Yeah, we need to walk to that res Or kill Hanzo. Sojourn, Sojourn. They kill me. I'm trying to fucking kill you. I keep one. Alright. On no cooldowns. Okay. Um. Also. I guess we didn't lose that. I just knew I had to kill their back when I win that. That's why we wrapped on the back and tried to kill like supports early and uh, it worked out, I guess. I did not like kill the mercy for a little bit. Not literally. I'm fucking dead. Alright. 
course you are. You're better. I I hope I'm. I got No, I'm, I'm not gonna like. Uh, like obviously I'm don't belong in the string, so oh, I should no. make plays like that. <laughs> I don't want them to rest for free. That's why I'm playing so aggressively. I'm trying to deny it. Obviously my entire team is usually okay with it. They made me my queen now. So I need to respect the screen a little bit. Just play the counter a little bit more now. Okay. There's some more. Here. Oi! Oh my! Because I'm whatever at some point. I don't want to ever extend this with myself for my team, so. I missed the easy knife there. Oh. That's fair. I don't like going for a cheer, but. No, no. 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 Yeah, the normal to go fair. It's up to my DPS now. Mm. If I can pull someone off. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go left because I have a fair. Don't get bridge. I don't want my team to get conked. I don't have, I'm not on Divas, so I can't make sure something across. I don't trust it. Unless I group up and walk left. Ow. And just hope they would follow. Ow. I thought I was behind the rocks, but I guess not. I don't have clans. Clan. They have no clans if you want to anti-air, brother. Alright, never mind. Try to get, give them the win condition a little bit. There's no way. At least the next map's not good for fair chat, okay? <laughs> how does my, how I'm gonna cope with this lobby. Holy shit, she's coming. She's by herself, but she's coming. Oh, uh, she's getting blocked a bit. Played for ult. <laughs> Saw that they used cleanse. Figured I could go in. They were barraging and I survived it. So yeah. Uh, we have control point, which makes it harder for the pair to get in. So hopefully my Hiskins can find more value. I'm scared of going for this knife flick, so I could get conked off, or I could just like get knifed off. But I did it anyway because I'm done. First he wants to res that. He can't deny it alone though. Yeah, I'll walk Queen. I'm a little too weak to walk it there. Yeah. Okay. Queen, 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 Queen. Let's go, team. Winnable game. Let's go. Uh, getting a little turn swing so I can hit both, by the way. Are you notice, though? Watch should not get concussed. Okay, 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 you should back, you should back, you should back, you should back, you should back. You should back. I'm coming, I'm running. They went Winston. I'm gonna play more with my team and just. Because I know that Winston's gonna zone my back line and, I, and my DPS need to be able to look at the bear because I can't, so I need to focus my key so that I can do that. No. I think. Pass this last, by the way. They fucking got me. Yeah, that's why you don't play on the bridge. They almost got me too low. Forcing points. I 
at one. Or see one? Or see one? Carry one, carry one. Obviously looking for a parry coming back. I'll pop shot him. I know he won't charge up much on me then. I'll be able to kill him. Parry's gonna come window. Oh yeah. GG. You get one with a lever in Overwatch 1 and 6v6, especially if it is a DPS, but Overwatch 2 with a lever, especially a support or a tank, it just feels pretty much impossible at least. You just try not to get anti there and get punched in. He just wants to play to shoot me only, so I'll just play to shoot him. We have a somber, so might as well. Oh, we got. Oh, we do have fair mercy. Oh, I don't know. I went five and one, and I barely ranked up. One rank. Uh, I would. I'm bait sleep. Seems kind of just ending into me, so. Do Molly want? I think the other break was actually good. But I killed that. Uh, they got off Demon 1 Diva. I can do the same thing. I shouldn't even play Diva because we have a Sombra. It's just the same thing on Demon, honestly. He was just technically less annoying for me, but more annoying for my bear. Let's get one on you. Why do I have a circle? I mean, a dot crosser. It makes it look like I have worse stamina than I actually do. I forget Sombra's a character in this game. I think they're just tunneled on the fact that we have a fair. <laughs> but, I mean, just Cyber. I'm probably not gonna get much deal. Opens up for your guys' can. That's what I'd be doing always. I thought kind of stacked, so. Trying to play the low. She rallied, so I wasn't able to solo kill her like early at least. Kind of like a scary situation. That's the weak, I need to carry. Just blank and look for uh, their zone, I think. Alright, to be fair, you got healed, I go. I get wrestling. Dub. That midair shots just for the fun. Ow. Okay, honestly, a uh, real question because uh, honestly, I think Arista's pretty bad. Uh, when do you guys think Arista's even really good? The only time I think it's like decent is against like Doomfist, but like outside of that, it's just like why, why play to Arista? Like, even against Doom, like, I don't really feel like you have to play it. <laughs> so many other counters to Doom. That people usually will play. Yeah, I can really live from that one. Echo is obviously not very fun, especially with the Discord on you. Against Ryan, I feel like I'd just play Ramacho against Reinhardt. If I had to take a pick every single time. Or I just play Winston if it's a dive map. Or Diva. They're all pretty good in this run. Depends on the map. Would never be like, I need a Arisa for a Reinhardt, you know? 
We have a skin. Let's have a sombro. I think we always get some rush whenever I ult. I'm not sure if that's just me, but I noticed it's like a trend. Maybe they're just trying to help follow up or something, but usually the fight's one off Junker Queen ult. Like, it doesn't really need a combo most of the time. But, I don't know. Uh, hot take, I don't think Ryan's... I mean, Queen's like getting to Ryan art most of the time. Um, just like Zaryan to Ryan. Especially now that they, they even buff the shield a little bit. It's just like, eh could easily just play ram and it'd be 10 times easier but i don't know maybe that's just because i play ram kind of bait cooldown i killed two we can get a card now oh. I, mean, I guess we can brush, but I killed no one. Oh, we EMP'd too. I have no idea what's going on. We EMP'd and... And barrage in a 5v3. No? Uh, this is high masters though these days. Winnable. I'm surprised they mirrored me on Queen on this map. Spike point especially, um, five characters are really strong. Can pick. They can move. <laughs> you are not gonna go resurrect the mercy. Stop it. Um, maybe we should just take a new spawn. Or we could get out way faster on the wall. I can see you. We just came out spawn. Still not. Yeah, worry about this like Hello? I don't know why she kept fighting me while she's low on token. I'm not gonna ult here. Now I did it because he ulted. I wasn't going to. Didn't think I needed to. And then he ulted, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna shut it down. I don't want to lose this fight. There's only one more fight after this, and we have a lot of other ults that they can make the plays, so. Does Ryan need to be a, be a better tank? The thing is, I don't think Ryan's bad. I just think that. On ladder. There's usually better picks if your team doesn't pick around you playing Ryan or like. Elusia, stuff like that. And yeah, so that's more of the problem. Guys, the other house in there, dude. And then let's just get a bandit. Unlucky. I shut that down before the ult. I don't much stock value, just... I tried to play to live. Here was obviously not really on me there. Just sitting on the cart. I think on the right side. I don't really know what's going on there. But, uh, yeah. Just getting boot for what I'm gonna do. 
Well, that's awkward timing. Really, as I own. Like, this looks very reasonable. Can shut down the ult. I guess the most point for me that's not Dr. Sarah at that point. Well, Ryan with Baptiste is good. Well, Baptiste is good with Ryan comps because you're very stacked and you have the AoE healing and you also have Immort, which is AoE. A lot, and then you have Window Fire Strikes. You have a lot of like combo potential. And just the bear seals with the window too. If he pushes after with the Fire Strikes as well, which is pretty nuts. So we don't want the Sig to play there. So I'm going to take Staircase. Shout out to Sigma. I just waited and tried to knife him down. Potentially. So could I do the same thing? They hit a nade on him when he was out of LOS. And obviously our Kiriko just kind of got walked on, I guess. I already know. But uh, that looked like a free kill just body blocking him there. But uh, they're on him. Made a miracle throw for him, so. I could overextend them, they should die to our soldier. Yeah. Yeah. Prep one, I'm not even gonna clear him out. Just gonna force him point. One. Aimed up people with the swing by turning. Come from right to left. Where's that guy? Wait, I should have size stuff. Can't peek over the top. Oh. Alright, they are still Sigma. The May. How weird to play May when we have a fair, but I guess it's just for me. They also have a Brig, which we don't really have any dives, so they have a really weird comp overall. I'm just gonna push card for now. Wait, so I don't think I can force up for alone right now. Oh, they want to just fight us on card. Works with me. Works with me a little less now. Maybe we get resi pooed? No. We do not get resi pooed. Um. I had a shot, but like, obviously if Flex is 50% of my out health, but I saw as below that 50% threshold, so I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna die if I don't shout, so might as well. Yeah, it's awkward timing. I got answered. I was like, you know, they're over center right now. Let's just hit the button and uh, yeah, we might get a little rocked after we hit like only, only the Sigma with it, which, you know, it's still something, but like, hmm. I broke out of that, that is bold. They just copy our fair and dominate us in our spawn. Where's our Kiriko? They're alive. Oh, they're just trying to kill fair and then TP'd up. All right. They're having fun playing Echo and just beaming me off cooldown. They aren't able to stabilize from it, so I'm just gonna fight really slow. Yeah, while we ult is low. Our point's low. See if I can chase the sauna. Are they rising? Try to carry the rose. Hmm, just gonna blow into the bottom. 
I can use to be contested though. Charging just because I think my back one's about die. Got out of it. He's only on us. Big bash into our back line. So, big thing I'm noticing is every boy uses bash aggressively. Like always, always. Never defensively. It's just so weird. I think they might touch. Oh no, good wall. I need one too if I still win this game. We have three minutes. If I ult soon enough, I can get another ult rotation. Try to make it that you can wall yourself off from you. Right position. Can we kill this guy with ult ulting? So I'm not going to worry about ulting. Nah. Nah. Did you get anyone? Oh, yeah. Oh, she has no ice block. Wall to break it. Oh, also there on a precision here, obviously. Okay, they're kind of staggering. I'm just gonna play here. So it's harder for the mate to get out. Touchers, nope. Hmm. I'm going to get this done tonight and then I'm going to start putting in Dropbox for you to edit. I don't know if this is even good content at this point though, so uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we had some. Oops. I bet I wasn't paying attention. They TP'd out, so I spawn. I shouted. We're not that far behind. They have Sombra. And they have Fair Mercy. Sombra, Fair Mercy. Okay. Now we both went for it. Oh, now they're done. The mic is different, though, so. Don't get beef. This is looking for beef, brother. Isn't that the next on Rachel GM? I don't know. Tell me what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see a tank fill or a support fill where I play like what support I think is best or tank for the map slash the comp too. You could do a series like that if you think that'd be like fun. Unless one tricky. Games would be more in our like and technically but i don't know and just explain the thought process on why i'm picking what character no one really does no series and i did that in overwatch one and the tank one was like fun i think the dps one i i defaulted a lot to cast and halsey because they were like hard meta during the video and that was kind of boring for people and they want to see more characters and if i did it on dps which i don't think i would do it on dps right now like right now a lot of filling on dps would be a lot of sombra which is kind of boring for me and that'd be tracer echo Eric, Eric be in there capacity probably my team's just better this game by the way so i think this was kind of free one without me even really doing much they're playing far away uh, the fill one makes more sense for a lot of players because like they don't just one trick Junker Queen on every map. They know they have to play like Sigma on some maps, Steve on some maps, or they at least play like two or three characters, you know? Yeah, I kind of... Time 
Is that not trans? There's just trans there in my room. Press the trans. It'll save him at least from the drink if you know what. But whatever. <laughs> I mean, we'll win the fight regardless, so. Not really tripping over it. I haven't been really talking about what I'm doing right now, because. Here I'm gonna try to knife her to stop her from touching. If she tried walking, but she didn't try walking, so alright no, they're kinda of just walking in. I'm just kinda of shooting whatever walks in. My goal is to not die here. I'm pulling them to dodge. Alright, we're good. Score one to zero. Capture the objective. I thought we were And then amping after. Yeah, uh, find some more. There we go. Go for a team. They have Winston. I'm just gonna plan for Winston. Have the old bug. I should shoot the tank. Have a good time. I don't know why I can hit like mid air nice more than like normal knives but so I guess I like people move in the air it's pretty predictable it's the next coaching stream I don't know obviously I'm finishing this unranked and then I kind of want to play top 500 games on support and uh yeah. I want a break from playing tank after playing so many games to Junker Queen which I think you all understand after this I want to be the support player trolling To my back line. Kind of like having a sim when I get high ground. I can hold you, so I can't let. I can make their hits can sink. It's safe to maybe play her. But maybe it's just like kind of. I didn't like this. And then they might come up here. And then uh, we just won the fight. They still got clans. I need care, I need care, I need care, I need care. I could also when they're upper, but I was afraid of them getting TP'd on and cleanse initially. So it's happening from me waiting. The, character, the poor character is dumb, okay? And Kiriko is a dumb character. All you support mains love it because she's just broken, okay? from last game that was actually really good so it's gonna be a harder game we had uh someone purposely leave when we're about to win in a push faded and then said may the odds be ever in your favor and left and they were a support with ultimate i'm pretty sure i know it was a support i don't know, remember if that ultimate and then we lost the game from them leaving there's a solo support and i also had junker queen old in the final fight so that was fun i kind of have to let them in to play queen a little bit so I already took that. Uh, and they have double sniper Sigma, so. But you don't like to see us queen. And she has a mercy. I hit the knife, though. I don't have shouts, so I can't play that aggressive. They have life fever. Queen though, so 
giving you a heads up, I will not be swapping. Uh, I, the Widow Coast, uh, uh, probably on your own. I, I'll go here right now. Uh, this thing's with her, I can't chase. Um, can you help me? Yeah. Okay, good. So I have old. I'm trying to get on the widow first. Just kind of dominate our team. There you go. I really wanted to fight on that right because there's things mirroring there. And I was going to ult the widow after I pulled her down there, but I was 50 HP. So. Yeah. We have Junkrat Genji on the double sniper map. I have a Mercy Pocket and a Sig. Be kind of hard forcing a JQ into this. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what that guy's doing though. I don't know what that guy's doing either. Obviously, they kind of just ran into me. <laughs> There's really any other thing educational talk about there. <laughs> if they run into me, I shoot them. I, I don't know. You hook them in, well, you knife them in. Oh, let's, let's be honest, this character is basically like a glorified Roadhog. That's a skinny queen, okay? That does the Roadhog. Six splits, so. Yeah, I got rocked and I was sitting in it, so. Unfortunate. <laughs> It is what it is, I guess. Hey, my junk's carrying. Let's go, junk player. I mean, that first point is the only one that's really, really hard against the widow. And they got off widow and went tracer. So that's good for me. Their Hanzo hasn't been blowing me up too well. Besides that dragon there. They are Ash now, no tracer. Ash? Yeah. They have Ash. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess he has a mercy call. Yeah. Once they push out here, I can ult them if you want to just wait on that. Uh, never mind, you guys are bragging. Our junk guy's crazy. My junk is holding it down, man. Junkrat and the Junker Queen on Junker Town. Keeping it real. All well, these losers play double sniper Sigma. Hmm. Kind of split, so as we go for it. Probably go one of those supports, honestly, with that. Not me personally, I just thought more people were there. I'm really worried to follow up. No, our Genji was those, so maybe I should wait on him. I think from next, I'm going against the level. So support us. Like we were, you might save them, but they're not gonna save you. Like I said, they are not gonna save you. They don't care about you like you care about them, okay? The other team could stagger me, but I don't think they will. They're upper. After Ruth, ah, uh, I need a good part though. That's the awkward thing, like I feel like I need a good part and help my zone. I'm just gonna let the house sit there. On the fight first. Then the tank's pretty important, so. Don't let the mercy rose for free. Not bad. Junk meta, true. Yeah, that trace has no re. Try to play for the mega. Yeah, the pedal isn't as, especially against dive. <laughs> like the character is so diveable, and then the Sombra can just hack the pedal. Like Sombra's is the biggest counter to any life weaver, so they're trying to walk love. I just want to AFK right now on it in the game. 
be one dead. It's so split and has no help from the support. Just gonna break the fucking tree. But they treat him because he's like really far forward and they can't help him, so I can just help the Sash Mercy. Or just Sash that works too. Doesn't really matter. I just need to kill him. He's getting pocketed, so. And I could kill the Mercy, obviously. Uh, Junker Town Everwatch one was double shield, double sniper, Bab Sun, yeah. And then uh, you could have the Mercy too, but yeah, it's double shield. <laughs> so made this map kind of suck. If Sim, uh, I, I like them having Sims honestly when I'm on Junker Queen, because like the character I don't think is very gonna like build much, uh, get charge off me and a knife back on. I a lot of space by going like that. I can't like deny the rows. All the. I create space for my team to walk. That's all that matters. I can look to try to flank here. I think the tank has a lot of help, so I'm just gonna walk on him. Garner. Oh, I got straight. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're fucking weird. You're playing some Metro on this map. I'll leave you alone. You need help. I have nothing real to say. It's like. Force everyone to look at me. Force them out of position. They all got like stacked. My junk card found like value. They're all gonna sit top right, so I need to play bottom right. And I can kind of put fish from here. I just bought my mouse and I was put my hand back on it. Slash, I can like look for like opportunities from here. Thought Mercy would GA. I was gonna try to punish after. And then I can grab this mega that really need healing. Honestly, that's me just being really greedy for. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they sim mold. We're forced out a really good ult. Their carry is dead, but she'll be back by the time we get there because she's teleporting all that bull crap. So I won't be able to get for ult until I force out. Oh, sorry, I kind of have to like try to force up her to make this character work here. Yeah, our drinks honestly nasty. Go try to knife him down. Try to knife him down now though. Hold stick down. Bro. He's in trap, he's one. Alright. Yeah, she stopped love. She's gonna push cart. I thought the Kiriko wasn't back yet for some reason. Oh, I'm so dumb. Mercy one. All right, I'll just let my TPS carry me also. I'll try to get split. I didn't get up, but that was, yeah, good friends. I love Kiriko, one point Joker Queen. Yeah, I was just talking about if I should do Phil next, Unforgiving, like on tank and support. I don't know how val like how valuable it would be on DPS because a lot of the time, like you could play pretty much Tracer in any comp and it would be a good pick. You feel me? There's like certain DPS are just way better that I just feel like it like it won't be as like swap heavy, which is what I wanted to be if I were to do that fill series. So that was like the big complaint with Wait, you're nuts. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, are we done here? Is the real question. We didn't even go up one rank. <sighs> we're better than 98% of players in this division. All right, man. A40, because I grew up with them. But my pair broke, and I was like, I'm going to try a new headset finally. But I don't like this headset because it gives me a fucking dent in my head. My A40s didn't do that. If I make them less tight, they fall off. So. 
the Reinhardt. Do they shield break if Hanzo? Thinking if I should be playing to load into the Reinhardt for fast. There's a lot of one. It's gonna be a grindy game which is shooting the round shield and just uh action whenever we can obviously. That was for Genji. So Genji's gonna farm him a lot. Guess I got loot. Oh, welcome. Oh. Good matter. Going down one. Let me over extended. Don't let Mercy uh, she's not going to. She knows it's dangerous. Like a genius to know that one. She might be tempted for that DPS though. Yeah. Too busy helping. I think I Winston, huh? I got your Ash die for that rose, so. I think it was worth it. Obviously I thought I could punish them there for being overextended, but just supports after the res and I was like, oh, let's try to make a play here. We played it at the same time, which was kinda awkward, because I thought they'd be waiting for Nana Blade, but I knew we didn't have Nana yet, but I don't know. Uh that means I get nano then, right? Or our bird gets nano, one of the two. On the rest too. Does he get nano? Give me enough damage to fill up, fill up pretty much. So I kinda got purposely got hit by that. I'm just gonna burn it with my team. Sweet. It's stalling in this one HP, just <laughs> so no reason not to shoot it there. I should just play a hard peel. We have rally, so I'm just gonna sit on my team, I think here. Because they're supposed to gonna play way too far back for me to convince them. On. So I think we rally earlier, I think. Play off the round. Now we cycle shout. Now we burn monkey. Now we walk. At least the one she's like, I get pulled. You get him get monkey's back, so. Alright, you have to get admitted. I want to get anti dumb in the wolf, so is that mine? Everyone dies with Hanzo. Try ult us and maybe make a play. Yeah, but we're down two, so it's not really worth the risk. So, I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, I feel myself sometimes, but uh, I'm starting to, you know, revert back to the old ways of uh, being okay losing fights to cup. We got pretty far for a uh, first, like, push, really. Uh, I applaud them for continuing to play instead of just giving up. It's like cool to see. A lot of people do give up in that position without having touched the bot yet. Yeah, I can't help with the Winston if they're that split. I'll hold if I need to do one of those. I guess everyone was just hard, hard in that entire fight by the Winston. I don't know. I, I thought that ult would be good, and, but uh, because we have Kenji and I thought he was still over there, but I, I don't know. We're gonna blame when we're down our tank and our Ana was about to die. I don't know. Maybe they win it. I got one and died. Mm. Guess we always lure ult. I think I can win this though now. I'm back. Oh, early on that knife. 
Also schnell. Ist ein Break Bubble at the same time. Das ist der Monkey Hit, aber. Das ist der Name of the Game, they play Monkey in Young Queen, so. Das ist der Sport, wir that far back. Hmm. See if we can catch him with a knife here, maybe find a kill. Yeah, as far as the monkey didn't bubble, I think it is. It's kinda bad, it's just out there. Uh, use this as a corner. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck up his bleep. They're playing for nade. And nade. Obviously I have Zen now, so I need to be a little bit more careful. That's the Ana. We are not playing Q. So I like Ana though. I just play differently when I have Ana versus Q. Do that primal? Yeah. Out. We're right down both DPS, so I'm not gonna invest my ult here, even though I think I can make a play yet again. Very close to kill my homes with you. Like, if I break ult there, I'd be inclined to ult, maybe. Or if I got nanoed, maybe, because I think I could win that. Like, I did kill two there, and like, with any like, extra ability for our supports, maybe we win that, but. If they don't want to invest, like, I'm going to let them make that call if they invest their ult. I'm not going to use my ult in case they don't, you know? I have that mindset. It's like, they died for... Of course, they're playing a Narnia on the enemy team. They almost have Nanoblade, though. They don't care. Oh, I'll just like her. We have a lot of ults. Just so. not let them get the checkpoint for free. What up, Terrence? How are you doing today? I'm not gonna shout out spawn because they're holding close. I want to save it for when I actually need it in the fight. In case I want to ult early. Um, hmm. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Got stuff here. I really don't want to play here, so. Obviously just ran and I noticed he wasn't getting kills, that means he didn't save his dash or they like timed it really well on him. So then I was like, okay, we need my ult too to be able to clean this up, right? Because they invested trans, so. If I ulted, they might not be trans and then they'll still save it for nanoblades, boys, so. But they're all grouped because they want to be in the trans together, so made it easier for me to hit that ult to be able to just carry. Like, I want to look for that, but after I miss the knife, I'm like just not sure if I'll be able to get the kill alone, so... That's why I just kind of walk away. Uh, on a peek on that. But that's the bleed. He does the bleed. That's the bleed. He does not die to the bleed. Uh, it doesn't matter if I get that kill, but like, you know, it'd be nice if I got that kill. <laughs> Make me happy and put a smile on my face. Why does our Zen have fucking 10k healing? What the fuck is that? Break the bubble. Try not to die to a Hanzo. I just like the boss beauty. And if you want stall, I'm all for it, man. I have to keep my own away.
Yeah, the five was one one, and my team's about to be back. They did, no longer were trans, so I could hit everyone. Like, obviously, they're getting anti, but it's just an entire thing, and people are grouped towards the end of trans, so I'm just waiting for them to be out of it, so I can also hit the Zen, hopefully. Well, I killed the Zen, but I don't know. My brain. I just knew I needed a left curl <laughs> at some point there. And after I saw that my team was kind of getting back, I was like, okay, it's enough time has passed I could look for the salt. Less than four deaths per ton. Doing a pretty good job living. Good damage, 11.6. Like, are we in a, like, we're trying to get more SR per win, and then it puts us in a Masters 4 game. So, this will give us, like, less, so it's going to make it harder to be able to double rank up from winning games lower rank than us. So I can get RNG on the rank of games. The RNG just hasn't been with us this series, but maybe next one. If we do anymore. Reevaluating my life after doing this one. You know how that person memed the unranked job application? Educational? When not? Not when I was doing this when I was just playing top 500 ladder and rolled them. You know? It's on my mind after playing Junker Queen this much. Alright, we have Widow, Ana, two people haven't picked. Okay, Reaper, Kirka. Alright. Sounds good to me. Shout them out. This he just only play one character a little bit. I think like super meta supports, it's not like super tedious. It's like sports, you, you, like playing Kirka, it's like pretty much always good. Yeah, right, right. watch for getting punched. Like, I'm telling you, every Doomfist player. Oh, why did I have a Reaper as well? They slept the Reaper. I need our DPS to get a little bit more involved. Like, that BU key. Oh, we have a Widowmaker. Yeah, it's starting to make a little bit more sense. Yeah. Susu eventually landed. I pretty much could just walk on the scouts for three. Of course, Suzy, but they're playing in rush. I don't really want to walk into that. Honestly, I thought he just used punch, I'm not gonna lie. They had to cleanse probably, so I don't even care. Like, getting an ult off against this comp is gonna suck. I'm being honest. Or it's just gonna have fade, blah blah blah. Like, I don't know. I'm not really tripping over getting it canceled there. I thought Doom had that punch. I just made an assumption, but uh, he did have it. I'm not having punch and I'm not having CZ. It's just, yeah. If you're early answers, maybe it's so you wait to see like that more often. I'm in there, Reaper, sitting scared. Try to play defensively for them. They are on the diet. We are not gonna nano. Alright, we go next fight. Our Sombra went off the map. That's our translocator, I think. She like threw it off. Um. Hmm. I'm playing into their doom because we have a somber and I figure we'd be bowling him a little bit and we have Ana who has sleep, nays, stuff like that. Blah blah blah. That's my assumption. So this doom shouldn't really not live. Like it's not really that great in our comp, but And that's why you check your corners. I'm not gonna touch if we don't walk with me. I can't touch him through. You just need a dance or something. <sighs> I 
Yeah, I don't think we won this game. to try to get back sooner I wouldn't have made it in time so I think we'd need my ult to actually be able to win the fight in the first place that's like my observation of how this is going it's kind of something that I can't really control because I am mirroring the doom and I can't really extend alone how we have been playing it our teammates aren't really even going for backline and if I extend my I just die because my sports won't be with me at all because they're just done by the doom who has way more mobility and their sports have a lot more survivability Charging. Even though we hit the ult there, just like the characters it just doesn't matter on. Please get cleansed. I mean, just kind of whatever. So weak. But, uh, thought we would be able to maybe burn him. Tracer is there. Get ultimates here in this game is this round is winnable at least right now. Three, two. No plan. I just didn't pull me out the fucking window or something. Curious, so one. TP to up here to the Ash. I can't get her. I just got point, I guess. Alright, cool. I made a play, be honest. Um. I'm not even attractive, Jed. I would. I'd just being completely real with you, I, it's like a normal looking guy. Especially like in the real world. It's like I'm just shooting things and people are not shooting anything. <laughs> like, y'all don't know. <laughs> I feel like I have to bait, like, Suzu. I have to bait fucking Teleport. I have to bait Faye. Then I'm the only one on them after. Like, it's fucking crazy. He's fetched right now. For, you know, TP. 
Yeah, he's just kind of sitting right there. Summer just needs to play more off of us. He's getting forced out really early if she needs to get in. Like, why am I the one countering the Doom? There's a Sombra. Yo. Good Nano. I was like, yo, why are we not walking? <laughs> and then I got Nano. I'm like, alright, winnable. <laughs> they already had to use cleanse, so. I believe in them. Okay, we take cage. Fuck. I, I knifed him. I tried pulling him in. And our Sombra died right off there. Alright. I think I tried to make a little cheeky play. I can't control her. I'm just giving because it's no point. I need to try to flank to make plays here. I pulled her in the well. Got out. I'm gonna try to walk on the mirror. Pull the Ash. Ash one. Like everyone's looking at me, but I don't know. Wait, you said you got one shot, huh? I don't have anything that one shot. It's messy, I need to help me. <laughs> I'll, I'll want to really say it though. Every ult. It's not really following me and kind of just peeking the ash a lot. I'm saying it's a weird looking dude not sleeping. And up you. This. Our charges in. And so on. Yeah, the charge punch. Wait, no, that wasn't a charge. Wait, yeah. What's that? I don't even know. I got pushed to Narnia there. I can't touch someone else else's touching. And I shove you. Good ults. We have EMP and my ult for next, so. 
Maybe uh, just EMP first so they can't seize you and I'll immediately hold Oka. Just EMP when they get here. Something like that. I'll try not to get- I'll just wait for EMP so I can get punched out. He was going right though. He can EMP support- they're all going right, they're all going right, they're all going right. You gotta kill support super fast if it didn't get them. Got one. Team one though. On that game, holy fuck! Well, mini, and mini came in clutch. This is a lot better for us. I'm gonna just see if I can knife anything off. Actually, I guess I'll do. Dev Doom. I'm not even gonna take up here like a normal Dev Doom. I think I'm just gonna get punched off. I got one. That's me lying about the mean one, hoping people look at her, okay? He wants, he's probably just gonna punch people in here. for a second. I'm trying to get the Ana. A whiff there. Shout out to the Stratus to take away his face too. That made it hard for the Moloch. Cool. First of all, I cool down by doing that. I didn't feel like too like dangerous at the time. I just charged and punched on doors, so I was just breaking down this on door for a second. I had the Ana to my left burning so I tried to walk on that. There, Ash is kind of doing well. Uh, I'll say I thought the Mercy was going to res, honestly. Uh, keep gear. <laughs> Obviously my backline kinda died while I did that. So I wasn't really expecting. Never expect your backline to die. But and and I knew we had nano, that's why I was playing so aggressive, but it just didn't work out on the died early, I think. Before they got nano off. However, I'll don't regret that play. Like so ulting him. I, I knew I'd be able to secure that kill. Figure the carry won't help him. And uh yeah. So all this fine. Funny enough, I don't really think Vicky's up bad into their comp. Hold on off up here. Uh. Okay. It's obviously easier to play on a on defense than attack. Obviously, we have to kind of force out this doom for them. I just thought I could knife the on off up here and thought we were still gonna kill, but on it was already dead at that point again. So, was really able to save one. Uh, I just whipped the easy knife. Try rushing myself, honestly. I just need to make, take more time with it. Oh, 
Hold on to the low ground. On a one. I got both. I have a if you. Thank you, Mercy. On a right. Alright, I'm walking. On a weak. I got fucked. Any help? My ult back right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it works. You got the back one, that's all I was looking for really with it, so. Here, he'd be a way easier kill than the that's why I rotated for the cast too. Obviously, I pro use Carnage pretty much all the time. It's just one of those things like it takes no aim, it also heals me, blah, blah, blah. Like, obviously, I try to hit multiple people with it whenever possible, but sometimes, like, you just know you're not going to need it for a second. You're not going to have an opportunity to hit multiple people like there, for example. I'm just using it on a doom when you like power block or something. I got a knife in him, so I kind of woke him right away. Team one. I think I was. Trace is holding right. Trace is one. Trace is top left, I think, by the way. Yeah. use recall. Um, mm. Alright, nice just water. I'm looking to hold back on you. Yeah. I'm back on the best one. I thought I was, uh, I thought I was getting in on my best. We have Nano Blood. If we held it too. Um. That was a really good ult, actually, on the back line. I should have won the play, but I was kind of alone. Just gonna root the current theme. Then our other didn't LS us. She's getting harassed by Doom, I'm assuming. Actually, no, Doom kills me, I think. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but. You could have saved it for Nana Blade or it could have Nana me. You know, something else. I don't know. Yeah. There we go. I can't solo kill backline because the lamp and I have to keep breaking it myself. Which sucks. Mm, 53. Hold it. comic book tracer in a long time so i have no clue what happened in this game her character can make it with lucio speed as well but try and punch me out obviously that's why i didn't want to like walk fully out 
Kill me. Alright, so there's a wall in there. Kills me. Alright, flyers going bottom. Alright, cool. Back so I can contest him. He's gonna grab Mega though. I'm gonna try to punch out some of his body block it there. It'll make it harder for him to get out. That's we game punch there. Make him not be able to get all of the movement he wants. So. Stupid small stuff like that helps a lot in this game. Hmm. Can I have to look for Hanzo here? I feel like I'm gonna get punished by Ana. Back up. Alright. I got split by Dragon, obviously. I'm getting another fight here, though. I won't be able to touch. She's gonna punch me off. I got it. Ana won. I'm dead, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay, point queen on this point. I have no clue how I'm gonna do it, but I'm I'm thinking I play here and I go fishing. Is that great? I'm just gonna go dive. I need to... Now that I'm back here, then they, their Hansa goes here for free. Hmm. Kind of why I want to contest there, but hey, I pulled him off. Maybe he does. Maybe? Ooh. A bap doesn't love me. Good stuff. I just want him to love me, but he just doesn't. So you Touch card. It's D9 here. Oh, so. so you by him because someone else is noticing it, then you can like go up here and I can't contest them. They may be able to pick a squishy, but I'm the only one that could really touch card. Like safely. Good enough. I just play off my team here. I need to hold that left side, I don't think, right now. You're not TP on point. Here you one.
on a little bit. A little small stuff like that. Got her TV back, obviously. Yeah, I should chase bottom. I'll see. Got just some brain turned off there. Uh, I'll default with my team again. But I try to do my own thing. I'm kind of... Oh, they got off Ana. And they got off Sun. It's easier for me to do my own thing now. I guess I can test those. That was a free kill on the bat for playing there. Walked into my zone, you know? Just looking for where the demo was gonna land. Plus play the have Queen on this weapon. Guys, um, back on the walk card. <laughs> also, the one person point zone everyone else, but just get in their face. It works well enough, you know. We've been winning like every single time on these like dive maps, like forcing JQ. Kind of crazy. All right, GM game. Take the GM game on King's Row, cause. Honestly, I think I've had like one game on King's Row in this whole series and I lost it and that was earlier today. I just wanna be here. Damn, we made our Brigley voice chat. They don't they don't like people talking in their ranked games. That's crazy. Me neither. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll shut up. <laughs> Why is there aught calling? Alright, they're playing like full brawl. Okay, obviously we don't want Brig into this. Let's see if this swaps. I want a flank, but I know I need a freshless runner for my team. We have like no kill Brig. We have a Widow. A Brig, so. He was anti, so I knew I could probably get that kill if I swing in the corner with his shield broken, so... I was trying to make sure we got it. Obviously, Reinhardt May, Zanana. Not my favorite comp to be playing Queen of here. Hey. Uh, I need to knife him because I was so confused on the fact that he was okay just sitting there. I was just like, dumbfounded a little bit. I guess someone tried off angle. Yeah, wall made like way up here. Yeah. Back to the next corner. No, you got nothing on that one. Wait, what? Uh, I don't think it's so because we have Brig. Uh, I don't think I can commit it alone with, with a Brig, you feel me? I'm just gonna get anti and left probably early. Uh, I'm kind of just playing slow because of our comp. I'm getting back in. Um, Side block. No, oh, I was gonna hold it, but then he died and then. I want to hold down too. Hello. Do you only play Brig, by the way? Yeah, I got plenty of teeth left. Yeah. Whatever. This game's gonna be a little hard. Oh, 
Triple Widow now. We're gonna push without an ultra ball, baby. I'm bolting here. Three, two, one. Alright, I love the main character. Oh, they may ulti. Good luck, man. May and Zen. Give no. Can't really walk past shield, and I can't really break shield. So, oh, I just see their AFK. What is sitting up here? Okay. Prime one. Just been really safe because I have our comp. Works just so counterintuitive. I'm trying to like knife someone, boom, booped away. Good on. He has shadow here. You're all down, you're all down. Yeah, I know. I just think that was really hard with the third cast this part. I don't know. Now they get my game to maybe get GM5. We play Brig into a Reinhardt. That's no way to treat your <sighs> and they have Zen on the. And I'm sad. They're holding this game hostage. Alright. I'm trying to bait Maywall before I hold this time. Alright. Uh, I pulled the Zen, I tried walking, and uh, yeah, here we go, one more game, one more fight, I mean. Four and five, I think this is the first game we've gone negative. I'm gonna split up here. Oh, now you get Lucio. Hey, stay there. I, hate, I hate people. <laughs> they go back to spawn and swap to brig. I'm going to be very, very confused. I know, I spoke. Hold on, I'm weak. I'm weak. Mm. I'm not low. Fuck you. Just mailed in the nutshell. Come man. Trying to call call. Obviously I can't really I'm trying to use the right side to like look for backline, but then the runner contested me. 
And then I just kind of saw I could pull him out of LOS and just kind of do nasty things to him. It's not weird, but yeah, kill something right, kill something right. So one. He has shot me. They wouldn't that now. Uh, Mercy is just decent on defense usually anyway. So you have res. Hi Mike, this game would, would be in super free, but we played Brig into Rush the entire time. And uh, now they're playing Kierka, so it's more winnable. So, and they were playing May and they got off May, which helps me a lot, so. I think I need to extend that we're up to. If we win this, we might be GM though. This is a GM lobby. Hello. It's very winnable because they're kind of trolling now, but not playing May. I don't know why they're not playing May on attack here, but I'm not going to complain. And they got off Zen. So everything that was annoying me is like gone. So I can really shine this game now if I want. I dread playing that off angle, and that's why I don't want to play there. I got that first game. We still have our Kierka though. Oh. Oh, they were looking at me a lot longer. They did throw a Suzu at me, but that's all I really saw. I don't know. I thought I could kill that Reinhardt, he's overextended. But... Oh well. Yeah, Shadow, he might just do the meme. It's actually good if he does that at this point. It would stagger us. Zeno needs to fucking back the fuck up. And no, wait. Alright. We can win this, hopefully. Have Shadow here. Okay. Can't ult early because they have. Friends won. Yes, easy there. Yes. You didn't have him mark. Try to help. I try to use four to bait Suzu, I guess, and then I'll hold after you. I still have Shatter though. I had to try to walk on something. I had to try. I want to say like in front of the runner and let everyone get shattered with me. I pick up back up right. Very useful. Alright, Hans is actually kind of fragging so I feel bad. But
probably just use it and I'm like, I'm, dude, I'm holding this for way too long. I just need to go for it at this point. Now they're going to have a lot of ults. I have one two fights, to be fair. Poor Reinhardt. Deserved it. Got to, but they lost their tank, so they're gonna push slow for him. I should give a little bit of space. Mm. Huge pick. Maybe me on Queen. Space while we're down to you. Just hope that we don't. You're all here. Trying to get a one fight territory. I just had to look for an ult to maybe make a play there because I was afraid we'd lose. And they will have a queen ult this fight. Obviously they don't have to force cleanse or anything so they can just kind of go for it early. Oh no. Oh, he's stunned. Holy. That's too nuts. I can't walk on my queen. Pretty weird. Shouting, pushing, hungry. Cast put on left, cast put on left. Alright, one more fight. They went back around, right? They got off queen. That, that, honestly, the, I called that they had queen ult, and like he played that. I was so scared seeing him pop in the front, but like, I, I, I'm just surprised that the fucking queen didn't just wait out the sun and go for it. They had a fucking brain fart like me on this character. Uh, yeah, just give a little space. Yeah, that beep. Prime one. Put DPS same type. Oh, we won this game. Holy. I was so scared. I was so scared to lose this game. All right. Are, are we done? Did we finish? I, I know I wasn't. Yo, GG. I, I'm, I, I hope we finish. I don't want to play another five games, but I will if I have to, but please be GM. Higher than 91%. I'm 9% away. <sighs> and now, okay, at least we both are playing Junker Queen on this map again. Okay? They don't play anything other than Junker Queen. And, uh, yeah. My team hates me right off the get go. It makes sense. This map kind of sucks for Queen, but, uh, yeah. I didn't do anything. I mean, seen if I'm good at Queen yet. Oh, big fucking kill. I'm just reading. We just need an arrow. And that's what we're doing. I'm just reading. Oh shit. That's my game. No, I'm good. I'm good. 
I did last game. I played him last game and I did, so here I go. I mean, it's just easy for you, like you're just the best player ever, like. Yeah, you know. It's just fucking boring, like, oh my god, this guy's a shooter. True. Literally, what's this like? What is that on it? This Hanzo is hitting every shot on me, holy. Thank you. I'm at one. Yeah. I'm walking. Uh, I'm one. He's made. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Colin, that was walking for a reason. Unfortunate. Oh my god, our DPS are fucking fucking up. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunter window, Hunter window. Oh my god. DPS are just better. Jesus fuck, Samuel. I have my kids. <laughs> yeah, my DPS popped the fuck oh out there. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna fucking cream. They got off on it one more. Fucking white yeah, Honestly, if my team wants me to be the Payload Princess, I'll just do it, bro. I don't even care. After my DPS did that, I will be the Payload Princess. I am the worst yeah, player on the up. team after that death. Have fun at the team. Have oh, a shit. good one, okay? Some more, a mercy on me. Enjoy. Yeah, how does it feel to be on card duty? Here, no, bitch. I'm enjoying being the payload princess. <laughs> no payload princess? Oh, my fault. No, I wanna. You get out there, king. No, I'm a go payload princess. Go no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm go good. You go fuck him up. I believe in you. Dude, I'm on Lucy. I'm supposed to be here. Nah. You're here because I'm taking a vacation. Look, you don't even like need me. We're gonna res, but I'll get try to push it. Yeah, I'm fucking with this. Uh, Mer Mercy thinks she's about to get this res. Uh uh. So Mercy's wrong. Samuel! I got you. Oh, I'll get back on my beautiful payload. My apologies, Sam. Fucking mine, bro. Get away. No, it's, it's mine. Payload. My payload. Enemy here. I'm not stuffing. I'm, I am on the payload. Alright, whoever has M more Elam is gonna be payload princess. Oh. Yo, yeah, well, I, I, yeah, more because I've been payload princess. What do you mean? Shalak. I shot it for you. Don't worry. I got the queen and the mercy, so. Get old up overall. I will just relax on cart yet again. There's not really much to talk about here. My DPS is just kind of shitting on them on a sniper map. They have a Junker Queen one trick too, which is kind of weird, but uh. Yeah. Your snipers are just better on a sniper map. Uh, you kind of win usually. If there's no SIGs in play, especially. So, uh. Maybe we hit a knife from downtown. Sorry, every time it's uh, obviously you can just walk on it. The more just vibing. Not even fucking close. Uh, my apologies. I will get back on the cart and be a beautiful princess again. Fuck up. <laughs> I'm kind of vibing on the cart though. It's kind of fun. I'll fucking fight you for it. I'll be in the game actually not launch. I'll think about it. I'll really think about it. That was my king. Sorry, I need my princess. Fuck up dash. Fuck him up, nice. Oh. Going queen. He's over sending our back line. Okay, we have Mercy Brigio. If I can't do it, then they're on high ground, bro. They're like Anakin, bro. I, I don't know what to do. Seems one, though. Uh, 
probably. Uh, obviously, I saw the Mercy Bach and the Queen to frontline on me. So then I just ulted it and uh, yeah, the Mercy pulled out her Glock on me and it was kind of fun. And uh, yeah. But their Hans is coming. Oh, that's a Genji. Not the Hanzu. Wrong Shimada, brother. Okay, I'll, I'll hold right here. How about that? You happy with this? Still on our sniper's LOS. I'm happy with this. Okay, so we're really far away, right? I'm backing up them. No, 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 no. I saw Mercy just near me, so obviously went for the axe. At honor, so. Yeah, I didn't hear anything, and uh, I'm gonna pretend I. Uh, I think dude, I think it's the voices. I'm not even real, bro. Like, you're asleep right now. At least we got a character on our team. We haven't had anyone talk, and this guy's kind of funny. I like him. I'm just like chill. <laughs> He's embracing the queen and playing Lucio on this map. <laughs> I got res though, I can't deny it. They burned it and then they were like, that baby is not mine. Queen one. I figured I wouldn't kill the queen if I didn't ult there. And uh... Yeah, I wanted to kill her there. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. We touched the spawn door for you with B. Are you happy now? Alright. Fucking do it again. Uh, GM lobbies, by the way, guys. Oh, we're gonna get fucked by their blade. Uh, be ready to boop and I'll uh, shout, I guess, you know, and you speed. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Dude, Dude crazy I don't even know what to talk about here. Yeah, funny yeah, enough, I, I might have diffed them last game, but uh, we still lost. I think I had like double their damage or something and half their deaths. I don't know. And double their healing. I don't remember. I only lost in there. Yeah, me and Arbat kind of left people dead. Yeah, I, I can get up. I was trying my best. Yo, nice pick, man. Yeah, uh, are we walking so I can touch her? Why? Oh, you guys are not coming. I am back. Oh, wait, I think they already got you. Come on. No, we gotta get touched. But I went back. Um, whatever. A lot of people like the off angle on that window, so it's just like a good thing to just like kind of mark. Mark a bleed on her. Yeah. We don't need to push any further. This is kind of just like an awkward area to play. I okay, let them push through a little bit. Doors, we hold first, but, you know. Yeah. It is what it is. You start a dominance, I guess. Yeah, true. I can hold it in whatever. I can do no doubt. I only got one, but uh, we made space, right? Right? Yeah, we made space, you know? If your team wins the fight, even if you fed, we made space. <coughs> They're really weak. We split them, that's why the Junker Queen didn't get healed. It's worth, man. 100%. My fucking room has gone from my ceiling down like 30 fucking times. And every time I try and grab it, it just fucking 
disappears and then I see it like five minutes later coming back down. Dude, I was just laying in my bed one night on my phone and the spider fell from the ceiling on top of my phone and I threw my phone across the room and I broke it. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I would do the same thing. I would do that. I don't even blame you. I don't even blame you. Fucking dumbass kid. I'm sorry, our game is better. And our dragon is better. Like, yeah, true. Our least two isn't better though. What the hell was that? <laughs> yo, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean it, bro. I didn't mean it. Alright, alright. You meant in Minecraft, right? No, I meant IRL. So. Oh. <laughs> Right. In game, I you know the game IRL, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could I be at what? Yeah, like in a so hot tub at least? Huh? Could I be like in a hot tub? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's see. I'm gonna take it back on my dust strap to this one. I need to clean it. That Belusio is matching it for damage and that's how you feel. Oh no. Well, I could deny that, obviously. I tried. I tried pulling them off, but uh, I don't really much to talk about in these games where you're kind of just running a dumb mid. You kind of just kill whoever comes to us, and there's not really much, like, conversation to it. Like, the very beginning, obviously, of this is really educational. Now it's just, like, whatever kind of. If they have to touch you, like, I'm just focus on killing whatever it touches, like, whatever the mercy's pocketing matters more. I know the queen's here on left, so I'm like, as you upper, bottom, hitting card, and I have the Mora aiming for the queen, obviously. Okay. I can kite and play for Mega, maybe. Thank you, my Mega. Hey, I was 100 HP. I really needed it, okay? If you fucking look at the stats, we should just I'm be stomping them. There. Actually, the stats aren't even that bad anymore. Beating out the door. What do you think, man? Okay, shut the fuck <laughs> up. I didn't do it. Yeah, that's not uh, even uh, in the last second point, okay? Yeah, I'll wait for the first point, but not second point. You want me to Lotus to get in there? I need to oh, deny Rez as well. I don't think we need it though. Oh. Ow. Yeah, we will have fun on this one. Makes more sense on this one with this. This is sad. This is actually sad. Hmm. Grab my ult when they push out. Yeah. Do I get hindered? Yeah, they made it in. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, I might also let their spawn door. Yeah, that, that was like your beat. Uh, just one of those things, obviously. Our team's just a, a way better team. And we're just vibing. Wait, which ability? Uh, I thought you were talking about how they buffed Sojourn today for a second, I was like, yeah. Gotta eat that Sojourn buffing. Alright, really close game, guys. GG. GG. GG kinda close. Uh, gonna go watch the real Junker Queen stats. Yo, enjoy, man. Hope you enjoyed their stream. Hey, we're against them again. And honestly, we're getting a lot of Junker Queen mute, so... Oh, my teammate is actually throwing. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. That is the state of Overwatch game. Just because I talk. Hmm. Interesting. Where's 
Actually, they ain't playing the games though. Like they're actually throwing. Or for talking, I guess. I think it's worth still winning with the May, I guess. He has zero damage and we're still winning. That's what we're dealing with in this unranked GM. <laughs> They did 150 damage, guy. He's throwing on your team. Our tracer does 150 damage. He's literally purposely said they're gonna throw. Because I talked. Like. Just a sniper that's trying to throw my games. That's how it is. Are you a streamer? Yeah. Ooh, what is I, I'm one game off finishing my own rank to GM, so. Oh. Yeah. What's stream? Forgiving. Uh. So he doesn't want me to win it, I think. So he's purposely he's just gonna try to lose. Welcome to Overwatch. The swing shot's really early and that's why I'm usually able to punish them so easily. Get quaked on. This is a raid man. Let me try to make a play real quick. I need a stick heart though. Things one. I have a thrower again. Look at my tracer. He said uh, since I uh, I talked, he's gonna throw my game. So we're having a good time. <laughs> so welcome to ranked at 3:38 in the morning. Get quaked on. I bet you had a blast playing it too. So thank you for the raid. I really do appreciate it, man. I've been one game. 
game. Well, I need to win four games to finish the set now, but I don't know. I've been having some weird games, though. Another. We just beat Junk Queen on last map, like, really badly, though. For the one with you. We've been getting a lot of Junker Queen mirrors, which is kind of interesting. I think I just played her contest last second, so I don't have shout. Big row. Oh. Uh, we are committing, apparently. Oh, we are full on committing. Oh. I am whipping, holy fuck. That's their force nulls. Uh, <laughs> I remember this guy, yeah. I was our uh, Junker Queen on the Another one. The Kings Road games are curse odd. Uh, this is my like fifth thrower today. Like that blatantly has thrown. I've had a lot of people that are like, oh, I'm just leaving this game. I remember when we're about to win on push and like, I don't know why everyone's so angry today. I don't feel like I did anything. I'm just playing queen and like, I feel like I'm playing well and I'm not really getting countered either. But straight off the rip, he just sits still and killed them both. Oh, they have Kiri now. I am throwing. I honestly didn't even know they swapped Kiri. To be honest, nice. that's my bad. I'm not paying attention. Didn't have carry earlier. And that just made my brain turn off. Wait. Game would be a lot easier with a, a second DPS. <laughs> you like that three in the morning? Yeah, true. Um. Even if I shout, I won't be able to touch. No. Um. I think it's safe to say they're hard throwing. Mm, what made you think that? It would maybe want me since I like walking or wall in front of me. Watch, we're gonna wall this chair or something. Uh, they're actually not walling me. Cool. We can actually play the game. So. I need a flank and I'm not going to win the frontline fight. Of course all their cooldowns by doing that. Yeah, that was a good wall. Hit the knife there. Love it. Obviously, this is going to be hard with solo DPS Genji. Trying to figure out how to... Let's see what we can do though. I think I can't go for... Like, the backline it does, isn't like very easy to kill. I have to try to kill Ash early and hope their backline just doesn't help them. But they're playing with their team. So I can force Paige, which just doesn't matter. Wait, he's actually playing now? He built an ult? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Hmm. He actually DPS people this round. I guess he's trying not to, like, get reported as much. Try to force easy for me to ult there. Can they put a get there? Nearly try to punish. Have their support up, so I don't think I kill him. Focus on killing that. Uh, Yo, thank you guys for the follows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only strikes is funny. Get out. Another one. 
it up. Got a knife for us, try to bait cooldowns. A bit. And hit her again. Yeah. What else? Okay, okay our Mario's no fade. Can't be behind. Oh. Wait, wall stuff. It went up. The whole game. The 2 and 14 may. Dude, they had no Suzu. That's why we went for it there to try to carry. We got you can die. That Ash is split. Go for this go. Now let's back up. We're gonna try to knife me in. Try getting creative there. Oh, we're male team. Let's go. Uh, oh, I got one. Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just trying to make the best out of the shitty situation we've been in tonight, honestly. Just like the throwers and stuff. Just kind of how ranked is this these days. I can't really expect better. Sadly. Nice We're down two. More? Mm, nope. Didn't work out. Unlucky. I don't know. The red, I feel like even if they're trying, maybe this game would be hard, but maybe it's just everyone on my team gave up because they're, they're not trying. I don't know. Obviously, this game is pretty. Pass for Mega, and I kind of like, like, wasn't sure if I should. But. <laughs> Your man has less damage. Eh. It's just impressive that they've been able to kill themselves 19 times now. Honestly, it's honestly impressive. Yeah, we can really follow those guys. Um, hmm. oh. <laughs> Things you hate to see. I see they use Nate. I can't stuff that one though. I know we have no other DPS. I guess we have more, but. Hmm. Like, I have a thrower again. <laughs> <gasps> he literally said he's gonna throw and he's 4 and 20. I hate it here. Throw. Uh, welcome to Overwatch. I'll have three losses on this card, then I have one win off. <laughs> so I might not even rank up off this five wins when I finish this at this rate. I whip. Yep. Hello. You only lose if you stay down. My warmest greeting. Ten seconds remaining. 
Do not care, that's why I'm doing it. Wait, game is winnable. Wait a minute. Pause, 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 pause. Winnable! Winnable. Complete. There'll be consequences. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you having six more kills than me is concerning, he's saying to my team. <laughs> we win this game, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm not gonna go through there this time. You notice the main thing with their Junker Queen to me that's different is I'm very disciplined with saving my shell and they use it really early in comparison to me. And then after they use it, I just try to take advantage and play fast after. But that swing, with my, uh, my Carnage was very aggressive. Obviously, our Turbo's gonna try to kill himself. You can maybe hold first. We held first for a while with him throwing, so we actually could win this game. Funny enough. Yeah. It actually is winnable. Ash in the window. I think that's our dog though. I got my queen ult before them and I shut down their blade and their queen ult pretty much with it, so... That was kind of lucky, I'm not gonna lie. I was sure they'd have ult before me with our Torb just running into them and killing himself and stuff, but... Hey, uh, no. Him doing something is making this game winnable. Wasting a turret, like obviously, me, me. But he was literally AFK at the start for a long time. Obviously, I just have to sit like Halo like it's a fucking glue right now. I want to come for that more, but I don't have shells. I thought no one died in this fight, so it's kind of fun. Go get him, love. Get all their queen to win the fight. Finally. Nice job, team. Hey, yeah, yeah. The sword is actually playing, I think, now. It like, somewhat. So like, he'll run into them and kill himself probably again. But this game is winnable. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah. This this is weird. This just is weird. You guys suck. <laughs> I have 27.8k damage. Like, what the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, we, we carry, we carry visor, carry visor. Right? All right, all right. Yo, go, go, go. Early, early. They have a queen ult. They have a queen ult. Go! 
into the egg, we know because I just used mine in the fights have taken a while, so it just makes sense. Nothing really else to say there. I don't trust anyone to not say cart in these like stupid scenarios, so I just hard so don't pay late if you haven't noticed. My team C9 is way too many times, I'm just over it. Especially in these later night games. We're actually gonna win this game. We are actually gonna win this game. We are actually gonna win this game. What is going on? What is going on? He's farming his pistol. Logic's gonna give him a high five. Like, bro. Playing queen and trying to have fun. Trying to, like, show people how to play queen. Mm hmm. Chillax. Go to bed. <laughs> Trying to finish. I'm trying to finish this last game. Well, not last game, last set of games. To change it. Okay, there. What's done? I think I need to flank them. Nade. I don't have Nade for me to push her right now. much to talk about like my supports are obviously playing a pocket me so i'm just trying to play slow and then the zen was pushing into me so i just had to deal with zen and then just turn from there it was really much <laughs> to explain outside of that yeah gg i guess yeah gg i guess yeah i think ben 10 fell asleep in queue <laughs> all right who are you me no ben 10 yeah, who the fuck are you, Ben Ben? Explain yourself. I just got shit on you. Never seen another Ben 10 of all this plane ladder, so this is like really weird. Okay, well. Take another test. Pop up, Lucio, brother. Here you go. Win the fight there, doesn't matter. What was good? Put down there. Uh, nothing really else to say. It's just like against the scum. Like I have a widow, I have a Genji. They, I can't really find backline very easily here on the super place too far forward, but everyone's playing pretty far back from me. Yeah, the Discord. Yeah, I know it's no longer right. I need to change that nightbot command. 
just on a timer and I haven't opened up my pot. I keep forgetting to. Because I know someone stole my forgiving link when I lost it temporarily, and now it's like a crypto discord. Uh, obviously, that meant to go to the Aragon here. Expecting get pulled out. Shouldn't matter really. No other brigs running into me, but if the brig runs into me, I'll uh, be open to punishing it. Oh, uh, we can do it. Cool. Much else to say there? Just reset up or play where we normally would in GM. This is a GM4 lobby, so. Yeah. They have no counter to my ult, so I should just look for it kind of early. Unless they break ult, then they could stun me out technically. Come in left. I guess for that all just immediately punishing it if you haven't noticed. And how it goes. Entered. <laughs> Reset up through yet again. They went Zarya, they said they're over it playing Ram into this. It's good for my backline. What the fuck is trans them. efficiency? Do you guys know? So close to it, yeah. They're gonna go left again. The game's kinda lagging right now. I don't know what's going on. Lagging until now. I didn't know it anymore. Shot him. Uh, he's slightly out of range from a bit. That one was too close. Uh, she had two bubbles, okay? <laughs> Took a minute. I'm not fishing from here because I figure they're left. Just pointless. Stars have. I should take left, and that's what I normally do, but I'm gonna push Bayla just for a second. Let's see. I'm gonna push the Bayla for my team for a second. Like a 
over. I could walk on the mercy. Um. Alright, I'm not playing Zen. Let's run these bitches down, yo. I jump over his head and <laughs> make him a little dizzy, but uh, they're playing sick now, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to get in against the tank, obviously, especially them holding up here. Part of me thinking about just stealing cart from them. <laughs> Hey, hear me out. Walk on this brick. Walk on this brick. Yeah. I bad. I thought we were here. Mm -hmm. Our team went a little bit mentally. It came. Brick's holding close. Oh, we almost hit. We almost hit again. She's waiting. I don't know. I don't worry about it. I play fucking Mercy? Do I play Bray? I don't fucking know. Well, obviously, it's just me being on JQ. It's kind of shit here, but I have ult now, so hopefully I just make a play. Going up. No one can hide. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hold top love. We got two. I got both support. Should be enough for the team to walk. <laughs> Maybe you're on a beast this I don't know. Nope. This game would be free. I will be okay. I'm scared he's gonna get dashed and killed there. Also, and we have B. No, no shot, we lose this player. Right? Yeah, you already did enough. Good shit. Enjoyed being a payload it's princess. Turn. It's my turn, bro. That choke is just obviously really hard for us when I'm holding up here. It seems like we're having a hard time just walking in. Part of the map won't be as bad. We need to break shield. I don't know why the bird is walking into me, but I will take it any day because I need this win. <laughs> any day, man. Any day. Yeah, there's a CD here. Can you even touch? Hopefully, they don't push from here.
It's like an old mercy sig. But those are like really high value targets in this comp, obviously. So I just went for it. Hope we win off that. GG. Yeah. Been following me for a long time. Obviously, it's from the console days. We get to go against Doopy. We get to go against Ben 10. That's my favorite tank in the game by far now, after playing her a lot. But playing her every game got me kind of burnt, Loki. Put him down, get a little bit quicker. I'll play slow because I don't have. Where do I run her? Yeah. Obviously you got hack. I even save shot for it. And stabilize. Um if you stay dead. We have no heals, please. Oh, thank you. Hello. Start offering a little bit. Speak back out. <laughs> Should have just left me alone, Somber. Okay. Uh, if you notice, I do off my like. If I just were to uh, try to use Carnage off that. <laughs> They would be able to like translocate easily. That's why shooting some melee. That's why I combo out flankers all the time like that. Go Jupy, 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 Jupy. Alright, obviously Reinhardt walk on my back. I'm not, not a fan, so I turn around for it. She's respecting me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to stream when I played on Xbox forever ago. So I have some like OG people that knew me when I played Xbox. Like Dusty. Oh, If he mirrors me on Junker Green, that'd be fun. I bought him for trying to play around our zone. It's pretty decent. He just doesn't have the DPS for it. He wants Zarya. <laughs> Counter picking the little, little weirdo. Mm -hmm. Be a real man for us, Ryan, the Targon. No bubbles. Then we back on. I don't have no bubbles in this place, so... Ah, uh, Mario's one, maybe if I didn't have one. Mario wanted ult. I have ult too. Uh, Sombre at least will touch next. Ah, uh, no, he's not touching. Best round, one. Nice round, I guess. Can you fall asleep on call with me? Yeah, of course. Tonight? Yeah, you, you want me to call you after I'm done streaming? I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. I'll give you kisses. Alright. Mm. Mirrored queen. Okay. Obviously, on the line. Early. Don't want to take that vote. I'll back just in case. There goes them. Okay. Uh, we'll probably have to pass her up here to die. She's kind of bottom though. Yeah, we'll just take up her. Go, go, go. They're still on the rotation. Hey, give me feeding, give me feeding. Ha <laughs> ha 
The DP's rolling now. I don't know why we went down Kiri, but... Oh, please go on now. I got plenty of teeth left. Whatever. We also have a Genji, no honor. They're also gonna have Nana Boy. Weird. Genji one. They have no honor, so I'm burning. I, I just can't survive with this comp now that we swapped. Getting hard purchase. Guys, they have that fucking funny horse. I'm Andre HB Swan and stuff. Uh, hopefully, we win this round. Now we have it capped. I wasted some good ults there. We have our own ult. We won't play more point, I think. There's an upper DB. In your low. Bob was kind of interesting, they had no tank. I was trying to zone there. Just getting the way so they can pull them in. And that's it. They just sit in front of them. I have visor soon. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't know how it's for him. Oh, fuck. Got purple. Every single one. Yeah, well... One on one. Again, G. Where's the rat? Uh, it's just mercy. Off the upper, they have a Lucio now. Lucio Mercy, we can just bully DB. I made this count, I've never seen a Ben 10 before. Then I ran into the last game too, it was weird. Yeah, I just noticed their worst block things that we could bully. I need to try to down this by you. Rich is going to try to touch. Lisa is going to touch. I would be cool if I hit that. <laughs> I tried. TV. Hit that one So there's a lot riding on this next game, I think. I think if we don't win this one, we might have to do another five somehow. All right, this map kinda is not my favorite. We do have the Junkrat player again from last game, I believe. Uh, that side guy still to that DP for last, like a uh, size still to that DP for like two games ago against me. He was like mad that he's getting diffed or whatever. So he might be tilted. But this map's not the greatest for Queen, so uh, I'll try my best. Uh, at Winston. What is that? It's Umbra. What are they doing? Enemy. 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 
Hey, crap. There's a more behind us. What is going on? John Crutch. So. Like somebody wants the death penalty. Yeah, that's good work. And more on them. Monkey one, monkey one. I can stop them going. I think I'm really losing this one with this scum. Oh no. Hmm. Uh, we might not rank up. Because we're gonna. This game is not looking very winnable because they're playing like hard meta besides Mara. For this map, um, old, old sweaty, somber tracer. Okay, you guys are all terrible. Yeah, four deaths already, homie. You point so gens with this. You need to wake up a little bit yourself. The person that's like getting dunked on the most is the first person to speak up and call everyone else trash. Like, no, no one's still talking to you for fucking feeding. Shut up. I'm piping up if you have nothing good to get to say. Dude, I just whipped. Him. I thought Donna was there. I got juke on Donna. Okay, so it's kind of pop there, lucky. What's the green HP? It's temporary health that will expire. That's from my shout. It'll expire over time. I still just did make a play that fight, I'm not gonna lie. More do a little bit of trolling. This game's winnable. I believe, I believe. Oh, Alright, they're more. Hey, they're more trolling. Wait a minute. Huh? I'll say no, it falls off eventually. Could be pushed up more, but I'm scared of my backline. So I don't want to push too far because I'm not really going to extend their backline much here. Kind of for the one scene at this point. Try to shout before EMP to try to make it easier for my team to live. My son is just dead, I think. I don't know. What are they? I need to win this game, so I, I'm I'm happy for them to troll. What are what are you at right now? Uh, I'm G uh Masters won 91% until the, the rank up. That's so. crazy. Yeah. Think taking forever now. Yeah, I, I, this is my 50th win, and I have 21 losses now. It's terrible. Oh, uh, I didn't know they had a character. Me off. Awesome. 
I've never had a unranked. I, I remember you did the Reaper one. Yeah, 19 games, zero losses. <laughs> yeah. It's been, it's been a pain in the ass. I lost my first game in Platinum. Like literally oh, the first game. So I what? played slow because I lost my placements. Like I lost two games in placements. So it's taking a while. But I'm happy to win with you to be done with this. I love you. Thank you for playing Brig. Nothing to say here. The, the team just started trolling for some reason when we were like are losing and I do not know why. Are we are we done? What is this? We not done? No, we're, we're done. It just it just bugged out. I, I don't know what percent of how we are. Uh, I, I guess I don't have a fucking pick thing of showing us hitting GM there because it just bugged out or something. I don't fucking know. But we're done. We are GM on this character. I am retiring from playing Junker Queen for a minute. My brain is melting. Uh, stats, I guess, 70% win rate. That's pretty bad, if I'm being honest with you. I'm not very happy with that, but... Did we have some levers, some throwers, stuff like that? And it was just a lot of games because of weird shit. And it's Overwatch 2. Skill level of players kind of fluctuates a lot. Felt kind of hard on tank, I'm not gonna lie. Um, 4 deaths per 10, pretty much. 25.45 elims per 10. That sounds pretty good. 11.5k hero damage is pretty solid. Jagged Blade accuracy, 44%. I don't know what it is on my main account. I feel like that's kind of low for me. It was, and like the wound uptime was kind of low too. I feel like that's the main thing I noticed playing throughout the ranks on Junker Queen all the way to GM so far. Well, GM5 was people play really slow and you need to just, you don't really play the character to like hard brawl until you get very close to GM. Then people like kind of play off that and you can play more into their tank and play more brawly like you saw in the Oasis game. That game was kind of fun to play Junker Queen in. Um, a lot of like what Junker Queen is in lower ranks, you kind of have to look to flank and do your own thing because people don't really enable that brawl very often or your DPS will just not be doing anything and uh, you'll just lose if you just play slow. So you need to kill the supports because no one's going to shoot the tank with you. I know, like I looked at some other people's and some other people had a lot of losses on the tank ones. It just seems like kind of a trend with tanks a little bit besides like super meta things like Winston. So only like super high win rate one I saw out for tank looking really quick besides accounts that have like stupid high MMR already where you can just place GM1, right? Right off the rip was uh, Boger's 95% win, so one. Uh, but yeah, we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed the 71 games of Junker Queen, the 13 fucking hours that we did in two streams, but that will be all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed.